Chapter 51 Flame Legion vs. Skeleton Sea As the burner falls to the ground, experience information also appears. Player Luo Chio gained experience 0.0012, leap level bonus 0.0006. Su Chen smacked his lips. And the traditional performing arts came again. Now the experience sharing is divided into more than 600,000 skeleton soldiers. However, Su Chen didn't come here just to upgrade. He has not forgotten one thing. And that is his new skill of Dark Evolution. Dark Evolution, after your skeleton army has killed the same type multiple times, it can record the opponent's template. When the next skeleton army evolves, you can select the template for functional evolution. On this trip, more than 600,000 skeleton soldiers came here just to brush this template. However, after killing the burner of the Flame Legion, no progress bar was displayed. Maybe the more kills you get, the higher the chance will be? Su Chen had a guess in his mind. Anyway, no matter what, just brushing monsters here is okay. While painting templates, while consuming skeleton soldiers, you get the best of both worlds. After killing the burner, Su Chen directly took back the skeleton soldiers because they have been staying here. The skeleton army's fire resistance is not enough and it loses health every few seconds. He still remembers that when he asked the skeleton soldiers to jump on the spikes, the skeleton soldier's faith value was directly lost. Now the skeleton soldier's faith value for him is still 99 and has not returned to 100. What he understood was that the skeleton soldiers could die in battle, but they could not be given away in vain. It's possible to siege cities and spawn monsters, but deliberately trying to trick them through the terrain or even letting them challenge cross-class true gods will probably result in a loss of faith points. But I am also a good commander who loves his soldiers as much as his son. So why would I let them give it to me for nothing? Su Chen nodded. He affirmed his noble character. Along the way, there are scattered monsters. There were flame legions and volcanic lizard monsters, which Su Chen quickly annihilated. But after about an hour of browsing, Su Chen felt that there was a problem. That is, too slow. Whether it is painting templates or consuming skeleton soldiers, it is too slow, because it's too scattered. Wouldn't it be better if I just go directly to the Flame Legion's barracks? Su Chen patted his head. And he actually forgot about this matter. Fire Legion barracks. Soon Su Chen found a camp that seemed to be of decent size. It seems that there are only 3,000 magic soldiers, which is a bit small. Su Chen touched his chin, feeling a little dissatisfied. But let's make do with it. He raised his hand slightly, and black air suddenly filled the air. An army of more than 600,000 skeletons appeared out of thin air. But they were extremely well-educated and formed a formation in the short time they appeared. Two patrolling flame core demon soldiers quickly discovered it. There's no way. That's more than 600,000. A huge area of darkness. It's hard not to find out. The arrival of such a large group of skeleton soldiers would naturally not be for them to eat melon seeds and chat about family matters. Alert. Enemy attack. The two demonic soldiers of the Flame Corps immediately blew the warning horn. Suddenly, 3,000 demon soldiers gathered. At this time, a leader riding a flaming horse also appeared. Name, Night King of the Flame Legion. Variety, Devil. Level, 95. HP, Unknown. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skill, Unknown. How could these trashiest undead creatures appear in the Flame Barrier? They couldn't even march such a long distance here. A low tremolo sounded from under the flame Night King's helmet. This sound seemed to come from the abdomen. And at the same time it did not sound like a human voice. And it had a phantom feel. But before the King of Flame Knights could give the order, the skeleton archers who entered the shooting range had already taken the lead in attacking. Seeing these things, he dared to take the lead in attacking and declaring war. And the flame Night King finally became angry. Charge. Crush these lowly, despicable undead creatures. The Flame Knight King's tone was filled with anger. The Flame Knight King directly activated his skill. And dozens of Flame Knights suddenly appeared out of thin air behind him. This was obviously his skill. These Flame Knights are all phantoms. Not real entities. At the same time, the 3000 Flame Army also launched an attack on the Skeleton Army. I thought this was an ordinary barracks of the Flame Legion. But I didn't expect that there was a big boss sitting there. Seeing this scene... Su Chen was also a little surprised. But in this case, it would be interesting. At this time, the battle also started. Both sides were fighting in the Legion style. Originally, the firepower of the army of more than 600,000 skeletons was a bit fierce. But the Flame Knight King takes the lead. He has a shield-charging skill. 
and the Shadow Knight behind him also absorbs a lot of damage, with the Flame Knight King attracting firepower from the front. The Blade and Axe Regiment of the Flame Corps had reached a point of contact with the Skeleton Army, but the moment they charged into formation, the Skeleton Army was like an ocean, directly submerging them. Each of them has to face the siege of hundreds of Skeleton Soldiers. The Skeleton Army is all about exchanging injuries for injuries. After the Flame Legion's Axe Demon kills dozens of Skeleton Soldiers with one blow, he will be attacked by hundreds of Skeleton Soldiers. And because of their large size, they are simply outstanding among the Skeleton Corps. And some long-range enemies can defeat them. After they killed dozens of Skeleton Soldiers, they were directly overwhelmed by other attacks. And were either killed or their health bottomed out. The Skeleton Soldiers don't know what fear is. This is the scariest thing. After the Skeleton Soldiers in front fell, the Skeleton Soldiers behind rushed up. Although ancient wars involved hundreds of thousands fighting against hundreds of thousands, usually one side would start to retreat after losing tens of thousands. Skeleton Soldiers have no emotions. They are simply war machines. Soon, those Flaming Sword and Axe Demons who entered the Skeleton Sea slowly began to want to retreat. But once they had the intention to retreat, they couldn't retreat because they were already surrounded. Instead, it made it easier for the skeleton soldiers to encircle and suppress them. The blazing long-range fire demons in the back row are releasing fire magic attacks, harvesting a piece of skeleton soldiers every time. However, after the skeleton soldiers divided their forces to encircle and suppress the axe demon, the large shield skeleton soldiers directly faced the front. They have a guardian skill that can reduce magic and physical damage. With their protection, the skeleton army continues to advance. The skeleton soldier's long-range attack is being trampled by the Flame Knight King at this time, and it is difficult to support the long-range attack on the Flame Legion. However, after using the large shield to attract attention, the skeleton assassins have quietly retreated. Suddenly, many flaming fire demons were attacked by skeleton assassins. Although the skeleton assassin is only level 50, the assassin is naturally capable of restraining the magician. With the assassin, the chaotic skeleton army will advance faster. Chapter 52 Enslaving the Flame Knight King After all, the skeleton assassin is still only level 50. Even if he is naturally capable of defeating the mage, the level gap is too big. Soon, all the skeleton assassins were wiped out. However, they also exerted their value. As they were destroyed, the big shields had already pushed over with the skeleton army. A group of skeleton swordsmen hiding behind large skeleton shields suddenly jumped out and slashed at the blazing fire demons. In addition, other swordsmen and other skeleton soldiers also came over directly, even with a large skeleton shield with low attack power. The fire demon was hit directly in the face with the shield, making it impossible for the fire demon to recite a spell. The flaming fire demons were like squeezing into a bus, and there was no room for them to even cast spells. Although the fire demon also has level suppression, the defense of the mage-type monster is not very good and it will be destroyed faster than the previous flame melee swordsman after being melee. In the blink of an eye, the flame core was almost completely destroyed. Now only the flame night king is left. This thing is quite durable. Su Chen, who was sitting on the head of Feng Feng, watched from a distance as the flame night king was trampled in various ways in the sea of skeletons. At this time, Brother Chicken next to him was holding a bucket of popcorn, and he was holding a large bottle of drink without holding his two guns. Su Chen grabbed a handful of popcorn from Brother Chicken's hand, then picked up the straw and took a sip. The blood bar of the Flame Knight King did not drop very quickly. So Su Chen felt a little bored watching it. Chicken, with such a strong opponent, do you feel the fighting spirit surging? Su Chen glanced at Brother G. Brother G glanced at the level 95 of the Flame Knight King, but didn't react at all. He just moved the popcorn bucket closer to Su Chen. Gone? Are you so cowardly? As soon as he saw Brother G's reaction, Su Chen felt what it meant. At this time, the Flame Night King also became angry. He held the halberd above his head and rotated it, making it look like a helicopter. Immediately, a tornado of flames was emitted, and a wave of air was set off around it. All the skeleton soldiers beside the Flame Night King were killed, including the big shield. This AoE blow directly caused nearly 30,000 damage to the skeleton soldiers. The Flame Corps consumed approximately 150,000 skeleton soldiers, and the Flame Knight King killed nearly 100,000 skeleton soldiers alone. There are more than 600,000 troops, and now there are more than 300,000. Seeing this scene, Xuanqiang next to him also tried to stabilize the hand holding the drink 
and placed it closer to Su Chen. These two trash. Su Chen was a little speechless. Why are these two bees so cowardly? With the same type of coward as a foil. The flame night king on the field looks even more domineering. This is so handsome. I must catch this. Su Chen looked at the flame night king and his mouth was almost watering. The reason I caught brother chicken was because my level was too low. And the soul grant weakening level was based on my level. Now that I am at level 50 and I have caught a level 95 flame night king. I should not be able to reduce it too much. Thinking of this, Su Chen did not expect the Flame Knight King to continue consuming skeleton soldiers, but began to operate seriously. The skeleton soldier itself has a certain fighting instinct, and this fighting instinct is not low. After all, it is the skeleton soldier chosen by God. But if the operator has better awareness, the skeleton soldiers will naturally be able to exert stronger combat effectiveness. Skeleton snipers find high ground and long-range professions such as wizards and archers joined together. Su Chen suddenly made a decision. Sure enough, the originally scattered long-range troops suddenly merged into one place. The Flame Night King was finally attracted. It was originally killing those annoying long-range ones like flies everywhere. But those ones were together, which of course attracted it. Strangely enough, the skeleton soldiers who had been mindlessly attacking him suddenly became less active. It seemed like he was scared. The Flame Knight King doesn't care so much. He will deal with those annoying remote ones first, and then slowly deal with the remaining skeletons. Because under those annoying long-range attacks, his health volume was already down to half. But at this moment, 30,000 spear skeletons and spear skeletons suddenly appeared among the skeleton soldiers on both sides. Reject the horse. Both arms have this skill. Skeleton soldiers have been used to fight independently before. But the Flame Knight King did not attack them at all. The level gap is there and their sporadic horse-repelling skills had no effect on the Flame Night King. However, a total of 30,000 spear and spear skeleton soldiers combined to resist the Flame Night King would have a different effect. Boom! The Flame Night King fell off his horse and rolled several times on the ground. Before it could get up, tens of thousands of skeletons crazily pressed on it and attacked. Without its flaming horse, the King of Night's strength would be greatly reduced, although it still wiped out tens of thousands of skeleton soldiers. Its health volume had bottomed out. At this time, it had already begun to give up. Facing the sea of skeletons, you absolutely cannot escape, especially if you are surrounded. The Flame Knight King wants to find his flame horse. But after it chopped down a bunch of skeletons around him, he also became the target of the skeletons from a distance. Especially the skeleton snipers. They have found the high point and at this time launched a precise attack on the Flame Knight King. The horse riding Flame Knight King still poses a long range threat. But without the flame horse, the thread disappears instantly. Is it going to run to hunt down those remote skeletons? Boom! Under a round of concentrated fire, the flame night king fell to the ground directly. At this time, Su Chen also came down on Fong Fong. In this battle, more than half of the skeleton army was lost, with about 300,000 remaining. But, looking at the flame night king on the ground, Su Chen directly used his skills. Soul giving. Name. Flame Night King. Variety, Devil. Level, 75. HP, 68,000. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skills, Charge. Enhanced Heavy Slash. Sweep. Thirst for Blood. Warlord's Roar. Shadow Knight Charge. Blood Fighting Spirit. Su Chen felt comfortable in his heart when he looked at the tall and mighty Night King in front of him. Unexpectedly, the King of Knights who conquered level 95 at level 50 only lost level 20. This is simply too acceptable. The key is to be handsome. He was dressed in flame armor, with a flaming horse under his body, and holding a halberd. Just by looking at him, he can scare a lot of people. Look at the chicks again. What are they? Forget it if it's level 60. The blood is still thin. It's just a chicken, carrying a sword all day long. And its wings are just a decoration, but can't fly. What's the point of returning thousands of swords to the clan? There are only a few hundred swords and their power is not very good. Where can I put thousands of swords back to the clan? No need to change the name. Just call him King of Knights. Su Chen showed a tolerant attitude towards Su Chen's strongest combat force. Chapter 53 Flame Legion Template Earn 5 times. At this time, Su Chen heard another prompt tone. The template is recorded successfully. Please check. Su Chen raised his eyebrows. It seemed that the more he slaughtered, the greater the chance of getting something. After getting the template, his interface has an additional option, template. 
Su Ching clicked on it and found that there was only one entry for Legion of Flames. Legion of Flame, after using this template, the Skeleton Legion will gain increased fire attribute resistance. And there will be a certain chance of adding fire attributes when attacking. Note, template levels are divided into the following. From worst to best, white, blue, silver, gold, dark gold, orange, and red. Is it just the quality of blue? Su Chen touched his chin and thought. The Flame Legion is indeed not a rare species. Monsters can be seen everywhere in the Flame Barrier. But then again, Su Chen killed 3,000 Flame Legions in one go. And it was with a drop bonus for leapfrogging kills that he revealed the template of the Flame Legion. Su Chen knew that there were rare species. But wasn't it because they were rare? If you don't kill enough people, you probably won't be able to record the template. So you're stuck in a cycle. Reserve. Although it was only a blue quality template, Su Chen still didn't mind it. He recorded and saved it first. A maximum of three templates can be saved in the template. If the three templates are retained and have not been used, only one template can be forgotten when a new template is obtained. But Su Chen wasn't that free. So he painted a lot of templates and saved them for fun. Anyway, it will be consumed every time you evolve. So you must use the best ones. It doesn't matter whether other junk items are kept or not. This battle lasted quite a long time. Su Chen looked at the time and saw that it was already night. Let's rest first. There are still 300,000 troops left. We'll find volcano lizards tomorrow to see how their templates look. Su Chen thought about it in his mind and chose to log off. Su Chen was quite satisfied with today's harvest. The million strong army consumed about 700,000 and gained a guild warehouse and skill tree. In addition, he also gained a flame night king which replaced Brother Chicken and became his strongest single-target combat capability. Although the template of the Flame Legion is only blue, it can increase basic attribute resistance such as fire resistance, which is not bad. And the attack can also bring fire attribute damage. If I have to say there's anything I'm not satisfied with. That is to say, his experience is that he has basically not moved for a whole day. And it is not that he has not moved at all. If the difference that can be seen through a microscope is considered to be moving, then it is considered moving. After fighting the Flame Legion for a day, Su Chen felt that the experience was not as good as fighting an ordinary monster of a similar level to himself. Back to reality. Su Chen did not forget to verify his current ability. But since the last summons filled the room, Su Chen didn't dare to go all out now. With a wave of his hand, only three were summoned this time. There is no place to verify the quantity now. So we can only verify the quality first. Three skeletons came out wearing heavy armor, an axeman, a sword and shield, and an archer. It's exactly the same as summoning the upgraded skeleton monster in today's game. It seems that the evolution of skeleton soldiers in the game can also evolve with the skeleton soldiers summoned in reality. Su Chen looked at this scene with expectations in his heart. It stands to reason that after the evolution template is used, the skeleton soldiers in reality will also be affected. It seems that we need to be more cautious when upgrading templates. The next day, Su Chen secretly approached the guild to sell strategies a few days ago. These guilds also saw that the guide was being circulated everywhere. Each guild was also looking for a new home. And the guide was spread more and more widely. Nowadays, most first-class guilds already have a guide for everyone. Of course, Sunset Guild, which was the first to get the guide, had exclusive access to the dungeon for a while because no one was clearing the dungeon at first. At this time, I have almost made everything back and I have also gained a wave of fame in vain. The dungeon is like a huge mineral vein. Anyone at the beginning can dig up good things. The more people there are, the good things in front will be mined away. Although this is a real world, the game system has a certain ability to recreate creatures, and the copies are also made by the game system. Each copy is given a bunch of good stuff by the game system. First come first served. This is why, even though land reclamation costs so much money and experience, there are still countless top guilds who are still happy to do it. Although it has been poached by the previous guilds for several days. Other guilds still want to get a piece of the pie. But a new problem arises. The most important thing in the strategy is obviously the hell neutralizing salve. Most of the materials needed to neutralize the ointment in H. L are out of stock right now. Especially the stone statue flowers which are hard to find at all. Stone flower is the material with the fewest output channels. The price of the stone flower had risen from 50 gold coins to 200 gold coins when Zhou Jing purchased it. With the proliferation of guides among first-class guilds, the price of the stone flower had risen to 200 gold coins. 
The price of a stone flower has now reached 1,000 gold coins, and it is hard to find one. When Su Chen went online again, he saw that he had more than 20 missed calls. At first glance, they were all called from Zhou Jing. Of course, Su Chen knew why Zhou Jing was calling. Lao Su, the stone statues and flowers are already worth 1,000 gold coins. Do you still want to plant them? Zhou Jing's voice was trembling. Hearing Zhou Jing's words, Su Chen couldn't help but smile. Yesterday you were in a hurry to make a move with 600 gold coins. But why are you still able to hold on with 1,000 gold coins today? Su Chen joked. Isn't it because the water is too deep here? And I can't control it. Should Lao Su keep it or throw it away? Zhou Jing trembled a little. Obviously, he was still quite nervous at this time. Five times. That's about it. Throw it away. Su Chen said indifferently. The next new dungeon is about to be opened. And this dungeon will gradually become worthless. In particular, the guide he released not only included neutralizing ointments, but also explained other basic fighting methods. Some strong guilds could survive for two days without relying on neutralizing ointments. Five times more is almost the peak. The output of stone statue flowers is small, but it is not that they cannot be produced. For example, individual players think that stone statue flowers are valuable, so they simply go for stone statue flowers. Even if there is still demand for stone statue flowers in the future, the output will gradually increase and the price will gradually decline. There is still a small rise, but in pursuit of that little mosquito leg, it is better to sell it now and get the funds back first. Okay. Lao Su. Whatever you say is what it is. Although Zhou Jing thought there might still be an increase, the money was all Su Chen's money, and he was there to help. Chapter 54. It's just retail investors. Just take it by force. We bought almost 500,000 gold coins. Doubled it five times. So we would be 250. Zhou Jing said excitedly. Can you remove the word men? Su Chen raised his forehead slightly. I said it wrong. Zhou Jing also realized that he had said the wrong thing and added, the money is basically yours. So you only have 205. Looking at Zhou Jing in the video, he was very excited. Su Chen was also speechless. Okay, you go and deal with it quickly. I'm going to do things first. Su Chen didn't bother to dwell on the issue of 205 and waved his hand directly. Zhou Jing was also excited to operate. Su Chen didn't care anymore and went directly to find the purpose of his trip. The Volcano Lizard Forum One post sparked a heated discussion. Can anyone explain why the stone flower has increased from 50 gold to 1,000 gold? Originally, posts like this asking questions would usually only be answered casually by a few old players. And even zero replies would be normal. But after this post appeared, the number of replies in one morning exceeded 10,000. I really don't know if you don't tell me. Although there have been items that have increased in price in the past. Isn't this kind of dramatic price increase too outrageous? It couldn't be those businessmen and studios who jointly promoted this thing. Isn't this what can be used to wake up stone statues? Moreover, it cannot drive the stone statues. And can only simply interact with the stone statues to complete some ordinary tasks. Originally, there was a mission to interact with the stone statues to find out information. I forgot to do it a while ago. The stone flowers on the day were only a few dozen gold. I saw this post today and found out that I had been fired for a thousand gold. Haha. Uh -huh. A group of ignorant people don't know that stone statue flowers are of great use now. What to pretend? The Riddler? Upstairs. He is really not pretending to be the Riddler. This stone flower does have a great effect. Each of you is half speaking. Can you say what you have to say directly? That post couldn't actually be that popular. Someone came and revealed the great function of the stone statue flower, but did not say what it was. I thought it was a lie. The key person also received support from many people, saying that it was indeed effective. And some people recognized some of the IDs. They were indeed the IDs of some well-known players in the game. And they didn't look like they were scams. So people immediately contacted the confidentiality agreement signed by those people. And they could not say the specific function. This time, it made people even more curious. In this kind of heat, there will always be someone to take over the heat. Vulgar Gods, The Secret of the Stone Flower the title was short, but it went viral instantly. Because Su Shen is a well-known big businessman in the game, the news he broke in the past is almost all correct. As high authority, gargoyles are used to make hell neutralizing ointment, which is a necessary consumable for the hell tyrant dungeon. Not only is the title short, the entire content is also concise. But with the golden signboard of secular gods, the fewer words, 
the more authoritative it is. Of course, it wasn't for nothing that the lay god spread the news. He noticed it when he saw the significant increase in the trading volume of stone statue flowers. So he used various channels to find out the news. Finally, he received the strategy that was being circulated. When he took over the stone statue flower, it was already worth 600,700 gold coins. But as an old businessman, the lay god still had a keen sense of smell. He saw that there was still room for improvement. And when he had more than 900 gold coins, he was still shopping. I just plan to speculate and make a fortune. And in order to increase credibility, the secular god also exposed the synthetic formula of the H. L. Neutralizing ointment. This recipe is also very stupid. Not all the materials are exposed. Only the two names surrounding the stone statue flower are included. Yes, those two exposed names are also on his stocking list. It turns out to be a must-have item for the Tyrant of Hell. Guide to purchasing stone statues and related materials at high prices. If you have any, contact me and I won't be short of money. It is still the conscience of secular gods. And none of the so-called great gods before have been spared. YYDS. Do you really think that secular gods are kind? I saw that he had accumulated a lot. It's better to just do it if we have it. Then if the great gods don't tell us. The conditions for obtaining stone statue flowers seem to be very harsh. The yield is very small, and it is not easy. Let me talk about why the Sunset Guild was able to complete it first. It seems that this strategy is really strong. Just after the secular god posted, the dozen stone statue flowers that were left in the trading house have been cleared away. People who buy stone statues and flowers at this time. It is possible to use it for personal use. But more likely, I still think that I can make a profit by chasing the rise. But after a dozen high-priced stone flowers were sold off instantly, a dozen more flowers suddenly appeared on the trading floor. The price is the same as before. No more. No less. A full thousand gold coins. People who had not had time to get on the bus were immediately dropped off. Coincidentally, a dozen flowers were dropped instantly. And another dozen more. The buying was slower this time. But still sold out. It was as if they couldn't be sold out. After a dozen flowers, there were more than a dozen flowers again. This behavior naturally attracted the attention of many people. Among them are secular gods. At this time, the lay god had just posted and was about to take a break. I heard the assistant say that someone seemed to be throwing stone statues of flowers. At this point in time, who is selling goods? The lay god frowned. He had just posted, and players were very enthusiastic. This was a good time to raise the price. Even Lika knows that if you get on the bus now, you can make a small profit right away. I don't know. The seller didn't show his ID. And the system of New World has been unable to detect it. The assistant also shook his head. The lay god thought for a moment and immediately made a few phone calls. Lao Qian, you didn't throw away the stone statue flowers. Did you? Lao Zhou, your stone flower. Just do it this way. We said we would unite the front. The people the lay god contacted were all big businessmen he knew had also stocked up on goods. After some inquiries, no one sold the goods. It's strange. It can't be the people from the guild. How can they sell the goods if they don't even have enough for themselves? At this time, the lay god felt strange. Boss, while you were on the phone just now, he was still selling more than a dozen of these products in a steady stream. The assistant wiped the cold sweat from his head. Could it be a retail investor who accidentally hit it by mistake before and got lucky? The lay god was a little suspicious. Boss, what should we do now? The assistant didn't know what to do. He was just a retail investor. He didn't have much. So he was just forced to eat it. The lay god snorted coldly. It's not easy to create an atmosphere of hype. He was considered a mid-range player when he bought it. If he did it now, the price of the stone statue flower would probably collapse. Chapter 55 New Target Lizardman Grand Magister. It was unacceptable to him to make a small profit after being busy for a while. After the secular gods took a strong action, stone flowers began to be swept away in large numbers. Retail investors, who were already a little shaken, became more confident when they saw someone forcibly eating a large amount of stone statue flowers. I couldn't get a stone statue flower at all. I just ordered it when it came out, and it was sold out. Hurry up and follow up. There are not many guilds that have beaten the Hell Tyrant dungeon now. Just because of the stone flower, the guild will definitely pay a high price for it. Is there any hope of increasing it to 2,000 gold coins? It's not impossible. It's even possible for it to continue to rise beyond 2,000 gold coins. Now, 
The top dungeon's prime time is so expensive that even the big guilds will buy it. It was my first time gathering wool from those big guilds. So I was so nervous. Obviously. Stoneflower's target is counting on the great guild to take over. At this time, Zhou Jing, who was operating the auction house, was also surprised. In order not to cause panic in the market, he chose to sell small shares patiently and slowly. At first, the speed of eating was okay, but then it gradually stagnated. Zhou Jing suddenly felt that Su Chen's estimate was indeed correct. The price was basically close to the limit of the player's affordability. Zhou Jing was originally thinking about whether to lower the price a little and sell it before the price collapsed. But a group of people appeared out of nowhere. And they ate as soon as the goods were shipped. And they ate as soon as the goods were shipped. Zhou Jing immediately realized that someone must be eating it. According to the previous purchase speed of players, it was not that fast at all. I didn't know which Shabi was scanning the goods. So I hurried out. Zhou Jing was also delighted. However, in order not to alert the other party, he still chose to put out more than 10 flowers at a time and use them up slowly. Flame Barrier Volcano Lizard Camp The Volcano Lizard's camps are also strangely built. They like to find bald mountain tops and build their own camps. R. Fortunately, Fofong ran quite fast. So climbing up didn't have much impact. Fighting the Volcano Lizard Camp is a bit more difficult than the Legion of Fire. The main reason is that the Volcano Lizard is good at fighting in the mountains. This is the reason why the Flame Legion has been unable to defeat the Volcano Lizard after fighting for so long. The Flame Legion's power here is far stronger than that of the Volcano Lizard. The key is that the Volcano Lizard's territory is easy to defend and difficult to attack. And the Flame Legion can't do anything to them. But Su Chen was still confident. The Volcano Lizard's individual combat ability is stronger than that of the Flame Legion. But the number of Volcano Lizards is much smaller than that of the Flame Legion. Just like this camp. It is not small among the volcanic lizard camps. But there are only 500 volcanic lizards in total. Su Chen summoned 10,000 skeleton soldiers from different directions. Making a total of 10,000 skeleton soldiers from 30 places in each place. Fo Feng was very fast. And it didn't take even a minute to carry Su Chen through all this. Attack! After the arrangements were made, Su Chen gave the order directly. Skeleton soldiers all over the mountains and plains. A dense mass of darkness are heading towards the camp on the top of the mountain. Soon, he was discovered by the Volcano Lizard sentry. A strange scream. The entire Volcano Lizard camp was on alert. They are never afraid of attackers climbing up from below. It's not like the Flame Legion has never tried. But they were severely defeated by them. The Flame Legion didn't dare to attack rashly. The leader of the Volcano Lizards is a half-lizard with a staff in his hand. Name, Volcano Lizard Archmage. Variety, Devil. Level, 95. HP unknown. Level dark gold boss. Skill unknown. It's a skeleton. What's going on? How come there are dark creatures in the flame barrier? The lizardman Grand Magister felt very puzzled when he saw the skeletons climbing up like a tide. Big fire bomb. The lizardman Grand Mage doesn't care about so many. And strikes first. It doesn't believe that these skeletons climbed up the mountain to see the scenery. Boom. An explosion took away a group of skeleton soldiers. But the gap was immediately filled by the remaining skeleton soldiers. Attack! When the great lizard man saw the scene, he knew that he would not be scared away. Now, the whole camp can only fight. Almost all volcano lizards have the ability to spit fireballs. Not only that, they are also very good at close combat. Suddenly, dense fireballs envelop the skeleton soldiers like a hail of bullets. Although each round of attacks will take away a group of skeleton soldiers. The skeleton soldiers don't know what it means to retreat. After entering the range of the skeleton soldiers, the long-range skeleton soldiers also began to attack densely. It is not so easy for the volcanic lizard to attack the skeleton soldiers. Every time you show your head to attack the skeleton soldiers, you have to withstand the indiscriminate bombardment of the skeleton soldiers. The skeleton soldiers are getting closer and closer to the camp. At this time, the lizardman Archmage also released a condensed ultimate move. Fire Spirit Erosion. With the camp as the center, dozens of fire spirits appeared. And these fire spirits rushed directly into the sea of skeletons and scurried around. Every time they scurry around, they will attack a group of skeleton soldiers. And they will also cause burning attacks. This ultimate move directly caused the skeleton soldiers to lose 50,000 troops. But the other skeleton soldiers who were not attacked have already rushed to the top of the mountain. During the long-range bombardment, dozens of volcanic lizards died. At this time, 
there were almost 200,000 skeleton soldiers left, and had crawled into the camp from all directions. That's right. Just climb in. The skeleton soldiers had no attack protection at all, but chose to build ladders and force their way into the volcano lizard's camp. 200,000 skeleton soldiers poured in continuously, and what followed was a fierce hand-to-hand -hand battle with the volcanic lizard. The volcano lizard is also really ferocious. It rushes into the sea of skeletons and rolls around, killing hundreds of skeleton soldiers. However, there were also volcanic lizards that didn't even roll much and were directly chopped down by the concentrated fire. The land of wild flames. The lizardman archmage used a big move again. On the ground, flames began to spurt out continuously, with full impact. Together with the remaining 200 volcanic lizards, another 70,000 to 80,000 damage was caused to the skeleton soldiers. But Su Chen didn't intend to waste the skeletons in vain. He wanted to capture this camp. And he was also very interested in the great mage Su Chen. Just when the lizardman archmage was about to sing his next big move, Shadow Knight charges. The Flame Knight King suddenly appeared and rushed towards the Lizardman Grand Mage. Although the level difference between the two sides is now 20 levels. After all, they were once at the same level. Wan Jian returns to his clan. Along with this, there was also a sudden attack from Chicken Brother. After the Knight King and Chicken Brother attacked, Su Chen didn't let them stay and took them back. This made the Lizardman Grand Magister, who wanted revenge, suddenly lose his target. With such an interruption, the Sea of Skeletons began to cover the Lizardman Grand Magister. Chapter 56 The Allegiance of the Great Magister The Sea of Skeletons directly drowned the Great Lizardman Mage. This battle has also reached its final stage. The individual strength of the Volcano Lizard is indeed much stronger than that of the Flame Legion. But their quantity problem makes the Skeleton Army easier than yesterday's battle. After the battle between the Volcanic Lizards and their leader, the Great Lizard Magister, and the Trap Beasts caused another loss of Skeletons. The battle finally came to an end. It's really not easy. Su Chen looked at the loss. It was a little less than yesterday's loss of 300,000. But there was still a loss of about 250,000. Now there are only 50,000 skeleton soldiers. At the same time, he glanced at the great lizard man mage on the ground. And Su Chen also chose to use Soul Grant. Name, Volcano Lizard Archmage. Variety, Devil. Level, 75. HP, 56,000. Level Dark Gold Boss. Skills, Furious Flames. Large Fire Bombs. Serial Fire Explosions. Fire Blast. Flame Shield. Fire Spirit Erosion. Wild Flame Land. Lord. The Lizard Archmage stood up again and quickly understood his situation and saluted Su Chin. This was what Su Chin saw taking the initiative to talk to him after being enslaved. Even before. People like Brother G didn't speak and couldn't speak. The others are probably because their levels and IQs are too low. Brother G is a phantom himself. So it is normal for him to have no IQ. When you meet your king again, will you be shaken? Facing the slave monster talking to him for the first time. Su Chen also asked curiously. The king of volcanic lizards has already given it one life. And now it is the second life. This life is given by the lord and one should be loyal to the lord. The lizard archmage said calmly. But I was the one who killed you. Don't you hate me? Su Chen continued to ask. That is the matter in another world that has been settled. There is no need for the Lord to feel guilty. This is just an arrangement in fate. The lizard archmage said seriously. Is that so? Su Chen touched his chin and summoned the King of Knights at the same time. After the King of Knights came out, he looked like he was waiting for orders. Can you also speak? Su Chen asked the King of Knights curiously. The King of Knights was stunned for a moment, then nodded. You can talk. Why don't you talk to me? Su Chen asked. Because I don't want to talk to you. When I talk to you, I must be respectful or I will suffer soul torture. I still remember that I was defeated by you. After the King of Knights was silent for a while, he spoke slowly. After hearing the two different answers, Su Chen probably understood. People like the Great Lizard Magister have already let go and have sworn allegiance to themselves. In addition, like the King of Knights, he still hates himself in his heart. But the gift of soul also comes with restrictions. Not to mention disobeying orders. Even if you speak a little differently, you will be punished by the contract. The key is to look at the appearance of the King of Knights. This contract is not something he is willing to sign. It is signed by force. No wonder. At the level of the King of Knights, he clearly has the ability to communicate with it. But he never talks to him. Is this the power of the true God? You don't need to be like this. 
When I no longer need you, I will give you your freedom. With a wave of his hand, the king of knights went back. No expression could be seen under the mask of the king of knights. But he still trembled slightly. It had already made preparations to be enslaved forever. Unexpectedly, Su Chen actually made such a promise to him. Even though he is weaker than before and has become undead, he can still be free after resurrection. Without waiting for it to express its attitude, it was sent back directly. You too. You can choose to be free when I don't need it. Su Chen looked at the great lizard magister. Master, slaves don't dare. However, the lizard archmage seemed to think that Su Chen was testing him and immediately expressed his loyalty. Su Chen smiled. Since there were contract restrictions, he didn't need to distinguish between true loyalty and fake loyalty. Su Chen took a look at the template and found that there was still no volcanic lizard template. You are familiar with this area. So you lead the way to find the smaller group. Su Chen said to the lizard archmage, It is an honor to serve the lord. As a result, the great lizard magister became the leader. After finding a small group of people, the lizard archmage even planned to take action directly. Although he is currently level 75, which is 5 levels lower than the generally 80 level volcano lizard, he is a dark gold level boss. Killing dozens of volcanic lizards is still possible. No need to take action. Leave these things to them. Su Chen asked the lizard archmage to retreat, and instead let the remaining 50,000 skeleton soldiers charge forward. Although the lizard archmage was a little puzzled, he didn't dare to ask more questions. According to the contract, he was not qualified to ask the Lord's reasons. He just needs to listen to what Su Chen tells him to do. And then he does it and that's it. With the lizard archmage leading the way, it was even smoother for Su Chen to recruit the volcano lizard. The other side? It's nighttime too. Is the other party still dumping goods? The lay god walked around the room impatiently. Yes, it lasted for a day. And we have spent more than 2 million gold coins. The operating staff also reported it immediately. No one knows how much goods the other party has. Each time, more than 10 flowers were released like this. And they were released for a whole day. It was simply a torture. Many times, the secular gods want to directly shout to him to let him eat as much as he wants at once. Too lazy to be so upset. Instead of just a dozen flowers, hundreds of them suddenly appeared on the market. Suddenly, someone ran in and said, Kindness? Could it be that the other party heard his inner cry and let it go all at once? Boss, do you want to eat? At this time, the employee in charge of the operation also said, Upon hearing the news, the lay god hesitated for a moment. He has eaten too many goods today, and they are all high-level takeovers such as 1,000 gold. One minute passed. Two minutes passed. The lay god hesitated for five minutes. To be honest, he is starting to feel a little less confident now. By this time, there were hundreds more flowers on the market. Boss, there are already thousands of flowers. The operator was sweating a little. The time he hesitated just now actually caused someone in the market to waver. This made the lay god a little irritated. Have eaten. The secular gods are very annoyed today. The businessman's rational thinking was temporarily put in the back of his mind. And he got a little carried away. We have already reached this step. If we don't continue to follow, then the previous one will truly take over. Chapter 57 After harvesting 1 million gold coins, the mentality of secular gods collapsed. Flame Barrier With the help of the great lizard magister who led the way, Su Chin finally created the template of the volcanic lizard. Volcanic lizard, after using this template, the skeleton core gains a general skill. Fire attribute enchantment. Fire attribute enchantment. Enchant the weapon with fire attribute for one minute. No wonder it's so difficult to paint. It's actually a silver template. Su Chin saw that this effect was indeed much stronger than the Flame Legion. At this time, prompts appeared one after another. The number of templates has been increased to two. Adding decomposition and strengthening functions. So there are more buttons for decompose and strengthen. Decomposition. Redundant evolution templates can be decomposed into evolution points. Strengthen. Strengthen the template ability. Have a chance to improve the template level. Consume evolution points. So that's it. Su Chen nodded. So the Legion of Flames was disintegrated directly. Decomposition is successful. Evolution points plus 10. A blue one. Broken down into 10 evolution points. Su Chen took a look and saw that there were only more than 2,000 skeleton core left. With more than 2,000 people, it is impossible to create another template. The skeleton army is about to evolve. If you don't use the template, you will waste an opportunity. So Su Chen also directly chose the template to strengthen, 
Vulcan Lizard. Ding. The enhancement was successful. Please check. Hearing the prompt, Su Chin immediately clicked on Volcano Lizard. Volcanic Lizard, after using this template, the Skeleton Core gains a general skill, Fire Attribute Enchantment. Fire Attribute Enchantment. Enchant the weapon with Fire Attribute for 2 minutes. Did you just add 1 minute to the duration? That's okay. Right? After all, it's just 10 evolution points. It's okay to have such an effect. It seems that you can't ask for too much. The night sky is already filled with stars. Su Chin casually commanded and consumed the more than 2,000 skeletons. It was considered that the task was completed and he could rest. Ding. You have an email. At this time, an email notification sound came. I took a look at the sender's name. Ergo from the village entrance. 100 million. Really a total of two and a half million gold coins. Su Chin was speechless. I don't know if that guy Zhou Jing did it on purpose or if he didn't think too much about it. At this time, Zhou Jing also called. How about Lao Luo? Did you receive it? Zhou Jing's voice was somewhat proud. Have you been handling these goods all day today? Or do you put them all directly? Su Chin was busy brushing monsters today and didn't pay attention to the situation outside. Ha uh ha. -huh. I feel happy when I talk about it. There was a shabby who kept collecting it. So I let it out little by little. That shabby kept collecting it all day long. But that comparison was really cruel. When I was dealing with the last few dozen flowers, thousands of them appeared out of nowhere and were instantly eliminated. Zhou Jing told Su Chen what happened today. When Su Chen heard Zhou Jing's way of handling it, he was stunned by Zhou Jing for a moment. You know, you ruin the price of stone statues. After hearing Zhou Jing's words, Su Chen felt it. Broken? Speaking of which, I stopped paying attention after I threw it away. Zhou Jing scratched his head in confusion. Then both of them opened the auction house. The stone flower that had been selling for 1,000 gold coins was now being sold for 900 gold coins. And when Su Chen clicked refresh, another 890 gold appeared. It looks like it will continue to drop. Zhou Jing's operation made the market uneasy all day long. There are so many players. And the big businessman probably has a lot of goods on hand. Originally, Shixiangwa was bullish all the way after the morning's incident. And no one cared about Zhou Jing's initial operation. There are even ordinary players who want to follow suit. But such a whole day of torture is enough to make people doubt themselves. That sudden sell-off of thousands of flowers. Su Chen felt that there must be some news. Which added to the fire. In fact, Su Chen's feeling was correct. Today, the secular god, who has been tortured by Zhou Jing finally received a message. What? Did the Dragon Court Guild clear the level without relying on neutralizing ointment? When the secular gods heard the news, they were very shocked. But then he thought about it, and it was wrong. The Dragon Court Guild had cleared the level. But how could he ensure that they did not use neutralizing ointment? It's the real boss. The Dragon Court Guild posted a clearance video, announcing to the entire server that they are the real number one guild. The employee immediately opened the forum. It turned out that the Dragon Court Guild fell behind in this wave of dungeon battles. And its prestige took a certain hit. After the Dragon Court Guild had successfully cleared the level, a video of the level was released while protecting the guild's core combat power from being leaked. In the video, they did not use the hell neutralizing ointment and borrowed some parts from the strategy. But most of them are original ways of playing that the Dragon Court Guild has already figured out. As soon as the news came out, some well-informed businessmen were selling stone statue flowers before posting. The price of stone flower has reached sky-high prices. And the target group for taking over the deal is these top guilds who are willing to spend a lot of money to catch up with the progress. However, the Dragon Court Guild directly told everyone that they could still pass the level without the ointment from the guide. It also implies that the guilds that have passed the level before have all relied on opportunistic ointments to get there. And they are the real guilds who have passed the level for the first time. In other words, the number of people taking over is decreasing. Naturally, some people couldn't sit still. Originally, this news would not have caused the price to collapse directly. After all, not every guild has the power of the Dragon Court Guild. But Zhou Jing's day-long torture is indispensable. People have been selling goods all day today. Which makes people wonder if there is some inside information that they don't know yet. Stop. Stop receiving goods quickly. The Lay God also roared feebly. But they just ate thousands of flowers because of the influence of secular gods. Not only did it serve as a pickup for the goods that had been sold all day today, but it also took some bulk goods from merchants as well as bulk goods from players. Boom! Who is setting a trap for me? 
the vulgar god smashed the cup on the coffee table with one hand. After getting angry, he sat on the sofa helplessly. This time, I admit my defeat. But don't let me catch you. The lay god clenched his fists, and there was a gloomy look in his eyes. How much is it now? The lay god looked at the traitor. 810. Um, 800 again. The room temperature was obviously not high, but the operator's head was covered with sweat. The range of 600,750 is all sold. The lay god is also planning to cut his losses now. When the top buyers exit, the game is over. Chapter 58 Toy Water Park. Bought Dow's record. Forum. Big P observation. Why did the suddenly popular stone flower collapse in one day? Big P, who is very famous in the forum, also posted on the forum again. The two previous expansion posts analyzing the God of the Dead were both written by him. But unlike before, this time Big P posted videos. In addition to the forum, the click-through rate on major video websites also soared. First of all, Big P also has two stone statue flowers in his hand. He got them by chance while doing a task a while ago. Do I feel a sense of participation this time? Back to the topic. The reason why the price of stone statue flowers has increased is because someone has been buying it. The reason why the price has increased sharply is because the explosive post of the secular god revealed the use of the stone statue flower. In fact, you don't need to analyze it to know that the secular god also has a lot of goods. This is the tricks that businessmen use are actually harvesting time when they break the news. However, under such a rising trend, some people have been selling stone statue flowers. And some people have been buying them today. I initially guessed that these guilds were jointly selling off. But this guess was wrong because I checked whether the guilds had them for their own use. The goods were purchased. But they were purchased by merchants. They must have guessed like me that the guild jointly suppressed the price. I can responsibly say that this collapse of the stone flower is controlled by someone. Even the news about the Dragon Court Guild was under the control of the other party. Big P's analysis allowed some people who didn't understand to quickly understand it. This market is indeed where we harvest leeks. I also paid 1,000 gold to grab a few flowers. And I was very happy at the time. Ha uh ha. -huh. Fortunately, I don't have gold coins. So I can't be harvested. Upstairs. You're quite proud. Aren't you? The price is pretty good. So civilians like us can use it. Those who suffered the biggest losses this time were mainly businessmen. There are still few players hoarding goods. Most people benefit. Therefore, the players do not dislike the person behind the scenes, but praise him in their hearts. But that person was too mysterious, and there was no information at all. So he had to give up. The next day, Su Chin has teleported back from the flame barrier. There is a copy. And if you don't level it up, it will be exceeded. Copy door. Su Chin came early in the morning. There were not many people in the dungeon at this time. And he was shouting to form a team. Come on an early train and play on normal difficulty to get some monsters. Recruiting guys to pay wages. Don't come if you don't have the ability. Bring an equipment panel to sign up. There are fewer people in the morning. So drive when the place is full and don't be too rubbish. Su Chen's passing by still attracted some attention. This time, it's not that Su Chen's equipment makes me want to pull him over. But because Su Chen's outfit is too weird. Su Chen was wearing a mask and a cape. And there were no obvious signs of professional weapons. This hidden set is a special item that Su Chen bought for 200,000 gold coins. After the last dungeon, Su Chen also learned from experience to avoid being recognized when going out. It's not that he's afraid of being famous and exposed. But the main reason is that his current level is too low. The first echelon is over 100 levels. If someone really targets him, even if he can help him quickly consume skeletons, generally speaking, a top-notch master can still find him among thousands of troops. This will greatly delay his upgrade speed. There will be games coming later. And Su Chen has no intention of spending time with those people. Seeing Su Chen's strange outfit, no one took the initiative to invite Su Chen to join the team. Mainly because I thought Su Chen was a little strange. It was best to ignore him. And Su Chen walked directly to the dungeon for free. Toy Water Park. Level Limit. Level 4753. Please select the difficulty level. Normal level. Warrior level. King level. Hell level. As always, no need to sweat the difficulty. Directly to H, L level. Toy Water Park. After entering the copy, a message box also appeared. Record holder, Ba Dao. 9 minutes and 50 seconds. This ID seems familiar? Su Chen saw this ID and recalled it. 
Only then did he remember that this person was the person Zhou Jing asked him to pay attention to last time and threatened him in a forum post. The boss of the second-rate guild Shamasing. To be honest, this guild was relatively popular among the second-rate guilds, and Su Chen didn't even pay much attention to it. But after all, they are a group of hundreds of people with some masters. Fortunately, I bought a hidden suit, so he can't find me. Su Chen smiled. Of course, keeping this guild would be troublesome. After reaching a high level, the skeleton soldiers evolved many times and then went to destroy their guild city. Su Chen thought silently in his heart. Of course, instead of starting the next level of skeleton soldiers, he planned to practice leveling first. So what came out this time was the monster he enslaved. The main force is of course, the Lizardman Grand Mage and the Flame Night King. Now these two have become the cards among the slave monsters. Next, there is the rabble led by Chicken Brother. With such fighting power, breaking a record is enough. Of course, Su Chen wouldn't stop taking the record-breaking entry just because of the threat from that tyrant sword. In order to break the record, Su Chen didn't linger too long and waved directly. The Flame Night King took the lead and rushed forward. In front of you is a large pool. Just like a swimming pool. There is a huge snail in the water. Half of its body soaked in the pool. Charge. Originally, the height of the water could almost submerge the horse. But under the impact of the strong wind of the Night King, even the water was divided. Name, Paradise Gatekeeper Toy Big Snail. Variety, Puppet Type. Level 50. HP Unknown. Level Silver Boss. Skill Unknown. This is just a gatekeeper monster, but it has already reached the silver level boss. Boom. However, under the suppression of the Night King's absolute strength, the level 75 Dark Gold Night King directly stabbed the big snail and knocked down half of its health. This is also because of its thick health and high defense. Plus the fact that it is in the water. The fire damage of the King of Knights has been weakened a lot. Otherwise, a level 50 monster would be instantly killed with just one poke. Angry Flames. The Grand Mage was not idle either and added another attack from behind. Boom. This time it smashed the big snail's SH. L directly. The big snail didn't use a single skill and was defeated by two high-level dark gold bosses, each with only one skill. Why are you standing there? Let's go. Su Ching glanced at the shocked group of guys behind him, led by Chicken Brother, and waved. After the gatekeeper snail fell, a stone bridge it guarded appeared behind it. Under the stone bridge, there is a quagmire. Su Chin knew that under this quagmire, many toy water bugs would jump out and attack people walking on the stone bridge. Chapter 59 Who is the King of Fencing? Super fast new record. In addition to avoiding attacks under the quagmire, you also have to avoid attacks from toy guard birds in the sky. And there were originally toy soldiers guarding the bridge. This copy is easy to say and difficult to say. Simplicity is less lengthy than other copies. Like other dungeons, most of them have five or six scenes. And there are also three or five bosses. This toy water park actually only has two bosses. And the scene is simple. In addition to the big gatekeeper snail you fight at the beginning. After crossing this stone bridge, you can directly fight the final boss. If we want to break the record, we have to make a fuss about it on this bridge. The length of the bridge is not short. And coupled with the harassment that occurs from time to time, it is easier for solo players to be classified as warriors. That Ba Dao is a berserker, and as long as he controls his blood well, it is indeed very conducive to setting records. It is very unfriendly to long-range professions such as mage bows and arrows. But for Su Chen, it was simple. Su Chen directly rode on the King of Knight's horse, and at the same time asked other subordinates to cover him with all their strength. The King of Knights charged directly and advanced rapidly on the stone bridge. The toy bugs that occasionally jumped out and attacked were killed by the King of Knights. Not just bugs, but flying in the sky. Name, Toy Guard Bird. Variety, Puppet. Level 52. Level Elite. Skill Unknown. Running on the ground. Name, Toy Guard. Variety, Puppet. Level 53. Level Elite. Skill Unknown. Anyone who blocked the way of the King of Knights would be chopped down with a halberd in his hand. Just like the God of War Lu Bu. Unstoppable. He cut his way through the stone bridge. Gaining experience is so fast. I feel like I can gain level 53 directly here. Because of this dungeon. There is no way to enter after level 53. In just a moment. His experience bar increased by a visible amount. In addition to the king of knights instantly killing those in front. The regiment behind them also dealt with those who attempted to pursue. There are so many weird things. 
I didn't think of this before. Seeing the densely packed H, L-level monsters. Su Chin was a little bewildered. As long as you don't break the record and slowly spawn monsters on this bridge. It will be fun. Just brush it next time. Su Chin shook his head and wanted to break the record first. Soon, the stone bridge was also passed. After passing through a toy gate, a place that looked like an arena appeared. The surrounding buildings are all made of Lego bricks. And the arena floor is also made of toy puzzles. Quack. A strange cry. A black shadow slowly descended in the sky. It was a huge seven-star ladybug. A bit larger than the King of Knights. At the same time, it has ten hands. And all ten hands hold swords. But this sword is the kind of round sword used in fencing competitions. It also wears a crown on its head. Declaring that it is the king of this paradise. It's just that it's a little crooked when worn. And it doesn't look very serious at first glance. Name, Nox who loves fencing. Variety, mutated insect. Level, 55. HP, unknown. Level, dark gold boss. Skill, unknown. Looking at this boss, Su Chin couldn't help but glance at Brother G. Chicken Brother uses a one-handed sword and rarely uses both swords. While Nox uses ten swords. Who is the king of fencing? If he hadn't been eager to break the record, Su Chin would have had to let Brother G compete with Nox. This dungeon is still quite difficult. In the previous dungeon, the H, L level was the gold boss. But now dark gold bosses have begun to appear. The fact that Bod Dao maintains this record does not mean that he is the strongest among the berserkers. In fact, Bod Dao is not even ranked in the top 30 in the overall melee profession. Many top players were leading teams to attack various dungeons at that time. And would not waste time delving into single player clearance of a dungeon. They were already famous enough and did not need this record blessing. Ba Dao's guild at that time was just average. He wanted to become famous through being famous. So he spent a lot of money on this dungeon. This is why Ba Dao did not hesitate to threaten someone after he felt that someone could break the record. He was obviously anxious. You can compete with it next time to see who is the king of fencing. Su Qing glanced at Brother G and said with a smile. Then, he waved his hand gently. The two bosses, the King of Knights and the Magister, directly joined forces to deal with Nox. This scene is amazing. The Volcano Lizard and the Flame Legion have been fighting against each other for so many years. But one day, the generals from each camp decided to join forces. Fire Spirit Erosion First, the Grand Mage summoned several Fire Spirits. The Fire Spirit Suchin still has fresh memories. It was this thing at that time that caused huge losses to the Skeleton Army. Nox was very flexible, and the fire spirit was not very fast. When it saw the fire spirit coming, it directly chose to dodge. I dodged it smoothly, and it was much faster than the fire spirit. The speed of this fire spirit is really slow. Just as it was thinking about it, it discovered that the fire spirits had turned around and continued to chase it. These fire spirits are tracking. No matter how nimble Nox was, these fire spirits locked onto him and kept chasing him. Shadow Knight Charges at this time, the King of Knights did not watch the battle. Several Phantom Knights, one size smaller than him, also rushed towards Nox. Nox was originally entangled by the Fire Spirit. At this time, he saw a group of powerful knights rushing towards him. When two sides attack, it must choose a side to fight. But it seemed like I had no choice. The impact of the King of Knights is much faster than that of the Fire Spirit. And the King of Knights locks the charge of the breath. So that it has to fight. Clang. Ten thin swords parried the halberd swung by the king of knights. The collision between this halberd and the ten swords caused sparks to fly. Boom. Finally, it was the king of knights who knocked Nox away with his halberd. And this inverted flight also directly caused the tracking fire spirit to hit Nox. Suddenly, Nox's wings were blackened and he was lying on the ground. Nox and these two are both dark gold level. But there is a 20 level difference between them. It's still a double play with one distance and one close. Who can withstand this? A series of explosions. The Grand Magister didn't hold back and took advantage of Nox's injury to pursue him directly. Boom! The weak Nox also tried to block with his sword, but it was useless. This blow caused Nox to fall directly. At this time, the world announcement also sounded. World announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the Toy Water Park record with a time of 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Within 3 minutes? That's okay. Su Qing could barely accept this time. It's not that fast. It's only about 6 minutes faster than that tyrant. If some unnecessary verbosity is reduced, it should be about 20 to 30 seconds faster. But it doesn't matter. 
Chapter 60 Ba Del Wanted Phone Use Choice Currently you are the record holder of the Toy Water Park. And you have obtained the buff, Melee Damage Plus 5%. So that's it? For a moment, Su Chen finally knew why the tyrant was so crazy. When I was at a low level, I didn't think this buff was that great. But at Ba Dao's current level, this bonus is even comparable to a piece of equipment. I didn't expect it. I thought it was only 3% in a gradual manner. But it turned out to be such a powerful attribute. Su Chen couldn't help but nodded. The number of copies of records released in previous lives is very small. And the holders of each record are very low key. Only those copy entries that are not good will be published. Like the entry for the Toy Water Park. The previous life of Ba Dao has never been published. Su Chen did not return to the city. But chose to challenge again. He won't break the record this time. And plans to directly upgrade to exceed the dungeon limit at Shurqiao. Shira World. Shamasin Guild. It turns out that the elite group of the guild is doing a mission in the Shura world. World announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the Toy Water Park record with a time of 2 minutes and 58 seconds. A world announcement directly silenced the entire elite group. Many people and subordinates stopped moving. But they did not dare to say a word. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Behind the team. A man with disheveled hair and a long broadsword in his hand suddenly laughed. However, Hearing this laughter made more people afraid to look directly. Good, very good. Ba Dao laughed. But the anger in his eyes could not be concealed by a smile. In fact, what made him angry was not only that the other party ignored his warning, but also humiliatingly opened his record. Watching Luo Chio's 2 minutes and 58 seconds, every time he watched it, he felt that Luo Chio had slapped him. It's like mocking him that he doesn't know how to play the game. From now on, Luo Chio is wanted by the Shamasin Guild. Ba Dao put away his smile and said with an angry look, Boss, our main forces are all in the Shura world. The vice president of the guild also whispered at this time. But for a guy who is over level 50, we don't need to go back. We can directly ask the subordinate guilds of our main continent to hunt him down for me with all their strength. Ba Dao said with a sharp voice. Everyone was relieved to hear that they were not asked to put down what they were doing and deal with Luo Chio. They were really afraid that the elder brother would just ignore him. Of course, Ba Dao is not the same, because Luo Chio slowed down the upgrade progress of the entire guild. Although their subordinate guilds on the main continent are far from the first echelon, they still have a certain strength on the main continent. Soon, their wanted notices were issued. World Speaker, the Shamo Star Guild is officially looking for player Luo Chio. Players are welcome to provide information about Luo Chio. We will be grateful. The content of this world's loudspeaker suddenly set off a storm of topics again. Sunset Guild. What do you two think? Thing you also said to Cold Color and Sledgehammer after hearing the world loudspeaker call for Luo Chio being wanted on Shamo Planet. Stand and watch. Sledgehammer said honestly. I'm asking you seriously. Fong Yu narrowed his eyes slightly and shuddered when he looked at the sledgehammer. But at this time, the cool colors kept looking down and thinking about something. Thing you also noticed that Cold Color was thinking carefully. So he did not interrupt Cold Color. Since Luo Chio is useful to us. Let's just be a favor and warn Ba Dao that it will be okay. Sledgehammer spread his hands. In his opinion, a second-rate guild like Shamasing is like a younger brother to the Sunset Guild. He didn't even need the Sunset Guild's large force to take action. He led some of the main forces to beat up the Shamasing Guild to the point where they cried for their father and mother. Feng Yu yawned. Obviously not very interested in this proposal. President. Regarding Luo Chio. I think we should just wait and see what happens. Let's not talk about Luo Chio's own mysterious power. No matter how you say Shamasing is a second-rate guild, it will still cause some trouble for us. Besides, if Luo Chio doesn't join our guild, even if we want to move Shamasing, it will be in vain. After thinking about it coldly, he said slowly, Sledgehammer and Cool Tone Opinions, one radical and one conservative. But after hearing this, Feng Yu also showed little interest. Forget it. You go do things. Feng Yu waved his hand and dismissed the two of them. The two looked at each other in confusion. But they had no choice but to go out first. After the two of them left, Feng Yu thought for a while and made a call. The call ended unexpectedly. Feng Yu had already thought of it. So he waited patiently. After a while, the call came over. If it is not necessary, we will keep in touch less. On the other side of the video is Wu Jian of the Excalibur Guild. Brother, it's mainly about Luo Chio. I always feel that there are some opportunities in this. So Feng Yu talked about his thoughts. 
He wanted to get in touch with Luo Chiu. But he was afraid of asking for trouble. Don't touch Ba Dao. He belongs to Master Qin. After hearing this, Wu Jian said expressionlessly, Master Qin? Is it the Master Qin I know? Feng Yu asked in disbelief. Wu Jian nodded. The gap between Ba Dao and Master Qin cannot be matched by these eight poles. How is it possible? Feng Yu was very confused. Master Qin has a hobby of raising dogs. When he doesn't have any use for them, the dogs even look like stray dogs. Wu Jian said lightly, Does that mean I really can't get involved in this matter? After Feng Yu heard this, he was a little discouraged. Originally, he thought that through this matter, he could get more involved with Luo Qiu. But he had to find a decent way to do it without looking so obviously flattering. But after hearing that Ba Dao was actually involved with Master Qin, Feng Yu didn't dare to intervene. Not necessarily. Just when Feng Yu was disappointed, Wu Jian changed the topic. But that belongs to Mr. Qin. Feng Yu was a little helpless. That person can provide the first pass strategy. The power behind him will not be simple. He may not be afraid of Master Qin. Even if he is not as good as Master Qin, Master Qin will not make a strong enemy because of the dog he raises. This matter has a lot of room for you to operate. You can sit on the sidelines and see the direction of this matter before making a choice. Wu Jian said seriously. When Feng Yu heard it, it seemed that it really made sense. So should I? Feng Yu wanted to hear Wu Jian's opinion. You are like this. Wu Jian and Feng Yu talked in detail for a while. Wonderful. Feng Yu clapped his hands. Doing so put the Sunset Guild in an invincible position and not suffering any losses. Chapter 61 Xiaoshuai's Doubts and the Oppressive Power of Luo Qiu's Name Su Qin was still comfortably gaining experience inside, but the outside world was turned upside down at this time. Shamixing not only asked them to hunt down Luo Qiu in Erwi on the main continent, but also offered a high reward. After Luo Qiu's last exposure, many people still remember Luo Qiu's appearance. Of course, that person is Xiaoshuai, the guy who was mistaken for Luo Qiu. After Xiu Shui enjoyed the benefits brought by Luo Qiu's identity, he initially said that he was not Luo Qiu. Later, when others said that he was Luo Qiu, he simply acquiesced. At this time, Xiu Shui was resting in a tavern in a small town. Ah, Autumn. I was so sleepy just now that I accidentally fell asleep. Naturally, he didn't hear what happened in the game just now. He seems to be Luo Qiu. Right? Hush. Keep your voice down. People from the Shamo Star Second Society are already rushing here. Boss Luo Qiu is really bullshit. He doesn't even take the people of Shamasing Guild seriously. Just look at their calm appearance. We can just eat quietly. We can't afford to offend either side. It's so exciting. There will be a big war soon. But Master Luo Qiu should be at over 50 levels. It would be better for me to hide them and deal with them when I reach a higher level. This is the difference between you and Master Luo Qiu. Master Luo Qiu can set the record even with the initial big chicken drumstick. What's there to be afraid of after reaching level 100? The people around were discussing cautiously. This made Xiaoshui confused for a while. Since he last defaulted to being Luo Qiu, he is now a well-known figure in the game and is often recognized. Although pretending to be Luo Qiu was a bit unpleasant. The sense of vanity and the occasional gifts he received from fans made him not want to give up this identity easily. Originally, he had planned to apologize directly if Luo Qiu himself came out to accuse him. After all, he never said that he was Luo Qiu everywhere. He just acquiesced when others called him Luo Qiu. But these days, Luo Qiu himself seems to have no idea about his impersonation. And everything is calm. He was also taking a chance and enjoying the benefits brought by the name Luo Qiu. These people all spoke in low voices and did not let Xiuxui hear the content. And since the other party was the Shamasin Guild, no one dared to go up and talk to Luo Qiu. If he went up to talk to him, he would be seen by the people from the Shamasin Guild, and they would immediately treat him as Luo Qiu's accomplice and deal with him. There seem to be a lot more people today, although there are usually people watching him. There were especially many today. However, Xiu Shui was still big-hearted and didn't take it too seriously. On the live broadcast platform, straight to the scene, Luo Qiu vs. Samasin Guild, a very popular live broadcast room came up. This person is Sui Feng, since he caught the popularity of the God of the Dead twice. He has directly become a professional popularity anchor. There were quite a few people following him, but there were no people in the live broadcast room during the live broadcast. Once something happens, people who follow him start to enter his live broadcast room, and Sui Feng lives up to expectations. As long as there is excitement, he will rush there immediately. 
Boss Luo Chio has an extraordinary bearing. He is as relaxed as before the battle. Those sleepy eyes are so handsome. Boss Luo Chio didn't even use the big chicken legs, but used a golden weapon. It seemed that he was serious about starting the Slaughter Shamo Star Guild. Ha uh ha. -huh. Even the record was broken by using only big chicken drumsticks. But it still gave the Shamo Star Guild face. The members of the Shamo Star Master Guild are still in the Shura realm. There is only their second guild in the main continent. And I am afraid that it will not be enough for Luo Chio to kill them. Why are you all so optimistic about Luo Chio? He is only over 50 levels. And Shamo Xing Air we must have over 100 levels. Do you think you are the boss of Luo Chio? Can you break the dungeon record with a big chicken leg? The barrage in the live broadcast room fluttered. I think. The battle between Luo Chio and Shamixing. Seeing how lively the discussion was in the barrage. Sui Feng also chimed in. But before he could finish his words, he was interrupted by barrages that filled the screen. Anchor. Don't talk. Please recognize the identity of your tool. Anchor. Can you play your camera roll well? Then BB will unblock it and go to other live broadcast rooms. I'll give you hair rockets. But just shut up and don't talk. In fact, they are not really annoyed by Suifeng. This has become a barrage culture in Suifeng's live broadcast room. At first some people thought this was excessive. But soon they assimilated. Suifeng felt a little aggrieved. But she still played her role as a camera well. Because he found that if he resisted, he would really lose attention. Shishui was a little troubled at this time. Whenever these people want to follow, I usually tell them not to follow. And they will disperse. Shishui tried to tell them not to follow him. But it only scared off some people. And many people still followed him. If this continues, how will he level up? How about changing to another town? Shishui thought so and walked towards the teleportation array. Just as Shishui was approaching the teleportation array, the teleportation array suddenly lit up. A large group of people appeared from the teleportation array. One after another, hundreds of people walked out. These hundreds of people are all at level 100. And their equipment is also very sophisticated. They are the members of the Shamasing Second Society. They had all seen Luo Chio's photos. And at this time, they recognized it was Luo Chio who was walking towards them. How arrogant. He knew we were coming, and yet, he was waiting for us here? Do you want to kill us all by yourself? How can he be confident, when he is only over level 50? But he was not afraid at all. I had a feeling that he could really defeat us. The people from the Shamo Star Second Society saw Luo Chio being so fearless and walked towards them calmly. This momentum overwhelmed them. Some people from the Shamo Star Second Society even took half a step back, their eyes evasive. Combined with the increasingly outrageous rumors circulating in Luo Chio recently, such as a wooden stick grinding a giant dragon and a giant chicken leg showing off a legendary creature, they have also worked hard to level up. There is a chance of equipment exploding if they fail and they have to fight Luo Chio for a long time. When Luo Chio's level gets higher, isn't killing them the same as pinching chickens? Just thinking about it makes me feel tortured. But they received guild benefits. And as the main force of the second guild, they still had wages. So they had to listen to their boss. In the eyes of passersby, Luo Chio's momentum alone actually overwhelmed the momentum of Shamasing's 100-man group. Watching Luo Chio get closer and closer. Don't come here. Finally, Someone from the Shamo Star Second Society felt a little uncomfortable being tortured by such pressure and shouted to Luo Chio in front of him. Are you going to go there first? Xiuxui felt that the person in front of him was a little strange. So he asked. But when the man in Shamasing heard this, he took two steps back. To him, these words sounded like a threat. Chapter 62 Is the war about to break out? Shamasing ran away. Won't you leave? Xiuxui was really surprised when he saw the person in front of him. He said that he wanted to get out of his way and asked him if he wanted to go over. He didn't say anything and took two steps back. Arrogant! Two sentences directly frightened the people of Shamasing. This is Boss Luo Chio. Domineering is just two words. I admire Boss Luo Chio even more. I'm scared before I even fight. How to play? The people around said softly. Shishui was a little confused and didn't know what these people were doing. At the same time, the people around looked strange. He told the person on the other side to leave. But the person on the other side didn't move. Instead, he stepped back. But if people ask him to leave, he will leave. Shioshui walked slowly towards the front. Every time he took a step, the faces of those people became uglier. Don't come here. Finally, someone said to Shioshui. Is that really weird? Shioshui has been playing games for so long and has never met these strange people. 
Oh. No. There were indeed a lot of strange things after he assumed Luo Chio's name. What do you want? Looking at these people in front of him. Xiu Shui also became a little angry. When they wanted to cross. I let them go. But they refused to go. They refused to leave and walked alone. But they also told him not to pass. If it weren't for the fact that these people on the opposite side seemed to be hard to mess with. Xiu Shui wouldn't have the patience anymore. Ask us what we want. The leader was confused by Luo Chio's words for a moment. Doesn't this Luo Chio know that he provoked the Shamasin Guild and is wanted by the Shamasin Guild? At this time, he changed his mind and realized that it was impossible for the other party not to know that this matter had just been announced to the world. So when Luo Chio asked them what they wanted, could he be asking them how they wanted to be killed? Mad. So crazy. However, for some reason, the more powerful the other party was, the less he dared to take the lead. In the final analysis, they are only paid to work in the second meeting, and they have not entered the core member series of Shamo Star at all. The person in front of me can just open Wushuang. According to rumors on the internet, this Luo Chio may be reincarnated by some big boss who deleted his account. There must be someone powerful behind such a big boss. We just take money to do things. Seeing how crazy Luo Chio was, the leader's suspicions were further confirmed. Although he was paid a salary, he didn't want to completely offend such a big shot. Then go ahead and do it. Xiao Shui felt baffled. This time, those people from the second society of Shamasing were unable to get off the ground for a while. They want to do it. But they are caught between Ba Dao and the mysterious Luo Chio. Isn't this too difficult to do? MD. Boss Luo Chio is crazy. Can you believe that a person at level 50 can threaten a group of people at level 100? The key point is that those people who are over 100 levels have been here for so long and don't even dare to take action. Don't talk about them. If I were on the opposite side, I wouldn't dare to challenge him. Look at how calm Luo Chio is from the beginning to the end. However, the Samasin Guild did not dare to take action, but had to take action. Otherwise, if word spread, Ba Dao would not let them go. It is estimated that a fight is about to begin. And I am really looking forward to how boss Luo Chio at level 50 will use his unparalleled power to brutally brutalize more than a hundred people. Everyone around looked very excited. At the same time, this scene was also recorded by people in the live broadcast room and directly made into a video. For a time, the number of clicks on the video skyrocketed and it was listed on major rankings. Is this the Luo Chio who keeps breaking records? It would be unwise for Shamasing to mess with such a person. This can be called the first person in the history of the game. At level 50, he scared a group of people at level 100 to tremble. Have you seen boss Luo Chio's gold level weapon? A big chicken leg can brutally destroy dungeons. Isn't it just a case of indiscriminate killing with a gold weapon? Hurry up and watch the live broadcast. At the same time, many people were attracted online. And countless people flocked to the live broadcast room. It's not like the leader of the Shamo Star Second Society didn't pay attention to those things at this time. Seeing himself and others acting like clowns. Luo Chio who was around level 50, was shocked, and he came to his senses. It is true that Luo Chio's current aura is very scary. But if they don't take action, Ba Dao will not let them go. Luo Chio cannot be afraid of Ba Dao, and can still talk and laugh happily in the face of Ba Dao's wanted notice. But they can't wait for this group of patrolling guards to pass by and take action directly. The leader also made up his mind, and said in the team channel, if they were over a hundred levels, they would be able to fight against the guards of such a small town. However, if you can avoid conflict with the guards, try not to conflict with the guards. Because the crime value will directly increase if you conflict with the guards. If the crime value is too high, you will be wanted by the Empire. Although Ba Dao promised to compensate them, allowing them to attack Luo Chio directly even in the town. But Luo Chio's strong pressure made him feel weak. Facing Luo Chio, who was around level 50, he had no confidence at all that he could fight Luo Chio, even if he had to deal with the guards separately. What are you doing? Xiu Shui looked at the actions of the group of people in front of him. And even his tone became serious. After speaking out, Xiu Shui was a little scared because he dared to speak to this group of people just now. The people in front of him began to slowly surround him. Being questioned like this by Luo Chio, many people in Shamixing began to shrink back. Don't retreat. Or wait for the wrath of Boss Ba Dao. The leader yelled directly in the team channel. In this way, those people did not retreat. As soon as this group of patrols passed by, they planned to take action. Is this about to start a fight? Even if these people are afraid of Luo Chio, 
There is nothing they can do. Compared with Luo Chiu, who will not let them go in the future. Ba Dao can kill them now. I'm so excited. I'm finally going to see the strength of boss Luo Chiu. The camera is on. Can't wait. Selling melon seed drinks in the front row. All you need is a 5 star review and a like. The war is about to break out. People around him didn't even dare to blink. For fear of missing the moment when the war broke out. As the patrolling guard slowly left this place, everyone began to become nervous. At this time, the leader of the Shamo Star Second Society received a message. After receiving this message, he was surprised at first. And then happy. It's just that he didn't dare to show this joy. And his face changed to an impatient expression. Retreat. Following the leader's words. The others also breathed a sigh of relief. And immediately turned around and ran away as if they were relieved. A group of people all ran into the teleportation array. With a ray of light. Everything disappeared. The whole place was silent. Chapter 63 Phone Yu Series of Tickling Operations The whole town was deserted. Xiaoshui saw these people running away. And he also left in the teleportation array. He was a little uncomfortable with so many people watching him behind. It wasn't until everyone from Luo Chiu and Shamising ran away. Finished? I don't know who spoke and broke the silence. It should be finished. Right? The person who answered also had an uncertain tone. The whole audience fell into silence again. However, the silence this time did not last long. And then an outbreak ushered in. Hey, what did I see just now? Can anyone review it? Boss Luo Chiu was surrounded by people from Shamising. And then for some reason, they all ran away. Why else? Do you know what the aura of Overlord is? Boss Luo Chiu stood there with his hands in his pockets the whole time. And the group of people didn't dare to touch Boss Luo Chiu at all. Invincible. Boss Luo Chiu is the best in the world. The most outrageous game in the history of the game. The weak defeated the strong. And he won by relying on his aura without even moving his hands. This can be recorded in the popular program. New World Chronicles. Compared to the people at the scene. The carnival at this time. On the forum. There are quite a few people here who are more calm. They felt that this was simply an unreasonable thing. If Shamixing was really afraid of Luo Chiu, he would not be wanted. You've already made it this far. You should at least give it a try. But retreating without a fight is incomprehensible. At this time, a report suddenly made people understand what was going on. First hand report. The station of the Second Society of Shamixing was attacked by mysterious men in black. After the main force of the Second Society returned, the men in black retreated. It turned out that the same awesome air we had their house stolen. So these people had to go back to support them. But the next question comes again. There is still no evidence to prove who this mysterious force belongs to. They all put on reconnaissance disguises before coming. Those black clothes were made of special materials to prevent reconnaissance. Originally, New World was not allowed to proactively detect other people's IDs. And the other party was fully disguised so that even their faces could not be seen. Who is the mysterious man in black? No need to think about it. Have you seen that boss Luo Chiu always looks confident? That was all arranged by boss Luo Chiu. It turns out that boss Luo Chiu came from another game? Through this incident, the identity of boss Luo Chiu has become more and more mysterious. At present, the super bosses of the top guilds are sure that they have not deleted their accounts and retrained. Where did he come from? As long as we find out the identities of those men in black. That's all. Naive. Let alone the difficulty of investigating. The paparazzi who could find out the matter would not dare to announce it. I was at the scene and wanted to get an autograph. But Mr. Luo Chiu left immediately. I announced the establishment of a Luo Chiu fan group. And I am the group leader. No. I am the leader. Stop arguing. To be fair. Let me be the leader. In the woods. At this time. The man in black found the place where he planned to retreat. After making sure that no one was around. He directly used the teleportation scroll. After teleporting to a safe place, the leader took off his mask. The leader was tall and tall, and looked like a sledgehammer. Boss, the matter is done. Sledgehammer made a gesture. You didn't reveal your identity. Phone you narrowed his eyes, and looked at Sledgehammer. I'll do the work with a sledgehammer. Boss, don't worry. Sledgehammer laughed. But boss, if we want to help, just say, okay. Shamixing still dares to go against our sunset? Sledgehammer also expressed his doubts at this time. For now, don't ask. Thank you for your hard work on this matter. You can take your people to the old place to level up as usual. If you find people from the third group to pretend to be your leveling up, 
you can also let them go back, so as not to have their flaws discovered. After Feng Yu said casually, he turned off the call. Although Sledgehammer had a hundred thousand reasons in his mind, he still had to listen to Feng Yu's words and could only keep his head down and carry out. Okay. After turning off the call, Feng Yu got up from the chair behind him and moved his body. Yes, the entire incident was planned by him. And in order to avoid being suspected that they did it, he had even forged the alibi of Sledgehammer and others. Although I don't know why. Luo Chio didn't take action to protect his puppet. But by doing so, I helped him solve some inconvenient things. Feng Yu couldn't help but smile knowingly when he thought of this. Through the guidance of his elder brother Wu Jian, he also understood. Luo Chio may not need his help at all, but he cannot stand by and watch from beginning to end like the advice put forward by Leng Hu. Even if you can't provide help in times of need, don't be as superficial as the icing on the cake. Although he did not reveal his identity, Feng Yu felt that the forces behind Luo Chio should be able to find out. In this way, he can make friends with Luo Chio on an equal footing instead of fawning over her. On the other hand, he will not make a grudge against Mr. Qin. When beating a dog, it depends on the owner. If you show your identity and help, you will undoubtedly beat the dog in front of Mr. Qin. If you do this while hiding your identity, even if Mr. Qin finds out, he will feel a little unhappy at most. In terms of face, he did not embarrass Mr. Qin. In the end, these are all very trivial matters. Mr. Chin is so busy every day. How can he have time to take care of his free-range dog? Someone secretly kicked him when he was wandering outside. This stroke puts my sunset guild in an invincible position. And it will not suffer any loss. Thing you also praised his wit. Although the elder brother came up with this method from beginning to end. But aside from everything else. Doesn't he have no credit at all? Toy Water Park. Su Chin spent all day playing in the dungeon. And had no idea what was going on in the outside world. Brush from sunrise to sunset. From sunset to moonrise. As Brother Chicken knocks fencing Ladybug to the ground. Brother G successfully defended his honor as the fencing king. Clang. I don't know if it was Brother G's defense of his honor that moved the copy. Three experienced stones dropped from the fencing Ladybug. Experienced stones are not tradable. However, Su Chen didn't intend to sell it. So he just slapped it on himself. Two consecutive white lights upgrade. Originally. He had fully accumulated experience at level 53. But with the infusion of three experienced stones, he was directly promoted to two levels in a row. Finally reaching level 55. It's almost time to rest today. Su Qing glanced at the time. He was still quite tired this day. Sleeping on Feng Feng's body. There was no quilt or anything. So it was very cold. After taking a look at the King of Knights, who had fallen to the ground from exhaustion, and the Archmage, who was barely holding himself up with his staff. Su Chen felt that everyone had a bright future. Chapter 64 Tianji's Identity Ba Dao regrets it's useless. That night. Shamus and Guild? Who did it? Haven't they found out yet? Ba Dao looked at the people around him coldly. Several people looked at me and I looked at you. But they didn't dare to speak. Trash? You are all a bunch of trash. What is the use of me raising you? When Ba Dao saw that no one was speaking, he immediately said angrily, he really didn't expect that a guild as big as his own would be unable to do anything against Luo Chiu, who was over level 50. Moreover, even the person who attacked Shamasing today has not been identified yet. He gave these people a long time. Even if he didn't find out who it was, at least he had some clues. As a result, this group of people didn't know anything about it. Everyone around them lowered their heads. After they found no clues tonight, they were already prepared to be scolded by Ba Dao. But then, Ba Dao's voice suddenly stopped. They lowered their heads and didn't know what was happening. You guys go away. Ba Dao's mood seemed to calm down suddenly. Several people looked at each other. And no one dared to leave first. This was too abnormal. And the person who left first might be caught by the tyrant. I told you to get out. Do you want me to invite you out? Seeing that several people were not leaving. Ba Dao's already calm mood was about to get angry again. Only then did a few people realize that Ba Dao really wanted them to leave. Several people did not dare to stay any longer and immediately left. After seeing that several people had left, Ba Dao was still uneasy and even checked around the windows and closed them tightly. Then I carefully opened a video. Video connected. In front of him was a fair young man who looked very bookish. But Ba Dao, a tall and rough man, suddenly became respectful when he saw the other party. Master Chi, I don't know what to do with Xiao Xiao, Ba Dao said tremblingly. Master Chi? How dare you scream? 
What will Mr. Chin think of me if he hears it? The young man spoke softly. But this domineering sword was quite frightening. The person in front of him was none other than Fu Hailong of the Longting Guild, who spent a huge price to hire Tianji, nicknamed Ghost Accountant. From the fact that Master Qin's name came out of his mouth, it was obvious that his real allegiance was to the rumored Master Qin. If Fu Hailong saw this scene, he would be so angry that the military advisor he spent a lot of money to find would turn out to be a young man. Ghost Master, I'm so confused. Please forgive me. Ba Dao looked at Tianji with fear. They not only work for Master Qin in the game, but also in reality. Although they were both working for Master Qin, the status gap between him and the young man in front of him, nicknamed Gushu, was as big as clouds and mud. So after he saw the heavenly ruler, and because his mind had just been affected by those subordinates, he suddenly called him wrong. Forget it. I'm here to tell you something. However, Kinji didn't seem to delve into this matter. This made Ba Dao feel relieved. Ghost Master, please tell me. I will do my best if I have any problem. Ba Dao also responded immediately. The people who attacked your station today are from the Sunset Guild. Kanji said calmly. It's actually the Sunset Guild. Sunset Guild itself is a first class guild. And with the momentum of winning the first pass a while ago, Sunset Guild now also has a high reputation among first class guilds. Ghost Master, are you saying that Luo Chiu is from the Sunset Guild? Ba Dao asked with some caution and certainty. Does this mean that I don't want to provoke enemies? If Luo Chio was really from the Sunset Guild, he certainly couldn't afford to offend him. If Luo Chio disclosed his Sunset Guild identity from the beginning, he wouldn't dare threaten him. But such a trivial matter actually alarmed Master Gaishan, which was unusual. Not to provoke? Tianchi suddenly laughed and said with great interest, I want you to deal with him with all your strength. Hearing Tianchi's words, Ba Dao was stunned. He knew that the ghost accountant was currently hiding in the Longting Guild, and that the Longting Guild would not be afraid of the Sunset Guild. However, the ghost accountant in Longting did not have the power to control everything, and everything had to go through Fu Hailong's test. In other words, Guishu had no reasonable reason to move the Dragon Court Guild to support him. Although he is doing things for Master Qin, he still needs to maintain a certain respect for Guishu. But in the final analysis, although Mr. Qin just threw away some resources casually, it was not easy for him to manage Shamasing step by step until now. If Mr. Chin opens his mouth, then the guild won't want it anymore. But it's up to this person. That is to say, the level is higher than him and has never been of any help to him. Just this sentence requires him to use the strength of the guild to fight against the Sunset Guild. Wouldn't that be equivalent to throwing away the guild for nothing? When the time comes, the devil will not be able to help him. And it is not certain whether Mr. Chin even remembers a person like him. Luo Chiu is not from the Sunset Guild. Although I cannot use the power of Longting to directly support you, the secret guards left by Master Qin can be used by you if necessary. Tian Qi is such a good person. He knew what Ba Dao was thinking when he saw him hesitate, hearing that Gui Suan was actually willing to use the secret guards left for him by Master Qin. Ba Dao suddenly doubled his confidence. Regarding the power of Lord Qin's secret guards, Ba Dao knew how strong it was, and he felt reassured now. Ghost Master, I will definitely live up to my instructions. Ba Dao immediately made a decision. I will lead the main force back from the Shura realm to encircle and suppress Na Luo Chio. I will notify you when I need you to do this. But now I will let you test it later. The people in Sunset are all hiding to help him. And there must be some forces behind him. Your task is just to force out the forces behind him. After Tianji said that, he hung up the call without further chatting with Ba Dao. After hanging up the call for 10 seconds, Ba Dao breathed a sigh of relief. MD, that guy was used as a pawn in a conspiracy. If I had known why I would mess with that Luo Chio. Ba Dao cursed. The same goes for Luo Chio. You have such a big force behind you. You should speak out in a high profile manner. If you speak out, will I mess with you? After Ba Dao scolded Luo Chio, he scolded Luo Chio angrily. After all, he was never a tough guy. The outside world's impression of him is that he is a tough guy and a reckless man. But a brainless and reckless man who is not even qualified to be Qin Ye's dog can still basically assess the situation. He can still give in when he needs to give in. Just like when Gui Swan revealed that the other party was the Sunset Guild just now. Ba Dao had already thought about it and let it go. Even if the other party feels upset with him, it is not impossible for him to apologize and pay for it. But with him as a reason, the ghost scheming could just use him to become a pawn for temptation. The devil is targeting him and it is no longer possible for him to apologize and reconcile. 
Now I can only bite the bullet and fight against the mysterious Luocio. Chapter 65 New Inheritance Our minds are united. Two days passed. For Su Chen. These two days were quite interesting. Shamixing went to find trouble with the player pretending to be him. Which he already knew. Originally. He thought that the player pretending to be him would be hunted by Samosing until he could no longer withstand the pressure and reveal his identity. But he didn't expect that he was beaten because of the Shamising station that day. So he just ran away. He has been fine these two days and has not been hunted down by anyone. Shamising didn't know what happened after that day. The one in order has not been removed. But they seem to be just pretending to be looking for Luochio. And everyone is paddling. This made Su Chen confused as to what they were doing. His impression of Ba Dao was average. This person didn't make any waves in history. So he didn't have much useful information. But it doesn't matter if the other party doesn't cause trouble for him. He has been steadily leveling up in the past two days. When he reaches a higher level, he can just go and destroy the guild of Ba Dao. So he doesn't worry about it. After two days of hard training, I finally reached level 60. It's so hard. Why can't we return to reality through online hosting? Su Chen moved his cervical spine. He has been working very hard these past two days. Even though his younger brother is doing all the work of fighting monsters. But he had to be online. So he found some web games to play on the built-in web page. The mini games were quite fun. He was so engrossed in playing mini games on the web that his cervical vertebrae were a little sore. Isn't this harder than Brother Knight? King Chicken and the others who are resting on the ground. Come on. Let me see if there are any new inheritance skills at level 60. Su Chen is still looking forward to whether new inheritance skills will be added. Player, Luo Chiu. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level 60. HP, 8880. MP, 8350. Strength, 701. Intelligence, 1015. Stamina, 588. Spirit, 1083. Physical Defense, 10900. Magic Defense, 9800. Inherited Skills. Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers. Soul Gift. Dark Mark. Dark Evolution. And Unity of Mind. Unity of Thoughts. You and your contract spirit reach a new agreement through the Flower of Contract. This agreement must be truly surrendered by the contract spirit before it can be signed. After signing, the level of the contract spirit grows with you. And the evolutionary shackles are open to devour the evolutionary level. Unlock the Unity of True Thoughts after reaching Epic Quality. Unity of True Thoughts. Merge with your contract spirit. The contract spirit temporarily merges with you. All skills and equipment of the contract spirit become common with your skills and equipment. The body can choose either side. And full control of the body belongs to you. Note, the flower of contract will only bloom under the right opportunity. As long as the contract spirit signed through the flower of contract survives. You can choose to resurrect from the contract spirit. This is? Su Chen opened his palm and found a light blue flower emerging from his hand. Come to think of it, this is the contract flower in the skill description. The contract flower emitted a soft light in the air, slowly spreading like a light wave of water. The King of Knights, Magister G, and others who were tired and lying on the ground were all attracted by this light blue light. Those light waves fell on them, as if they were releasing some kind of imprisonment on them. But it was too light after all. It was just a simple guidance. Looking at this contract flower, Su Chen has never been so out of his mind since entering the game. His hands were shaking. And even though he told himself to calm down, he still couldn't control it. After the two worlds merge, the player's infinite rebirth disappears and becomes the real world. This flower of contract, a signed contract spirit, is directly equivalent to one more life. It's not as simple as a single game attribute. At this time, changes occurred. The flower of contract was spinning in the air, and it began to fade slowly. Just like an epiphilum. It blooms quickly but also withers quickly. Originally, Su Chen thought that for this contract flower, he needed to find a strong enough contract spirit, slowly tame it, and then use the contract flower. But Su Chen had no doubt that if he didn't make a decision, the flower of the contract would wither. Wait, are you willing to truly surrender to me? I don't know if you have sensed anything from the flower of contract. I can tell you in advance that after signing the contract, you may one day be replaced. I once promised that if you are unwilling, I will give you your freedom when I no longer need it. Su Chen looked at the first class contract spirit and said slowly, just like the skills say, what is needed is true surrender. Surrender forced by hegemony naturally does not count. Before signing the contract, 
The flower of contract will definitely instill the contents of the contract into it. But hiding it now will make the success rate of the contract even lower. Forcing them to sign the contract flower would be a waste, and the contract flower would not take effect. Su Chen's eyes fell on the great lizard man mage, who had once been loyal to him. But the flower of contract had just told it the content. At this moment, it didn't dare to meet Su Chen's gaze. It was told in the contract that if the Lord is destroyed, he will be resurrected by him. Then it is. Naturally, Su Chen didn't force him. After all, force was useless. It seemed that the so-called loyalty was just a lie to protect himself. In the silent atmosphere, a figure stood out. Gu Gu. The one who stood up was actually Brother G. It is a virtual body generated by a trial field. It has nothing to do with the Swift Chicken King at all. It is just a stream of energy. It can be the Swift Chicken King. Or it can be in any form. It is supposed to be without intelligence and without thinking. But after becoming Su Chen's contract spirit, it was like a piece of white paper with various strokes scrawled on it. Maybe it was simulated as a chicken. Just like a chick will think of the first thing it sees when it hatches as its parent. When Brother Chicken was first born with spiritual wisdom, he actually started out as a slave. For it, its life is full of Su Chen's shadow. Chicken, come over and read the content. Su Chen was stunned for a moment. Then let it come over. Brother Chicken carried his sword and walked towards Su Chen step by step. Under the flower of the contract. Su Chen thought, and the entire content of the contract was once again implanted into Brother G's mind. Are you still willing? Su Chen asked again seriously. Goo goo. Chicken Brother's cry this time seemed very firm. It seemed that it was very happy to be able to share Su Chen's worries. Su Chen couldn't help but think of it. It seemed that every time there was a fight, Brother G was the hardest fighting one. After scanning the surroundings again, there was still no contract spirit standing up, and they were all avoiding his gaze. Okay. Here we go. Su Chen stopped asking other contract spirits and signed a contract with Brother Chicken before the contract flower disappeared. We are united in our minds. Chapter 66 Two Million Skeleton Soldiers Apprentice Xian The flower of contract enveloped him and Brother Chicken. And the power of the contract formed a chain. The other contract spirits looked confused at this scene. Gradually, the light blue light slowly faded. And the chain disappeared. But the chain disappeared. But Su Chen felt that there was an invisible bond between him and Brother G. I casually checked Brother Chicken's attributes. Name, Swift Chicken King. Variety, Half Poultry. Level, 60, same level as the Contractor. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skill, Swift Wind Sword. Back Jump Slash. Phantom Sword Chi. Wind Sword. Sword Return. 10,000 Swords Return to the Sect. Brother Chicken was originally level 60. But now, he is still level 60 at the same level. The previous state of not being able to upgrade has disappeared. At the same time, the quality of dark gold also has an evolutionary state. After clicking on it, after the words evolution, a line of small words, evolution conditions, appeared. Evolution conditions, decompose the souls of powerful monsters to obtain evolution spirits. If the number of evolution spirits is sufficient, the fruit of evolution can be born to help the contract spirit complete its evolution. After turning on the unity of mind, you will automatically obtain soul decomposition. After reading the explanation for a while, Su Chen finally understood. This means that after defeating the monster, two options will now appear. What is the same as before? Using soul grant to enslave the other party. The other is to break down the remaining energy and turn it into an evolutionary spirit. After enough evolution spirits are accumulated, the fruits of evolution that are born will allow the contract spirit to evolve. What we have to do now is to let the chicken complete the evolution from dark gold to epic level. Su Chen was thinking in his mind. But before that, the evolution of the skeleton army must be started. Originally, Su Chen had no intention of starting the skeleton army at level 60. But if you want to upgrade chicken brother to the epic level, without the help of the skeleton army, it is still relatively slow to just rely on the king of knights and the archmage. After completing the chicken's epic promotion, he will have one more life. Although I don't know if it will become a reality right away. But it's always good to finish first. Start evolution. Select template, Volcano Lizard. Su Chen waved his hand and started another skeleton evolution. This evolution comes with dark evolution. Which means that the template he made before can be used. In the skill bar, Summon Heavy Skeleton Soldiers has become Summon Heavy Skeleton Soldiers. Summon Heavy Skeleton Soldiers. Initial Summon of 2 Million Heavy Skeleton Soldiers. 
the level is the same as the summoner's current level, which can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume all 2 million skeleton soldiers. And 3 million skeleton soldiers can be selected for the next level. Soldiers, or 2 million random skeleton soldiers. The evolutionary fusion template was successful, and the active legion skill was obtained. Fire enchantment. At the next level, not only the quantity changes, but the random direction is a bit like opening a lucky bag. Su Chen frowned and thought to himself. At the same time, my own skills have an additional legion skill bar. And now there is an additional skill, fire enchantment on it. Fire enchantment, skeleton army weapons are enchanted with fire attributes. Lasting two minutes. After the number increased this time, there was no major change in the attributes of the overall arms. I didn't even bother to read it. In terms of skills, there are still five standard skills, generally with mid-level skills. But advanced skills are still only available to rare special units. With a base number of 2 million, the firepower of the skeleton army sniper group has also been greatly improved. At the same time, he also tried to activate the fire enchantment on the skeleton soldiers. The warrior sword turned into a fire knife. The archer's arrow turned into a rocket. And the outrageous thing was that the large shield turned directly into a fire shield. The accompanying fire damage is also quite considerable. After the cumulative number of fire damage is reached, it can also cause a burning effect on the target. Even the large shield skeleton soldier can use the large shield to hit people which can set the target on fire. With the current military strength, it should not be difficult to collect souls for Xiaoji to advance to the epic level. Su Chen smiled. He already has a goal. The fastest way to advance to the epic level is to find a high-level epic monster for the chicken to devour. Su Chen's eyes slowly locked onto the King of Knights. Take me to your former monarch. Su Chen looked at the King of Knights and said calmly. The King of Knights felt the huge aura emanating from Su Chen. And even without a contract, he felt a little afraid to look directly at him. Su Chen himself didn't even realize how terrifying the pressure from the black energy around him was. Level 60 is the second rank level. Su Chen doesn't have a second rank to speak of. But he has also begun to unlock some divine power. After Su Chen realized it, he calmed down his momentum with a thought. The elegant and easygoing smile returned to his face. But in the eyes of the King of Knights, it was even scarier than before. Dragon Court Guild? President? We already have clues about the copy of the abandoned land under the sea. But we still need a key prop. Our overall rhythm is still at the forefront. With a slight smile, Tianqi reported the situation to Fu Hailong unhurriedly. Yes, our dragon court has been going very smoothly since you came. Fu Hailong listened to Tianji's report and looked at him. Sometimes I wonder if it went too smoothly. There was a momentary change in Tianqi's heart. But there was no change on the surface. The dragon court guild has a good foundation. And I came out because of the energy contained in the dragon court. Kienji said humbly. The moment his eyes met Fu Hailung's, he behaved as usual. Neither humble nor overbearing. Ha uh ha. -huh. I have always felt relieved to leave the guild to you. Fu Hailong suddenly smiled and patted Tianji on the shoulder. By the way, that guy named Luo Chiu. How is your current progress? Fu Hailong asked more. Sorry. I have been busy with the new dungeon recently. So I asked my apprentice Shuren to be in charge of this matter. TNG replied. It's okay. The new copy is important. You go ahead and do it. Fu Hailong waved his hand. TNG nodded and walked out of the hall. Outside the hall, a carriage was waiting for him. Beside the carriage was a neatly dressed and plainly dressed girl. Waiting for him. Teacher. After seeing Tianqi, the girl quickly bowed her head and said H. Lo. Let's talk about it when we get back. TNG walked onto the carriage without any expression. The girl quickly set up a carriage and sent the ruler to his residence. The entire journey was silent. After arriving at Tianji's residence, the girl was waiting at the door. Come in. I have something to tell you. Tianji walked towards the house and said without looking back. His teacher. After hearing Tianji's instructions, the girl dared to step into Tianji's house. Not only because of Tianji's character, but also because there is a magic circle outside the house to isolate him and he cannot force his way in without Tianchi's consent. Chapter 67 Calculation Across Two Realms The Flame Lord This girl is none other than Tianji's apprentice Shuren. After entering the house, Tianji waved his hand gently, and the magic circle directly isolated the outside world. The chat here cannot be heard by the outside world. Tianji did not speak immediately, but sat on the Taisher chair and closed his eyes to rest. Shuren was very discerning and immediately made tea for Tianji. After she made the tea, 
Tianji slowly opened his eyes after a while. How are you doing with Luo Chio's investigation? Tianji picked up the tea and blew lightly. The Luo Chio rumored by the outside world is false. Shuren replied quickly. How long did it take? Tianji asked calmly without any expression. Eight hours. Shuren answered truthfully. Eight hours is enough for you to pass. But it's not enough to work for Mr. Qin alone in the future. Tianji nodded. The room was silent for a while. Tianji said nothing. Teacher, since you knew this earlier, why did you let Ba Dao target that fake Luo Chio? Shuren finally couldn't hold back his curiosity. So do you think Ba Dao dealt with that fake Luo Chio? Tianji put down the teacup. He did take action. But something seemed to be blocking him secretly. And it wasn't going very smoothly. Shuren recalled the information and replied. Tianji finally smiled after hearing this. Teacher, did you expect that he would not try his best? Seeing Tianji's expression. Shuren said thoughtfully. They are all doing things for Master Qin. This matter has nothing to do with Master Qin. Not to mention that it was me who blocked Ba Dao secretly. Tianji said with a smile. Shuren was immediately confused when he heard this. No wonder she couldn't figure out the person who secretly acted. And her calculations were useless. As if there was a thick layer of fog blocking her. The things that had puzzled her in the past few days were also solved. No wonder her investigation of the person who secretly acted was in vain. There is no doubt that she knows that the teacher does not like this Luo Chiu. Fu Hailong asked the teacher to recruit Luo Chiu. But the teacher had no intention of recruiting Luo Chiu. Or rather, even if they are recruiting, they are recruiting for Master Qin. And they have no intention of recruiting for Fu Hailong. The tendency to destroy this person is greater than the tendency to recruit this person. But, since the teacher wanted to deal with Luo Chiu, but he knew clearly that he was an imposter. So when Ba Dao went to deal with the person who was secretly stopping him, it was the teacher who took action. This made her confused. So I said it's not enough for you to be on your own. I want to control him. Is there any use in dealing with him in the game? Tianji shook his head and gave a hint at this time. After hearing this sentence, Shuren finally understood Tianji's thoughts. Teacher, are you saying that you plan to use calculation to calculate him in reality? How is this possible? Teacher, you once said that this is the distance between two worlds. Shuren's eyes widened in her heart. She couldn't believe it. The reason why the teacher calls it a ghost calculation is because of his unpredictable calculations. However, teachers have had many successes in reality. And they have also had many successes in games. But how difficult is it to cross the power of two realms and calculate a person? She also learned this ability from Tianji and tried it. The new world and reality are like two different worlds and cannot be calculated at all. So I need a lot of information about this person. Including his reaction when being harassed by Ba Dao. And his reaction when watching Ba Dao mistake his target. These are all useful. Tianji said with a smile. Teacher, is that Luo Chiu worth what you do? Shuren knows how much time and energy cross-border calculations will consume. This is not something that can be completed in 10 days and a half. And it will have a certain backlash on the Reckoners. Judging from Luo Chiu's current performance, he doesn't know where he learned the secret of the copy. This is not worth what the teacher does. Originally he wasn't worth it. But every time I mentioned the name I felt irritated and angry. So I figured it out. I saw a king walking out of the black air in the sky. I could feel his irresolvable hostility towards me. It seemed that he was destined to be on the opposite side of me. Having said that, I won't say any more. Shuren saw a look of fear in the teacher's eyes for the first time in a long time. He finally understood why the teacher did not hesitate to expend energy and use cross-border calculations. There is no need to panic. Recently, I feel that the distance between the two worlds has become closer. The original calculation may be three to five years, but now it is within a year, or even a few months. If I can get in close contact with him, my calculation should be faster. With Master Qin behind us, we can control him as long as we find him. Tianji suddenly smiled. The disciple is willing to share the teacher's worries, and I can pretend to be close to him. Shuren lowered his head and said. Tianji glanced at Shuren and smiled. It's good to have this heart. If I have the chance, I'll go there in person. Tianji waved his hand. After Shuren saw it, he knew that Tianji wanted to take a rest. So he backed down sensibly. Flame barrier. Su Chen also returned to this red flame area. This time Su Chen's goal was very clear. That was the flame lord. The flame lord is in the palace. And as usual, he still needs to fight in from the outside. There are many agencies in the palace. As well as elite guards. But with a flame knight king leading the way, it would be much easier. 
The king of knights used a chain made of flames and asked a phantom knight to hold Su Chen, who looked like a prisoner. When entering, palace guards blocked the way. Please tell the king. I caught a human spy, and I got the secret information of the human empire from his mouth. The king of knights said to the guard in front of him, Wait a moment. King of knights. The guard said respectfully to the king of knights. Two minutes later, the guards came out. The king lets you in. The guard said respectfully to the king of knights, and at the same time asked others to step aside to make way for the king of knights. The flame palace is quite large, and because the king of knights wants to report confidential information, there is no ban on the king of knights from riding horses. Along the way, there were many high-level flame forbidden army patrolling everywhere. Suchin and the king of knights entered the interior very smoothly. A dark red door opened. The one in front of me is very thick, connected to the flaming stone pillar on the top of the palace. In front of the stone pillar, there is a huge throne made of a material as deep as obsidian. The flame lord, who was about five or six meters tall, was sitting lazily on the throne. Dark red flames were burning all over his body, and there were a lot of flowing magma dotted around the throne. This makes it look extremely majestic. After the flame lord noticed the night king coming in, he lightly snapped his fingers. The door behind him closed with a bang. Chapter 68 Skeleton Soldiers Stacked on Top of Each Other The Aggrieved Flame Lord The King of Knights also dismounted at this time and knelt down on one knee to perform the knight's salute. My knight, I hear you bring good news. The Flame Lord spoke slowly with a majestic voice. My king, this matter is so important that I hope the space can be closed to allow me to report it. The King of Knights knelt down on one knee and said loudly. Kindness? The aura of the Flame Lord was so overwhelming that the King of Knights did not dare to look directly at him. However, Su Chen on horseback was not affected by this coercion. On the contrary, the aura of the flame lord caused the divine power in his body to move. And Su Chen tried his best to suppress this power. My king knows it clearly. If my subordinates tell lies even a little bit, I will be expelled from the flame legion without any complaints. The king of knights withstood the pressure and spoke slowly. Under the pressure of the flame lord, the king of knights was unable to lie. But the King of Knights actually did not lie either. Hearing what the King of Knights said, Lord Flame believed what the King of Knights said. He felt that the King of Knights would not dare to deceive him. And he even said that he would be expelled from the Flame Legion. If he still questioned the King of Knights, it would be too chilling to his subordinates. The Flame Lord twisted the mechanism on the throne. Boom! Boom! Suddenly, dozens of stone pillars slowly emerged from the ground. After these stone pillars came out, they formed an invisible energy field, sealing off the entire space of the hall. This seal is isolated from the outside world. Even if I want to close it, it will take a while to close it. The Flame Lord sat on the throne and looked directly at the Night King. I hope your news can make me excited enough. Otherwise, but halfway through speaking, Lion Lord suddenly felt something was wrong. He didn't pay attention at first. After sealing the space, he could sense the strength of the King of Knights more keenly. Why has your strength dropped so much? The Flame Lord couldn't help but ask. But the King of Knights ignored him at all. After the Flame Lord opened the blockade, the Night King stood up on the ground, facing the Flame Lord's words. It turned around as if it hadn't heard it and walked to Su Chen's side. Half kneeling on the ground, he unchained Su Chen. Then Su Chen got off the horse and looked at the Flame Lord with a smile on his face. What do you mean? The voice of the Flame Lord was filled with warmth and anger. It was not the King of Knights who answered him. After the King of Knights stood up, he took a half step behind Su Chen. It's not interesting. You have too many subordinates who want to challenge you. Su Chen looked directly at the target of the Flame Lord and looked at him with a playful look. How dare you betray me? The Flame Lord's eyes breathed fire. It was a real fire breathing one. A full meter long. Don't put it in such a bad way. I'm just looking for a name. At the same time, Su Chen snapped his fingers. The Lizardman Grand Magister also appeared beside him. You are the Grand Magister of the Volcanic Lizard Tribe. No, you are not from the Volcanic Lizard Tribe. Such a strong undead aura. Who are you? There are no undead forces in the Flame Barrier. The Flame Lord stood up from his throne. He still has some eyesight. When Su Chen saw that his identity was revealed, he stopped pretending, snapped his fingers. Suddenly, the space was filled with skeleton soldiers. Unfortunately, this territory is too small and can only accommodate 200,000 skeleton soldiers. Su Chen shook his head, seeing so many skeleton soldiers. The Flame Lord was also startled. 
but after feeling the strength of these skeleton soldiers, the Flame Lord regained his composure. There are enough of them. But it's a pity that they are all miscellaneous soldiers. The Flame Lord snorted coldly and jumped over. Name, Lord of the Flame Legion. Variety, Devil. Level, 100. Level, Epic Boss. Skill, Unknown. The Level 100 Epic Boss. This is the target chosen by Su Chen. If Chicken Brother can devour this guy, it will be difficult for him not to become an epic. If Brother Chicken reaches epic level, he can use Unity of True Thought. However, the current primary goal is to capture the Flame Lord first. The Flame Lord jumped down, and a firestorm rolled up from around him. The surrounding skeleton soldiers were instantly killed. But the skeleton soldiers were not afraid at all. The skeleton soldiers in front died. And a group of skeleton soldiers immediately came up. Minus three. Minus five. Minus two. Minus two. Three. Rows of dense injuries surged out like crazy. Originally, Su Chen thought that a level 60 elite skeleton soldier could only forcefully deduct the first blood when faced with a level 100 epic. But now it seems that this defense breaking ability is not bad. Ants. Faced with these scraping injuries, the flame lord simply ignored them and began to attack on a large scale. Each attack is a large-scale fire explosion, killing a group of skeleton soldiers instantly. Fire spirit erosion. At this time, the great lizard mage found an output position and released his attack. A level 75 dark gold boss and a level 100 epic boss can still deal a certain amount of damage. The flame lord also felt the threat of the lizard magister and immediately jumped up, intending to kill the smelly lizard first. Another 300,000. On the road where the flame lord jumped, Su Chin summoned another 300,000 skeleton soldiers directly on his jumping path. Skeleton soldiers suddenly appeared out of thin air and crawled all over the Flame Lord, causing the Flame Lord to fall from midair. The weight of 300,000 skeleton soldiers suppressed the Flame Lord and was temporarily unable to get up. Can't get up? Stud directly. 1.5 million. Su Chin waved his hand and smashed 1.5 million skeleton soldiers on the spot. 2 million skeleton soldiers filled this place directly. Originally, the Flame Lord had many means of attack. But after being pinned down and unable to get up, it became a war of attrition. The Flame Monarch is a master of both magic and martial arts. At this time, he held a big sword in his hand and kept swinging it to cut down the skeleton soldiers on his body. But the Flame Lord is like a crazy ant. No matter how hard the Flame Lord cuts, new skeletons will immediately crawl on him. Originally, this venue could only accommodate 200,000 skeleton soldiers in terms of width. But after the Flame Lord fell to the ground, its nature changed. The width of this place is not wide, but the height is still quite high. In the way of stacking arhats, it can accommodate 2 million skeleton soldiers. The skeleton soldiers were consumed rapidly, but the blood volume of the Flame Lord was also dropping crazily. It's almost time to finish. After a while, Su Chen looked at the battle situation and felt that it was time to start the outbreak. Legion skill fire enchantment. Su Chen directly activated the Legion skill. Suddenly, the skeleton soldiers' weapons were covered with a layer of flame. Although the Flame Lord has damage reduction against fire attributes, it can still increase the damage to some extent. Originally, the Flame Lord couldn't hold it anymore. So this was used to speed up the progress. Chapter 69 The Evolution of the Chicken The Peerless Sword Chicken After all, the body of the Flame Lord is still too big. Skeleton soldiers have an advantage when fighting larger enemies. This is why ants bite elephants when they are many. No matter how strong you are, skeleton soldiers are not scary at all. As for the other contract spirits, only the King of Knights and the Archmage came out, and the others were not summoned and were given away. The Night King is mainly responsible for protecting Su Chen, and the Grand Mage is mainly responsible for attracting the Flame Lord. Otherwise, Su Chen would not have the chance to directly knock down the Flame Lord in the air. Under the attack of the Flaming Fire Knives, the Flaming Monarch finally couldn't hold on any longer. Despicable undead? The Flame Lord roared unwillingly. And then, there was no movement. It can't even use its ultimate move. And even when it opens its mouth to chant a spell, many skeleton soldiers will get in and attack it. However, the losses of the skeleton soldiers were still considerable. 1.3 million skeleton soldiers were destroyed in this battle to attack the Flame Lord. At present, Su Chen still has 700,000 skeleton soldiers left. After looking at it, the Flame Lord burst out of his cloak. Cloak of Fury. Type, Cloak. Level Requirement, 100. Fire Resistance plus 200. Effect. 
10% immune to fire damage. Okay. Su Chen curled his lips. He was just barely wearing a fire resistance cloak. Su Chen tied it on his body. There was no failure prompt like a weapon. And the black energy appeared again, erasing the remaining power on it. Su Chen was used to this. What he mainly wanted was not the equipment, but the flame lord. With a thought, Brother Chicken was summoned. Chicken, go devour. With Su Chen's permission, Chicken Brother happily jumped up and down on the flame lord. At the same time, Su Chen did not forget to release all the other contracted spirits. As for releasing it for what? Of course let them watch. Look. Follow me. That's the popular drink. Lest the next time the contract flower blooms again. No contract spirit will be willing to sign a contract with him. And a precious contract flower will be wasted. At this time, Brother Chicken's body emitted bursts of blue light. After signing the contract, Chicken Brother automatically gained the ability to devour evolution. The power brought by the flower of the contract directly absorbed the huge flame lord. Goo goo goo. Brother Chicken suddenly made a crow-like sound. Wrapped in a burst of blue light, the evolution was completed directly. After the blue light dissipated, Brother Chicken walked over boldly. The previous Chicken Brother looked neither weak nor strong. But the evolved Chicken Brother looked quite powerful with his muscular body. Su Chen also checked Brother G's level. Name, Swift Chicken King. Variety, Half Poultry. Level 60. Level Epic Boss. Skills, Gale Sword. Back Jump Slash. Phantom Sword Chi. Wind Sword. Sword return. 10,000 swords return to the sect. Peerless sword chicken. It's really become an epic. Su Chen raised his eyebrows. It seemed that this level 100 epic boss was quite satisfying. Brother G's minor skills haven't changed much. But what caught Su Chen's attention was his ultimate move. The simplified version of 10,000 swords returning to the clan is gone. And it has become the real Wan Jian returning to the clan. And a new skill has appeared. Peerless sword chicken. Judging from the skill introduction, it is at the same ultimate level as Wanjian Guizong. It just so happened that the isolation stone pillars put down by the Flame Lord were still there at this time. If you want to get out at this time, you have to destroy these stone pillars. Su Chen asked 700,000 skeleton soldiers to chop down other stone pillars, while he kept one stone pillar to test on his own. Instead of ordering Brother Chicken to cut it, it's better to try it yourself. We are united in our minds. Su Chen looked at Brother G and activated his skills. Unity of true thoughts. A choice appeared in front of Su Chen's eyes. Whether to be himself or Brother Chicken. In theory, it should be possible. But Su Chen was curious about what it would be like to become Chicken Brother. So he chose Chicken Brother. At this time, Brother G and Su Chen disappeared. When he opened his eyes again, Su Chen found that he was holding a sword in his hand and had turned into a muscular chicken. 10,000 swords returned to the clan. Su Chen didn't waste any time and directly used his ultimate move. Countless sword shadows were generated from Su Chen's back. And these sword shadows were all controlled by Su Chen. With a thought in Su Chen's mind, countless sword shadows bombarded the stone pillars wildly. This scene was like the battle between Chicken Brother and Sledgehammer, who had not been weakened at that time. Sledgehammer almost killed him. The stone pillar was directly blown away. It's really not satisfying. Su Chen felt a little bored when he saw that the stone pillar was destroyed like this. There were only a dozen stone pillars. So Su Chen immediately ordered the skeleton army to give up one. Peerless Sword Chicken. After using this skill, Su Chen suddenly felt a change in himself. The short legs turned into long legs. The chicken feet turned into arms. And the whole body changed into a human form. If it weren't for the chicken wings that remained on his back in addition to his hands, Su Chen would have thought he had completely turned into a human. As for what happened to his face, Su Chen couldn't see his face either. This is actually a transformation type ultimate move. Su Chen was a little surprised. Agility, strength, and burst have all been improved a lot. Swift Wind Sword, Back Jump Slash, Phantom Sword Chi, Wind Sword, Sword Return. These skills have all become enhanced versions, and their power is much greater. During the duration of the transformation, a stone pillar was still destroyed. Is this epic power? Su Chen was also a little surprised. At level 60, he directly destroyed the stone pillar formation that could block even the flame lord for a while. Even though it was only two stone pillars, and it took two big moves. But being able to do this at this level is really amazing. Lifted. With a thought, Su Chen released the state of unity of mind. The chick also reappeared in front of Su Chen at this time. But at this time, the chick's peerless sword chicken status had been lifted. 
and Su Chen still didn't see what the peerless sword chicken chick looked like. On the other hand, all the contracted spirits around were dumbfounded. Brother Ji is the oldest among the contract spirits. After all, he was the first one to be with Su Chen. The contract spirits behind have all fought side by side with Brother Chicken for quite some time. They all know what Brother Chicken's strength is. Seeing Brother Ji breaking through his limits and becoming as strong as he is now, everyone is envious. Brother Ji, on the other hand, showed off his muscles and showed off his strength. Su Chen saw this scene and felt secretly happy. His goal had been achieved. With personal demonstration. Next time the flower of contract blooms again. It should not be wasted. At this time. 700,000 skeleton soldiers destroyed other stone pillars. And almost destroyed them. Slip away. There is no need for the king of knights to take him out when he goes out. After dismantling this isolation stone circle. You can return to the city directly by using the return to the city. With a thought. He took back all the skeleton soldiers and contract spirits. Chapter 70 Brother G brings reality back to reality. And the inspection team notices. After returning to the town, Su Chen saw that it was getting late and went offline. Come out of the game cabin. Call. Su Chen stretched his muscles. Opening the window. The chilly night breeze blew in. And I looked up at the starry sky. Which was still dim. The starry night sky has been gone for a long time. The increasingly serious environmental pollution problem has made the sky covered with fog. Why do the two worlds merge? Su Chen looked at the dark night sky and couldn't help but think. Although he comes from the future and has experienced the darkest time in human history, his status is no different from that of ordinary civilians. I still don't know much about the truth of this world. What he knows is always what the big shots in control want him to know. By the way, I don't know what my actual abilities are. Su Chen remembered that a lot of things had happened today and planned to check his strength. There is no way to test how many skeleton soldiers can be summoned. The place is too small. It's too suspicious to go out and test it. But today, Su Chen felt something unusual. He felt like something was waiting for his call. Following his inner thoughts, Su Chen summoned the guy who was ready to make a move. A muscular chicken appeared in front of him with a sword on its back. Chick? Seeing this guy's appearance, Su Chen was stunned for a moment. It seems to be because of the flower of contract. This new contract can actually bring Brother Chicken over from the barrier between the two worlds. Goo goo. Brother Chicken is also very curious about everything in front of him. Like a newly arrived pet. Sniff here and nudge there. Especially when he saw the game cabin. Brother G was directly attracted and walked around. Wait. When the chicken comes out. Maybe he can use his mind to unify? Su Chen suddenly thought of this matter. Chick? Su Chen suddenly moved towards Brother G. Who was running around out of curiosity. Brother G glanced at Su Chen doubtfully. We are of one mind. At this time. Su Chen suddenly said, before Brother Ji could react, Su Chen forcibly pulled him over. In Su Chen's mind, there was an indescribable feeling, probably asking him to choose whose body to use. In New World, I used a chicken body out of curiosity. But this is the real world. Su Chen naturally used his own body as the subject. Suddenly, Su Chen's body experienced some changes. Since Chicken Brother became a lot stronger after upgrading the epic creature, Su Chen also began to bulge in muscles after merging with Chicken Brother. But these muscles don't look exaggerated, but rather very beautiful. Su Chen ran to the mirror. If I were to participate in a bodybuilding competition, wouldn't it be appropriate to win the championship? Looking at the muscle lines in front of him, Su Chen couldn't help but marvel. But it's easy to cover it up. Wearing a thin coat will almost cover it. There was also a sword on his back. Su Chen studied it and found that the sword could be hidden. At the same time, I also feel that my strength, perception, agility, and many other basic attributes have been greatly improved. Just now, he used so much force that he punched through his own iron pot. He only used those skills once before going offline. And Su Chen found that he could use them in reality. Wouldn't this mean that the chick has directly brought level 60 attributes to reality? This surprised Su Chen extremely. Perhaps the attributes at level 60 have still been reduced. After all, there is no target test now. But judging from the skills that can be used, even if there is a reduction, it shouldn't be very big. But soon, Su Chen discovered a new problem. We only have one pot at home. How can we cook noodles if it's broken? Su Chen fell into deep thought. He hadn't had dinner yet. So he planned to have a late night snack and deal with it together in the evening. But the pot was broken during the test just now. Come on. Let's go out and eat something. Su Chen shook his head. I picked up a thin coat and went out directly. 
taking advantage of a section of the road where there was no one around. Su Chen tried to use up the energy in his body to run, and the speed was so fast that he couldn't even make a trace. After running for a while, Su Chen also realized that although it was relatively late now, he was still in the city after all. Su Chen didn't dare to try again. He put away his energy and used his body's own strength to slow down to a normal running speed. However, running at this speed would be very tiring for ordinary people. But to him, it was no different than walking. Some alley, three people came out. Two men and one woman. I said that we, the inspector, are really stupid. If we have to take action on such a trivial matter, we are just which scum. One of them said carelessly with a bald head. But a white-haired young man next to him glared at him. Be careful with your words outside. The white-haired young man said calmly. The bald man was tall and tall. But when he was stared at by the white hair, he felt as if he had fallen into an ice cave. I was the wrong team leader. Didn't I want to rush back to play a dungeon? The bald man immediately bowed his head and admitted his mistake. Just like a little daughter-in-law. The white-haired young man shook his head. He really had to worry about everything. If their ability is exposed to ordinary people, it will be covered up if there are few people who erase the other party's memory. If there are many people, it will be difficult to handle. But when it comes to games, the white-haired young man also finds them magical. Practicing in the game world can actually improve their real-life skills. This is simply unbelievable. Let's go. It's time for us to go back and brush the dungeon. The white-haired young man smiled. And he was looking forward to going back to playing games. At this moment, the young woman in blue next to her suddenly took out an instrument. What's wrong? The young man with white hair frowned when he saw the movement of the woman in blue. Team leader, a huge energy point flashed past just now. It should be a person. The woman in blue said while looking at the instrument. What strength? The white-haired young man asked immediately. When similar people appeared in the city, he had to cheer up. After all, they were responsible for this area of the city. Naturally, one must be wary of strange masters who suddenly appear. The other party has at least a dozen of skills. This is just the result of preliminary judgment. It just flashed and disappeared. The woman in blue told the results of the investigation. He originally planned to take care of it. But after hearing that the opponent's skill was at least a dozen, the white-haired young man immediately gave up. Ahem. Maybe they were just passing by and they didn't commit any crime. So we might as well go back and play a copy. The white-haired young man coughed softly. Ah. That's right. Let's go back and play the dungeon quickly. The burly bald man also agreed with this opinion. The woman in blue looked at the two people and was speechless. Just now, he had a righteous look on his face. But he was frightened to retreat by the opponent's strength. Chapter 71 Light Resistant Golem I am very steadily separated. After returning home, Su Chen was already full. He also packed a food stall set meal and bought some convenient food that didn't require a pot at the self-service convenience store that operates all day. There are no pots for sale at this point. You can only buy them during the day. He was busy painting pictures during the day and was too lazy to buy. So he simply bought a bunch of convenience food. A thought came to my mind. Release the state of unity of mind. At this time, Brother Chicken also came out. Brother G is now experiencing the state of unity of mind for the second time. So he is used to it. Chicken. Eat it. Su Chin took a big plate and poured a set meal bought from the food stall into it. Su Chin thought this food stall tasted very good. Although it was cheap, it tasted better than some big hotels. Sure enough, Brother G was attracted immediately. Holding the plate, he pecked it all. The way of eating is a bit funny. A chicken is holding a plate and eating it by pecking it. But Chicken Brother can even use a sword. Not to mention a small plate. After Chicken Brother finished eating, he also showed a satisfied expression. Sure enough, it was right to sign the contract. Okay, you go back first. Su Chen thought and took Brother G back. He also tested what he should have tested, including the Legion skill fire enchantment. It is useless to chickens, but only useful to summon skeleton soldiers. Eat and sleep. A night of silence. The next day, Tower of the Golem. Su Chen teleported here early in the morning. He still has 700,000 skeleton soldiers on hand which he must use up quickly so that he can level up quickly. The siege was quite fast. But Su Chen did not choose to siege the city. Because after it is consumed this time, Dark Evolution will be activated next time it is summoned. In the template column, he doesn't have a single upgrade template that can be used. So he has to quickly create a template. Brushing players will not get templates. 
the Tower of the Devil. This place was chosen by Su Chen after careful consideration. In the Golem Tower, there is a very special kind of golem called the Exorcist Doll. This kind of puppet has a special feature. Although it is a magic puppet, it is restrained by the light attribute. But its immunity to all magic attacks is very high. Which is not the most important thing. The most important thing is that it has the highest resistance to light attributes. Su Chin took a fancy to this and planned to make a template of the Exorcist puppet. The most powerful thing against undead is the light attribute. If you can add light attribute resistance, that's the best. Even if it can't add light attribute resistance, it's still good if it can add magic resistance to the exorcist puppet. Su Chen went directly to the sixth floor. Each floor has more than one entrance. And there are no dedicated golems to defend it. Not to mention Su Chen's rebirth of memories. It is now a year later. And there are many strategies on the internet to avoid layer jumps. After entering the sixth floor, Su Chen took a look and did not find the exorcist puppet at first glance. There are not too many exorcism puppets. The most popular ones are something called clay golems. Su Chen wasn't picky about food, so he ate both. Although this golem tower doesn't look particularly big from the outside, it has something going on inside. The entire sixth floor is quite vast. Su Chen's army of 700,000 skeletons was also very easy to spread. Suddenly, a large black mass of skeleton soldiers filled the sixth floor of the golem tower. The skeleton soldiers didn't bother to find any exorcist puppets. So they just spread out their army and crushed them like a carpet. Soon, the two sides were fighting each other. Name, Clay Golem. Variety, Golem. Level 70. HP, Unknown. Grade, Ordinary. Skill, Unknown. In addition, Exorcism Puppets also began to appear one after another. Name, Exorcist Muppets. Variety, Golem. Level, 75. HP, Unknown. Level Elite. Skill, Unknown. The biggest feature of these two kinds of golems is their defensive capabilities. The clay golem has high physical defense, while the exorcist puppet has high magic and even light defense. Although they are monsters above level 70, Su Chen's level is now level 60, and the skeleton army is also level 60. A dozen clay golems appeared in front of the skeleton army, but the next moment, those clay demons were directly filled with dense arrows, and magic was blasted at them. The clay defenses were completely shattered by them. Before the melee skeleton soldiers even got close, the clay golem was beaten into a pile of dirt. The only thing that can make the melee skeleton soldiers useful is the exorcist ragdoll. Facing the magic of the skeleton army, they showed super high magic defense. However, they still couldn't bear the output of the skeleton archers. After holding on for a while, they were ready to run away. The melee skeleton soldiers had already surrounded them and swarmed them and started to chop them. For a time, the skeleton army was invincible on the 6th floor. A self-improvement upgrade team is upgrading on the 6th floor. They are a team of 8. And their equipment is quite complete. They have melee combat to break magic defense and wizards to break physical defense. Upgrading here is pretty efficient and fast. After all, this is not just a game that has been launched. There are so many people forming teams to upgrade every day. Many new people entering the game now are professional players or party members. For pure combat players, Joining the server at this time makes team formation simple. But if you want to form a team with someone whose skills are pretty good, it's not that simple. I have been practicing all night and I feel so tired. One of the archers sat on the ground. But as soon as he sat down, he saw a large black mist-like thing slowly approaching from a long distance in the direction behind them. What are those black fogs? The archer looked into the distance and asked doubtfully, You're not hallucinating because you're too tired from staying up all night. Right? Let's go offline for another 10 minutes to rest. The captain joked when he saw the archer. Yeah, maybe I'm too tired. The archer nodded. After a while, boom, boom, boom. The sound of neat footsteps finally caught everyone's attention. Those are skeleton soldiers. Strange. How come there are skeleton soldiers in the golem tower? There are too many holding grasses. Everyone finally discovered the skeleton soldier. It turns out it's not black mist. Just skeleton soldiers. The archer was relieved to hear that it was not his hallucination. The archer used his dark eyes to raise his bow and aimed at the skeleton soldiers. He didn't want to attack because with his skills, he could see more clearly by raising his bow and aiming. Let's log off first. This is not easy to mess with. The captain made a suggestion. Call out. Perhaps because he was too tired. The archer who raised his bow to observe the skeleton soldiers suddenly lost his balance and shot an arrow. 
when the captain just logged off. He heard a prompt. Ding. Your team is in combat and cannot exit the game. Do you want to force exit the game? Suddenly, everyone in the team was stunned. Chapter 72. Clear the sixth floor. Silky little combos. Being forced offline is equivalent to the character being on hook. Doesn't hanging up in such a dangerous place mean that it is in vain? Well, do you believe me when I say my hands are slippery? The archer smiled. Then do you believe me when I say that my sword is slippery when I chop you? The captain glared at him. But before the captain could take action, after the archer attacked first, the skeleton army counterattacked. The densely packed bows and arrows directly turned it into a hedgehog. Run! When the captain saw this scene, he knew that he was definitely no match. These densely packed skeleton soldiers. And judging from the damage done to the archers just now, their level is not low. There was no resistance at all. In addition, everyone was very tired after practicing all night long and had no intention of fighting at all. Similar situations continue to occur on the sixth floor. It's just that most teams don't have pig teammates and just log off and run away. Some were actively attacked by the skeleton army and had no way to go offline. But it was useless for them to escape. Su Chen adopted the method of encirclement and suppression and marched from various places. The escaping players ran around and found that there were skeleton soldiers all around them. I'll fight with you. When some players had no way to escape, some players finally couldn't help but take action against the skeleton army. However, the moment it rushed over, it was submerged in the sea of skeletons without making any waves. There is a big shield player who has been fully defensive since the server started. He is very confident in his defense and is ready to use his absolute defense to break out of the siege. But before he could take action, there was a small boss among the clay demons who seemed to think so too. It relies on super strong physical defense. And it also has a skill that increases physical defense for a limited time. With a level advantage, it directly opens up the maximum damage avoidance. The little boss of the clay golem rushed directly towards the sea of skeletons, trying to break out of the encirclement. Dash one, dash one, dash one, dash one, dash one. Densely dash ones popped up from its head. Created a super boss defensive effect. But it doesn't have the attack power of a super boss to wipe out a large area. Its attack power is very low. It takes more than three times to smash a level 60 skeleton shield. This caused a group of shield warriors to rush over and lift it up. After the clay demon boss was lifted high, he was not only slashed with long spears and short knives from below. The archers behind attacked it wildly. Because it was very relaxing to see this big devil being hit by dense arrows. Su Chen deliberately asked the magic skeleton soldiers not to attack it and let the archers shoot it. In just 20 seconds, the clay demon boss was covered with nearly 100,000 arrows. Good guy. Zhuge Liang called him an expert after seeing it. This is simply a borrowed arrow artifact. Looking at this scene, Su Chen nodded and expressed his approval of this guy. The clay golem didn't have 100,000 health. In fact, it died halfway through. But after hanging up, you can still continue to shoot arrows at it. The shield player in the distance, who was fully defensive looked at the clay golem boss being held high, and was stunned for a moment. It would be too torture to think that if he rushed in just now and was directly lifted up by a group of skeleton soldiers and used as a target to shoot at him. Although, New World has minimized pain and stimulating the senses, there is still some feeling. Minus 20. At this time, a skeleton soldier not far away also discovered him and caused 20 damage to him. This is the power of his full defense. But at this time, he didn't have any pride at all and just gave away all the equipment. He also opened a warrior bloodburst, lowering his defense. He was really scared when he looked at it, and he shuddered at the thought of being lifted up and shot. Soon, after he put down his defense, he was immediately killed. Players basically did not cause much damage to the skeleton soldiers. Many players saw that it was impossible to defeat the skeleton soldiers. So they simply gave up. The only ones that can cause harm to the skeleton soldiers are the original demon puppets. With the sound of an alarm, the golems also gathered. The one who can gather these demon dolls is naturally the lord of the sixth level. Su Chin saw a huge armored demon falling from the sky. Name, King of Iron Armored Golems. Variety, Golem. Level, 85. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skill, Unknown. After the boss came out, Su Chin looked at it and thought it was pretty good. By the way, today's soul gift was not used yet. But that's not necessarily the case. After all, now that Brother Chicken can evolve, he has more options. Before that, Su Chen didn't want his talk to the boss to be recorded. 
kill those players first. Su Chen directly divided his troops into 300,000 troops and went directly to encircle and suppress those players. Originally, when they saw the Lord Boss on this floor coming out, some players felt that there was a chance of escaping. There are even players who have the idea of taking advantage of the situation. The skeleton soldiers and the Lord Boss will fight fiercely, and they will be able to pick up the leaks when the time comes. But as soon as they had these thoughts, they discovered that a large number of skeleton soldiers began to target them. The reason why they had been able to escape before was because these skeleton soldiers killed the demon dolls and they were easy to deal with. Now, these skeleton soldiers are targeting them directly and they can no longer escape. The sixth floor is only so big and the skeleton soldiers are still surrounding it. Even if they run fast, they have to have somewhere to run. Soon, the clearance was completed. After confirming that there were no players on the sixth floor, Su Qing concentrated on dealing with the Iron Armored Demon King. However, although this Iron Armored Golem King has a level of 85, it has high defense and average attack power. The King of Knights and the Grand Mage were summoned. They were at the same Dark Gold level of level 75, so they would not be suppressed too much by the level of the Iron Armored Golem King. With an army of 700,000 skeletons, there is no need to worry about their safety. Su Chen also had itchy hands and summoned Chicken Brother. Unity of True Thoughts. Just like reality, Su Chen chose his human form. It can be regarded as accumulating combat experience. The first wave of attacks was still carried out by the skeleton army. The King of Knights was harassing on the flanks, while the Archmage was at the rear. Su Chen did not go to deal with the boss immediately. Instead, he picked up his sword and practiced against the ordinary demon puppets. Swift Wind Sword. Jumping Backslash. Phantom Sword Energy. Su Chen also used the silky little combos that Brother Ji used before. Quickly rush over and attack with one blow first. When the opponent counterattacks, just use the back jump to dodge. At the same time, immediately receive the Phantom Sword energy for long range attacks. Su Chen discovered that the damage he had caused was serious. The melee damage plus 5% buff obtained at the Toy Water Park seems to be taking effect. Chapter 73 The First Golden Template is released. And Su Chen discovered that it was more than just that. The Dark Mark seems to have an effect as well. Brother G's silky little combo directly exceeds 10 levels of damage. At this time, the clay demon that was attacked by Su Chen had 5 layers of burning debuff attached to it. In addition, there are quenching poison, confusion and other messy first, second and third level buffs. Originally, Su Chen found a clay demon doll with high physical defense just to practice his skills. But who knew that a set of small combos would directly destroy it? So unbeatable. Su Chen curled his lips. But this can't be blamed on the clay golem. Not only Chicken Brother has become an epic boss. At the same time, Su Chen also has a mythical glove, which greatly improves fire damage. Enchanted Searing. Character attack power increased by 5%. Any of your fire skills will gain damage amplification effect. After the mind was united, not only did Su Chen gain Brother Chicken's abilities, but he could also use his own equipment, skills, and talents. By the way, I also have a skill called Fire Purification on my gloves, which I forgot to use just now. Su Chen remembered that he had active skills on his gloves, in addition to the super, limited skill meteor arrival, and one that actively launches items. There is also an active, Fire Source Purification skill. Fire Source Purification, let your fire source be concentrated and purified. Although the Dark Mark is random, Su Chen's testing showed that there is still priority. Dominate is the hardest effect to trigger, and burn is the easiest to trigger. The little monster really can't stand the beating. Su Chen focused his attention on the huge armored devil king. At this time, the iron armored golem king is wreaking havoc in the sea of skeletons. It will fire some explosive bombs, which are very powerful. Generally, you have to dodge when you hit it. However, the sea of skeletons is too dense. Skeletons are all squeezing skeletons together and there is no way to escape. Once fried, it becomes a large piece. Its weakness is that it is relatively clumsy. The King of Knights has attacked it several times, but it has failed to counterattack the King of Knights. In addition, the King of Knights has the help of the Sea of Skeletons, so it simply cannot concentrate on fighting the King of Knights. As for the Grand Mage's long-range attack on it, it also tried to fire explosive bombs from a distance. But the projectiles were too slow, and the Grand Mage could avoid it directly. Area bombing. The Iron Armored Golem King finally released a big move. Suddenly, several missiles fell from the sky and launched a large-scale attack on the skeleton soldiers. 
while the Iron Armored Golem King was amplifying his moves. Su Chen had already slipped behind the Iron Armored Golem King. Not that he was taking any chances. If you die in the game, you will die. You will only lose some experience points. Su Chen will not give up Brother G easily unless it is in reality. Peerless Sword Chicken. Su Chen directly activated the transformation state first, compared with when using Chicken Brother's body. Chicken Brother's body will change. Su Chen's body did not change physically. But there were several halos around it. Each halo representing a big buff. Speed. Strength. Agility. Perception. Precision. The overall attributes have been greatly improved. Wan Jian returns to his clan. Countless sword shadows emerge from the void and smash towards the Iron Armored Demon King. But it's a pity that these sword shadows emerge from the void. If it weren't for his body's attack, there would be no dark mark. But his wind sword can be equipped with dark marks. The wind sword is coupled with a sword return, as well as a set of silky small combos. And the skills in the peerless sword chicken state have also been improved. Directly hit 35 layers of buff. Among them, 10 layers of burning buff are directly stacked. Sure enough, the trigger of burning is higher than others. After Su Chen finished his set, he retreated directly. Immortal True Fire. With the addition of the purified fire caused by the mythic gloves, the damage becomes even higher. At the same time, in the burning state, the mythic gloves will also have a damage amplification state. Su Chen continued to fight like this, which directly caused the Armored Devil King's health bar to drop a lot. Originally, Su Chen thought that his level 60 attack power should be quite scratchy. Now it seems that Gua Sha is scraped with steel wool. The Iron Armored Golem King felt the pain and stared at Su Chen angrily. Several consecutive explosive attacks hit Su Chen. In the Peerless Sword Chicken state, Su Chen easily dodged even the clumsy attacks. Iron Fist Chase The Iron Armored Golem King became anxious and shot out his fist, locking Su Chen in pursuit. This move is tracking and will explode once it tracks the target. After shooting out, the Iron Armored Golem King grew another fist, but was unable to shoot out a second fist. Su Chen hid directly towards the center of the skeleton sea. Boom! There was an explosion, and a large number of skeleton soldiers were blown apart. But Su Chen was hiding behind with a normal expression. Bah! After firing his fist, the Iron Armored Golem King grew back, but fell into a weak state. While the Iron Armored Golem King entered a weak state, the skeleton army also entered a state of fierce attack. The King of Knights and the Archmage didn't hold back either, and directly used their ultimate moves to output their full power. A violent output, coupled with the fact that the Iron Armored Golem King's body is constantly burning with eternal true fire, and the damage increases as long as it is burned. Its defense is greatly reduced. Ah! With a reluctant roar, the Iron Armored Golem King fell to the ground with a rumble. After the Iron Armored Golem King fell, other golems also fell into chaos, facing the well-disciplined skeleton soldiers. There is no doubt that they are just a bunch of rabble. Soon, those demon puppets were also slaughtered. We lost almost half a million skeleton soldiers. So that's okay. Looking at the sixth floor that had been raised to the ground, Su Chen counted the gains and losses. Of course, losing skeletons can lead to promotion. So there is no loss. Just take stock of the gains. Both templates were drawn out. Clay Golem, after using this template, the skeleton core gains physical defense plus 100. Exorcist Muppets, after using this template, the Skeleton Core is immune to 10% damage caused by the Light Series. The Exorcist Ragdoll actually has a golden template? This was something Su Chen didn't expect. Because the Exorcist Puppets are not too rare. It is not easy to get a golden template. 10% direct immunity to light damage. Which is actually very strong. Su Chen originally thought that directly adding light resistance would be enough. Anyway, all percentages are precious. As for the Clay Golem, it's still good. Blue has such an effect, which is already very good. Although the physical defense of 100 does not seem to be very high, it is equivalent to directly equipping the skeleton core with a piece of equipment. Although his skeleton army can indeed wear equipment, the level is just too low now. The equipment for siege and looting is also difficult to equip. And now it mainly consumes skeletons. And there is no need to equip them. As for swallowing it, Su Chen still felt it was a waste. So he kept the blue quality first. Chapter 74 Strong Boss Hidden Cold Wind The question of template is decided. Su Chen looked at the Iron Armored Demon King who fell on the ground. He had not yet decided what to do. Two options. One is for Chicken Brother to devour and evolve. Su Chen has already felt the benefits of uniting with Brother Chicken. 
just at the epic level. He already has the ability to fight across levels. The key is that Brother Chicken can still bring him back to reality. This allows him to directly improve his ability in reality. The other is to use the gift of soul to enslave. Su Chen thought about it, and decided to use it as a slave. A dark gold level boss will not improve Brother G much. The dark gold level upgrade to epic will directly swallow up the high level monsters of the epic level. Compared to evolution. Upgrading is obviously more important. The remaining 200,000 skeleton soldiers will be consumed immediately. And the next step is to enter the rhythm of rapid upgrading. Compared with the progress bar that increases a little after swallowing it. It is better to directly add a high level combat power and train it. With a gentle wave of his hand. The Iron Armored Golem King slowly stood up. Name, King of Iron Armored Golems. Variety, Golem. Level, 75. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skills, Iron Armor Impact. Iron Fist Combo. Force Hegemony. Explosive Bomb Attack. Area Bombing. Spinning Top. Flaming Flying Fist. Only 10 levels were cut. Which is not bad. Su Chen looked at the Iron Armored Demon King, and was quite satisfied. By the way, Su Chen renamed it, Iron Armor. The Grand Magister and the Night King were originally at a higher level. But when they were enslaved, Su Chen's low levels were reduced too much. Now after Su Chen upgraded, he enslaved a level 85 boss and actually reached level 75. The same level as them. And the reason why the Iron Armor is enslaved is because its attacks have slow trajectory. But are powerful. This is very consistent with his efficiency in brushing and upgrading. So if you don't want to let Brother Chicken devour it, you have to enslave it. There are still 200,000 skeleton soldiers. So the Cold Cave can be farmed. Su Chen also made the best use of everything. The Cold Cave is a level 60-68 dungeon. Which just meets the basic grinding requirements. With a thought. All the skeleton army and summoned spirits. Including Brother Chicken. Were taken back. At the same time. Su Chen also returned to the city. And left directly from the 6th floor. After Su Chen returned to the city. A few players returned to the 6th floor after a while. Where are the monsters? How come this place has become a flat land? Those skeletons are gone too. Are they all gone with the golems? But where did those golems go? Hold the grass. I still have a mission to farm monsters on the 6th floor. How do I farm them? The players who came up looked at the 6th floor that had been raised to the ground and found it difficult to hold back. As we all know, monster spawning in this game is quite slow. Of course, what players don't know is that this is the real world and monster spawning doesn't exist at all. The reason why, New World, can spawn monsters is because the system created by the game collects the DNA of those monster samples. By accelerating the flow of time in a certain area, the energy in that area can be continuously refreshed with monsters. But this method is destined to make New World unable to refresh monsters as quickly as other games. In the eyes of players, this game is slow to refresh monsters. In any case, it has been basically impossible to level up on the 6th floor of the Golan Tower in recent times. The situation here was also photographed and videotaped and posted to the forum. It also caused a small stir on the forum. But Su Chen didn't care about this. He was heading to the teleportation array in Icy Cave. Real world. In an office surrounded by many security facilities. Three people stood in the middle. Two men and one woman. Seemingly being lectured. The person who lectured was a well-maintained middle-aged woman. He was dressed in black professional attire. Exuding a capable aura. Codenames. Bing Feng. Bluebird. Timon. Tell me why you didn't report yesterday's incident to me right away. The middle-aged woman looked at the three people in front of her and adjusted her black rimmed glasses. Inspector Lin. That person is at least a martial artist and we are no match for him. And besides, he has not violated any safety regulations. The girl codenamed Bluebird said. The three of them were the supervisory trio who bumped into Su Chen that day. Bluebird is the codename of the girl in blue. Timon is the bald man. And Bing Feng is the white-haired team leader. I'm asking you why you didn't report it to me right away. I don't want to ask you a third time. Lin Lin sat on the swivel chair. Looked at the three of them and said. At the same time. The aura on his body expanded. Making the three of them feel even more stressed. Inspector Lin. I have always been responsible for this area. I have a certain right to make my own decisions. And not everything needs to be reported. At this time. Bing Feng said with force kindness? Lin Lin sneered and asked, is this your judgment? We don't have any information about a person with a skill beyond a dozen years moving freely in this area? The three of us combined couldn't beat the guy. The other guy didn't commit any crime in the first place. 
So why should we put ourselves at risk? Lengfeng also retorted. Lin Lin did not speak at this time, but stood up from the chair. You all get out. Lin Lin waved her hand and looked at Ling Feng. You stay. All the security personnel led by Lin Lin in the office retreated. Tai Man and Blue Bird looked at each other and slowly exited. After the door closes, suddenly, Ling Feng felt a murderous aura. Purple thunder and lightning struck towards him. It was Inspector Lin who took action against him. The power of this attack far exceeded the skill of a soldier and was stronger than the masters he encountered that night. At the critical moment, his pupils shrank and cold air condensed on his hands. Boom! When the two forces collided, the cold wind actually froze the thunder and lightning with the cold air. Lengfeng, male, 23 years old, returned from a special battlefield. His origin cannot be traced. His skill is more than a dozen years old. He is good at cold air and ice powers. Lin Lin did not take any further action after taking action. But slowly said, Lengfeng's face became a little uglier every time he read a sentence. Okay. No need to say it. Just state your purpose. Lung Feng interrupted Lin Lin directly. I said, I will not allow a mysterious master of unknown origin to be in the area I am now responsible for. Do you understand? As for why you are hiding here, I am not even interested in investigating. You just need to maintain a good superior subordinate relationship with me. Lin Lin returned to the swivel chair and looked at the cold wind with a smile. He looked convinced. However, Lin Lin was indeed convinced by the cold wind. He was hiding here for some special reason. Chapter 75 The boss cried after being beaten. It felt so wronged. Five minutes later, the cold wind came out of the office. Bluebird and Timon have also been waiting for a long time. Team leader, how are you? Tai Man asked first. Now put aside other work and do your best to investigate the mysterious master that night. The cold wind calmed down. But he still said it. Ah, Why is this? Isn't it in vain for us to deal with that master? Bluebird pouted. When did I let you take risks? Lung Feng said lightly and left first. The two looked at each other and followed. They didn't know what Lung Feng's strength was. But Lung Feng turned the tide several times when they got into dangerous situations. Now that Boss Lung Feng has said this, they feel a little more stable. Besides, this was originally just an investigation mission and they were not asked to fight the mysterious man. Lung Feng walked in front and took out a small button. This was the positioning alarm that Lin Lin had just given him. As long as traces of that person were found, Lin Lin would immediately have someone come to support him after pressing the button. With his true strength, not to mention stably defeating the opponent, there is no problem in protecting the two of them until reinforcements arrive. This is also the reason why Lin Feng agreed. I hope that woman is really who she said she is. Otherwise, there was a hint of coldness in Lin Feng's eyes. But he quickly hid it. He put away the button and walked towards the garage. Copy door. Su Chen has already teleported over. In order not to be exposed, Su Chen put on disguises. And these disguises were not cheap. People in strange clothes, like Su Chen, are actually very common in games. Just like now. In front of Su Chen, there is a player dressed as a teddy bear, inviting Su Chen to form a team. Although your appearance is a little inferior to mine, you barely get my approval. I can bring you a copy. Do you want to come with me? Looking at the inexplicable teddy bear in front of him. Su Chinli didn't even bother to pay attention to it. There has never been a shortage of strange players in New World. And every one of them has a burning soul. Su Chin is not the same kind as the second soul. He is a serious and honest person. Oops. Why are you rejecting me so ruthlessly? I used to be a master, but my account was deleted. Do you know? Su Chin still ignored him. Woohoo. Please team up with me. They all dislike me and won't team up with me. The teddy bear hugged Su Chin's thigh. Su Chin finally couldn't bear it anymore and kicked the teddy bear away. I also despise you. Do you think I am as good as you? A mediocre guy like you is only worthy of squatting in a corner. Su Chin looked down at the teddy bear with contempt. The teddy bear was left sitting alone on the ground wiping his tears. Cold cave. Level limit. Level 6068. Please select the difficulty level. Normal level. Warrior level. King level. Hell level. Su Chin did not hesitate and directly chose the H. L level. Cold cave. Record holder, Ba Dao. 8 minutes and 35 seconds. Only then did Su Chin remember that this seemed to be another copy that Ba Dao had warned him about. But Su Chin didn't care. All things that have existed forever should respond to my oracle and let everything be swallowed up by the endless darkness. The fear of nothingness will spread in this land. 
Come out. My skeleton soldiers. Su Chen slowly lifted off the mask with his hands, revealing an evil smile and muttering something. Just say it. Endless skeleton soldiers filled this cold cave. While Su Chen was reciting, he was surrounded by black energy, which seemed to have the aura of a dark emperor. This is Su Chen's newly developed spell 2.0. Although the skill is instant, the spell is useless. But I can't stand being handsome. At the same time, Su Chen's current three top combat powers, the Night King Magister, and the newly acquired armor have all come out. There are many terrain obstacles made of solid ice in the icy cave, and monsters will come out to attack from time to time. At the same time, there are also some agencies ambushing. If you want to clear the icy cave, the requirements for movement are relatively high, and you also need to find out where the trap is. Even though there are guides on the internet about the locations of the mechanisms in the ice cold cave, there are no landmark terrains in the ice cold cave. Even after reading the online guide, it is difficult to remember the locations of those mechanisms. But for Su Chen, there was no such trouble. 200,000 skeleton soldiers blasted through the solid ice, which was much faster than taking a detour to avoid it. As for those monsters with traps and traps, they would be chopped to pieces within minutes of coming out. Although those hidden mechanisms also took away some skeleton soldiers. Su Chen had no loss in terms of the consumption of skeleton soldiers. He was eager to consume the skeleton soldiers as soon as possible. Without these guys with less experience, he could level up quickly. Originally, the battle with the boss took place in the terrain of an ice valley. As long as you get to that place, the boss will automatically come out to fight. But Su Chen remembered that the terrain of the boss's lair was just solid ice and could be cut to pieces. Su Chen commanded the skeleton soldiers and slashed towards the boss's lair. The two small bosses in the middle are a waste of time. Killing the big boss directly should be enough to clear the level. After going through a lot of damage all the way, I jumped directly to too many bosses. Boom! The big snow monster who was resting was suddenly awakened. Because its home was demolished at this time. According to the process, it should not be notified after the first two guys guarding the gate are defeated. Then he goes to the ice valley to fight the breaker? The first two guards had no news at all. And their home was directly penetrated. Name, Dabubujuju. Variety, Snow Monster. Level 70. HP, Unknown. Level, Dark Gold Boss. Skill, Unknown. Dry Crush It. Su Chen pointed lightly. The skeleton army rushed directly towards it. This monster looks a bit ugly and cute. At this time, he is not awake yet. It is still thinking about why the other party did not follow the procedure. As a result, a large group of skeleton soldiers were already pressing on it and hacking at it. The beating made it howl wildly. He finally stood up and planned to fight back. The King of Knights charged directly and knocked it down again. He is the level 70 Dark Gold boss. In addition to the skeleton army, Su Chen also has three level 75 Dark Gold bosses. After being beaten, one is unable to fight back. Su Chen didn't want to torture it. After its health dropped to a certain level, Su Chen directly asked the three Dark Gold bosses to inject him with their ultimate moves. The big snow monster fell to the ground. It still didn't know where the other party came from and why it shattered its home after just a disagreement. Su Chen had no interest in enslaving such useless things. Just calling out the chicken and devouring a level 70 dark gold boss is still somewhat nourishing. Chapter 76 Because you are right. You are wrong. At this time, the world announcement sounded. World announcement. Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the record in the icy cave with a time of 1 minute and 58 seconds. Because it was a home stealing tactic and the skeleton army was dispatched. The score was directly scored for two minutes. This directly makes Ba Dao's record look like a joke. You can't even see the taillights. Currently you are the record holder of the cold cave. And you have obtained the buff. Toughness increased by 3%. It actually increases toughness. No wonder this tyrant sword is so angry. The entries recorded in the two dungeons are very useful for melee combat such as the tyrant sword. For Su Chen. Resilience is also very important, as it can reduce the impact of various negative effects. Su Chen was quite satisfied with the two dungeon entries that Ba Dao kept. For the rest of the skeleton army, just brush some ordinary templates. Even if the attributes are general, it is good to use them to enhance them. Su Chen thought in his mind and left directly using the more expensive high-end teleportation scroll. He's quite eye-catching at the moment, so I don't mind the necessary expense. Shira World. Currently, the Seimasen Guild and others are still doing leveling tasks in the Shura world. The focus of their guild's development is here. World Announcement. 
Congratulations to player Luo Chio for breaking the record in the icy cave with a time of 1 minute and 58 seconds. The atmosphere of the Shamising Elite group was not very relaxed originally. But this announcement made the atmosphere even more solemn. But in fact, Ba Dao was not angry after hearing this. Not really angry. Because when he heard the name Luo Chio, he trembled in his heart. Since Lian Guizuan was involved in this incident, Ba Dao now prefers that nothing happened. So Luo Chio can just take it if he likes his record. It's not like there haven't been targeted actions against Luo Chio recently. But every time, he was defeated by a mysterious force. There was no useful information after investigation. Ba Dao originally thought that maybe the Sunset Guild was taking action. So he sent someone to the Sunset Guild to keep an eye on him. But after the Sunset Guild took action that time, it seemed that it never took action again. This means that the forces behind Luo Chio are attacking him. Every operation against Luo Chio failed, which already frightened Ba Dao. Especially when the other party only taught him a lesson and did not directly declare war on him. This was what made him most irritated. Thinking about it, the ghosts are secretly trying to contain the other party so that the other party does not dare to completely eradicate them. But in this way, he just became a pawn in this game. If possible, he really wanted to apologize to Luo Chio and let this matter go. However, the way Ba Dao remained silent made other people feel that Ba Dao was about to explode. Boss, Actually, we can't blame Erwi entirely for this. They encountered a lot of resistance. There was someone in charge of this matter. At this time, before Ba Dao broke out, he immediately came out and said, as he spoke, cold sweat broke out on his head. Ba Dao glanced at him and breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, there was no progress. If there is really any progress, his guild will be praised. Luo Chio is so ignorant. He really thinks that there is no one in Shamo Planet. At this time, a yellow-haired man standing next to him stood up and said, Ba Dao frowned. How does the boss usually lecture? Only we, Shamasing, bully others. No one else bullies us. I don't think this matter can be left alone. And I suggest that we increase our efforts, Wang Mao said with anger. In fact, I think this matter is not necessary. Looking at Wang Mao's impassioned speech, Ba Dao frowned and said, Ba Dao no longer wants to go against Luo Qiu. When you can't get away, it's best if you don't have such a waste of results. Look, the boss is afraid that we will lose levels. So he actually says it's unnecessary. With such a good boss, I, Da Huang, will be the first to petition. And I am willing to hunt down Luo Chiu unconditionally. The more Huang Mao talked, the more excited he became. Seeing him like that moved me. No, I mean, Ba Dao tried to have a good talk with Huang Mao. If anyone is a coward, I, Da Huang, will spit on him and despise him. What right does a coward have to stay in the guild? Huang Mao has obviously taken over the emotion. And at this time, he is no longer in a deserted place. Huang Mao's words silenced Ba Dao. Just when Ba Dao wanted to forget about it and stop messing with Luo Chiu, Huang Mao immediately scolded him for being a coward. Who wants to join me? The excited Huang Mao didn't notice Ba Dao's expression and walked directly towards the crowd. Among the crowd, there was a gesture of giving a speech. Ba Dao and everyone around him were dumbfounded. Finally, things didn't develop in an outrageous direction. Are you a bastard? Looking at the others, some of whom even wanted to agree. Ba Dao could no longer hold back. It's not over. Right? Hack the stars. Ba Dao kicked Huang Mao to the ground directly from behind. Looking at Huang Mao lying on the ground, Ba Dao felt that he was still angry. I'm going to hit you as long as it hurts. Don't do any harm. Hit me hard for 10 minutes. Ba Dao said directly to the others. After hearing what the boss said, even though they didn't understand why, some people still did it. Wang Mao usually likes to flatter him. But the key is, he can't flatter him. This makes many people usually have grudges. So when I beat up Wang Mao, I have to work extra hard. Seeing Wang Mao being beaten and screaming in the middle, Ba Dao finally felt a little relieved. Wang Mao was punched and kicked in various ways. Being beaten is nothing. The key is that Huang Mao is depressed. Isn't this the usual domineering temperament? He usually followed Ba Dao's words. But with Ba Dao's character, he should be furious with that Luo Chiu now. If you jump out and say these words yourself, according to usual experience, you will be rewarded by the tyrant sword. But why? Woohoo! Boss, what did I do wrong? Huang Mao said while being beaten. Because you didn't do anything wrong. So if you did something wrong, 
You should realize it yourself. Ba Dao said angrily and left. If everything is explained clearly to him, it will be difficult for him to grow. Besides, can this matter be explained clearly? He can't say it's because he's scared. Right? However, this sentence is a bit difficult to understand because it is wrong because it is not done wrong. Huang Mao was thinking about it while being beaten. And the more he thought about it, the more depressed he became. Ba Dao Hung Dao looked ahead while listening to the howling from behind. In this world, weakness is the original sin. Ba Dao looked back at Huang Mao. At the same time, he also looked at the knife in his hand. This sentence is not only talking about Huang Mao, but also about himself. He is so weak that he only deserves to be used as a pawn by the devil. The key is that even if he knows, there is nothing he can do. Chapter 77 He understands again? What do you understand? At the same time, Sunset Guild. Sure enough, he broke the record again. The cool tone man sighed. He was already convinced of Luo Chiu, although he didn't know how Luo Chiu did it. But if he does it, he does it. He is a relatively pure person. If he is not as skilled as others and does unnecessary actions, it will be embarrassing. Just like when Feng Yu planned to help save some records, he also rejected it. It's quite impressive. It only lasted two minutes. Sledgehammer laughed beside him. It's one minute and 58 seconds. The cold toned expression corrected him. It's great. My men are very motivated. Feng Yu said with narrowed eyes and a smile. I said, Boss, why did you ask me? Chiao Shuang. To help that fake Luo Chiu? Sledgehammer suddenly remembered this matter and asked with some confusion. After finishing the matter, Feng Yu asked him to upgrade normally and never told him the reason. This matter has puzzled Sledgehammer for a long time. But before Feng Yu could say anything, Lung Hu next to him suddenly noticed something was wrong. Fake Luo Chiu? The cool colors keenly capture the key words in Sledgehammer's words. When Sledgehammer heard this, he covered his mouth guiltily and accidentally let it slip. Last time Ling Hu asked if the screenshot of Luo Chiu on the internet was Luo Chiu himself. Sledgehammer deceived Lung Hu and said that it was Luo Chiu. Moreover, he casually made up the story about Luo Chiu using a novice weapon to show off the boss. In this matter, Feng Yu said that the imposter was the arranged substitute. So he never told Ling Hu about Luo Chiu's true identity. Boss, I suddenly remembered that I have a task today. I will take my team members to do that task first. Sledgehammer felt guilty and immediately found an excuse to run away. But suddenly a hand grabbed his collar from behind. Don't leave yet and explain to me what fake Luo Chiu is all about. He had a cool face and looked at Sledgehammer with a fierce look in his eyes. Ever since he last learned that Luo Chiu had broken his own record with a novice weapon, he had been depressed and spent the whole day in the training room. It wasn't until I made a breakthrough recently that I came out of that shadow. One can imagine how he has been spending his time recently for someone with a strong cool tone. Lao Ling, don't get excited. Just listen to me and tell you slowly. Sledgehammer turned around with an awkward smile on his face. At the same time, he pointed at the cold toned hand, signaling the cold toned person to let go of him so that he could speak slowly. The cold tone looked at the sledgehammer with a straight face, but still let go of the sledgehammer, ready to see what he had to say. In fact, this matter is old. Sledgehammer was trying to drag Fingu down. However, he found that at this time, Feng Yu was looking at him with slightly narrowed eyes. But his smile was still kind. But this obviously kind smile is permeable no matter how you look at it. More terrifying than cold toned expressions. Yes, Sledgehammer took advantage of the cold tone and gave himself an acceleration skill. Greased the soles of his feet and ran away. Don't even think about escaping. Cold Hue also took a quick step and chased after the Sledgehammer. It was really nice. My men had another very motivated day. Watching the two chasing each other. Feng Yu also smiled. After the two of them ran out of sight, Feng Yu also put away his smile. The force that stopped the Shamo Star Second Society was too mysterious, and even the eldest brother didn't find out the results. Recalling Wu Jian's words, the expression on Feng Yu's face was also quite solemn. It seems that this is the mysterious force behind Luo Chiu. Fortunately, I had expressed enough goodwill before. Based on his background, the investigation must have revealed that I was secretly helping him. Feng Yu nodded with satisfaction. In any case, the stronger the other party is, the better the relationship is with him. Your own benefits will only get bigger and bigger. This relationship needs to be struck while the iron is hot. Thinking of this, Feng Yu thought and crushed a teleportation scroll. Sunset Guild 3 Group. In recent times, 
Zhou Jing has made rapid progress in the 3rd Regiment. With Fong Yu's signal, the entire 3rd Regiment had a very good attitude towards Zhou Jing. Zhou Jing learned a lot in the 3rd Regiment. Not only in terms of technique, but also in terms of consciousness. He often received personal guidance from Mai Nong, the number one man in the 3rd Regiment. At this time, the three regiments were undergoing daily training and leveling. The Yu's appearance broke the daily tranquility. President, 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 why are you here free? Many people from the third group greeted Feng Yu. Feng Yu didn't have any airs and smiled at everyone. Soon, Feng Yu found the player Su Chen brought. Ergu, the president came here to talk to Brother Go alone. I still don't know where Brother Go came from, but Brother Go is a very nice person and is usually easy to get along with. Seeing Feng Yu taking Ergu alone to talk, everyone was very envious. Although the president has no airs and seems to be very nice to everyone, there are very few people who can really catch his eye. Does President Fong have anything to do with me? R. Zhou Jing touched his head, somewhat confused as to why Fong Yu was looking for him. At this time, Feng Yu took out a gauntlet. Although this is only a dark gold level gauntlet, it has a special effect and should be helpful to you. Feng Yu didn't say much as soon as he arrived, and directly gave Zhou Jing a piece of equipment with slightly special attributes. Zhou Jing, although he is a bit tough, it does not mean that he is stupid. President Feng, just tell me if you have something to say. I have also received a lot of care in your guild. Zhou Jing did not take the gauntlet, but said directly, This reaction surprised Feng Yu. I haven't seen Luo Chiu for a long time recently, and I don't know if he is busy. As for the recent situation of our guild, you also know that there is no progress in the abandoned land of the sea. Feng Yu said with a smile on his face. Okay, I understand what President Feng means. Although Feng Yu didn't say it clearly, Zhou Jing already understood everything. Did he know that he was able to join the Sunset Guild because Su Chen sold the guide to the Sunset Guild? Feng Yu was embarrassed to say it directly. But after thinking about it, he wanted to ask about the guide to the Undersea God's Abandoned Land Dungeon. But he didn't know about this matter. And it still depended on Su Chen's opinion. I'll trouble Brother Ergu to ask. After saying that, Feng Yu pushed the gauntlet onto Zhou Jing's hand. But Zhou Jing didn't answer. This matter is originally a matter of your cooperation. No reward will be given for no merit. Besides, I am afraid of misunderstanding. Zhou Jing shook his head with a firm attitude. Feng Yu didn't insist much and nodded. After leaving, Feng Yu's eyes narrowed with a smile. I began to understand why Luo Qiu put Ergu in my guild. Feng Yu showed an inscrutable expression. Chapter 78 Su Qin discovered the tale and observed secretly. The day passed quickly. Su Chen had already exhausted the remaining 200,000 skeleton army. The harvest was not bad. Su Chen took stock of the value created by the remaining 200,000 skeleton army. Spotted Boar, after using this template, the skeleton core gains 50 points of impact resistance. Swamp Lizard, after using this template, the skeleton core gains swamp slowdown adaptation resistance. Puppet Miner, after using this template, the skeleton core gains plus 50 stamina points. Because the monsters painted are very common and common monsters. The white color is normal. Su Chen didn't expect any top notch templates to come out. Breakdown. Su Chen directly threw in the three white templates. Decomposition is successful. Evolution points plus five. There were a total of three white templates. All of which were decomposed. And a total of 15 evolution points were gained. The skeleton soldiers have been wiped out. Don't think that ordinary monsters can't cause damage to skeleton soldiers. The lower the level, the harder it is to find templates. The monster Su Chen found were all of high level. At the same time, don't think that the white template is ordinary. But if you want to paint a template, you still need to carry out a large scale sweep. Among them, boss naturally appears. For Su Chen, this was all physical work. And he was too tired after supervising the work for a whole day. The skeleton army was about to evolve. So Su Chen strengthened the template first. The template to be strengthened was naturally the Exorcist Ragdoll template, and the 15 strengthening points were used directly together. Ding. The enhancement was successful. Please check. Hearing the prompt, Su Chin immediately clicked on Exorcist Puppet. Exorcist Muppets, after using this template, the skeleton core is immune to 12% of damage caused by the light series. Only 2% of entries were added. Su Chin was so tired after brushing, but he was still a little disappointed when he only added so much. But then I thought about it. If he was willing to do it, is it possible to strengthen this entry to 100%? But just thinking about it, 
100% when will I get liver disease? He can do so much. There's no need to stick to a template. Moreover, the time for the integration of games and reality is approaching. So he should quickly improve his overall strength instead of focusing on one aspect. Thinking of this, Su Chen also gave up the idea of retaining this template liver entry. Back to reality. Because the pot at home is rotten. And even if there is a pot, he has no time to cook. So he eats fast food all day long. A late night snack is the reward after a hard day's work. By the way, he also summoned Chicken Brother and directly used his thoughts to merge into one. He has become obsessed with this feeling of being a strong man. Su Chen has gradually become accustomed to the combination with Brother Chicken and the power of reality. Not long after going out, Su Chen suddenly felt something was wrong. He also worked as a mercenary for a long time in his previous life. His experience on the battlefield made him particularly sensitive to some dangers. Not only is Brother Chicken inherently very sensitive as an epic creature, but the strength that Su Chen mastered in his previous life was also higher than Brother Chicken now. After the initial discomfort with using this power, I am now very comfortable with it. Is there a tail? Since when? Su Chen frowned. He felt that someone was following him. And he was no ordinary gangster. He was definitely a master. Su Chen then remembered that the last time he couldn't hold it back. He tested Brother G's strength. It turned out to be that time. With a thought in mind, Su Chen walked into a street of snack stalls. The moment he entered the street, he immediately broke up with Brother Chicken and took Brother Chicken back. Boss, please order some fried noodles, ten skewers of mutton, and a bottle of beer. Su Chen went to a food stall that was doing very well and ordered food as if nothing had happened. The meat skewers came out quickly, and the fried noodles had to wait a while. At this time, three people also entered the food street. These three people seemed to be walking, but their speed was obviously much faster than those around them, and they did not appear to be panting or tired in any movement. Two men and one woman. These three people are exactly the three members of the supervision team. Team leader. The energy points disappeared immediately upon entering this street. Bluebird looked at the instrument in his hand and reported to the cold wind. We have been guarding for a whole day, and our work has been in vain. Tai Man touched his bald head. Lengthing looked around and felt very strange. His senses were fully activated, but he didn't catch anything suspicious. But the other party obviously disappeared on this street. We were discovered, and he should have run away as soon as he entered the street. Go and apply for surveillance authority around here. He should be running away in a hurry. We can observe it through time points. After Lung Fong thought about it, he said to the blue bird, Bluebird nodded. Team leader, we have been eating bread all day. Let's have something good for midnight snack. Tai Man chuckled. Lengthing didn't refuse. And he was indeed a little hungry. They are cultivating supernatural powers. Unlike ancient martial arts, they do not have such a thing as fasting. On the contrary, because of the consumption of their superpowers, they eat more than ordinary people. At this point, the night market business is very booming. There were not many empty seats around. So the three of them sat at a table not far from Su Chen. After ordering the food, the three of them started chatting. Team leader, I really don't understand why you want to give face to that bitch. She asked us to find someone when she asked us to. If I hadn't seen that she was a woman, I would have wanted to whip her. As soon as Tai Man sat down, he started to complain. Hey, just brag. You didn't dare to say a word in the office that day. And it was all the team leader who was arguing. Bluebird gave Team a blank look. Lung Fong originally wanted to warn Tai Man not to talk nonsense. But there were noisy sounds like drinking and punching everywhere. What they said was basically drowned in this sea of sound. In addition, Lung Fong himself was also dissatisfied with Supervisor Lin. So he did not stop Tai Man. What do you know? I was doing it to give the team leader face. And I didn't want to make things difficult for the team leader. Tai Man didn't say anything else. But he still had a tough mouth. Bluebird didn't want to talk to Tiemann anymore. Team leader, since that person has discovered us, do we still need to continue looking? The bluebird turned his head and looked at Lingfeng. You still have to look for it, but you can only slowly dig out the traces of his existence. Lungfeng shook his head. If there is no result in this matter, it is estimated that Inspector Lin will not be able to finish the job so easily and will have to work harder. The three of them chatted one after another, but he didn't realize that Su Chen, who was eating fried noodles not far away, had been listening silently, monitoring, authority, team leader, supervision, careful digging. Su Chen memorized these keywords one by one. Chapter 79 New Plan 
second blockbuster strategy. Su Chin deliberately ate slowly, so that he could hear clearly. These people thought that the food stalls were noisy, and no one would listen to them seriously. So they chatted unscrupulously. In fact, he just wanted to get rid of the other party. But he didn't expect that the other party would sit not far away by chance. To say it's a coincidence. It's not just a coincidence. Su Chin chose a seat with the best view for the convenience of observation. Their seats were chosen by the team leader. Apparently, he also suspected that he had not gone far and found a seat with a good view. However, Lung Feng would never have thought that not only did the other party not escape, but he was secretly observing them from behind. Although the three of us ordered a lot, they ate very quickly. They were obviously still on working time. And they didn't drink. They were just chatting at most. But even the small talk did not delay the time of eating. This allowed them to eat faster than Su Chin. This also includes the cooking time of the food stalls, which is of course due to the intense firepower of the food stalls and the need to prepare the dishes in advance. After the three of them left, Su Chin packed another portion of fried noodles. It turns out that those rumors are true. Before the game came, there was an unknown world of martial arts hidden in it. Su Chin was also a little shocked by this news. He had thought that there would be other players who, for some reason, would come to reality early with their gaming prowess. What he didn't expect was that even without this game world, there were still some superpowers hidden in the bustling city. It seems that I have always been able to see the truth of this world. It is ridiculous that I have always been proud of my knowledge of rebirth. Su Chen also felt solemn in his heart. Su Chen didn't stay long. This time he took a taxi home. After returning home, Su Chen originally planned to buy fried noodles for Brother Chicken. But now it seems that he should not just let it go. So I put the fried noodles in the refrigerator and used them as breakfast the next day. Su Chen also recalled what those people had just chatted with. It seems that there is an organization in this world that monitors those superpowers. The three people who followed him before are members of this organization. In addition to them, there are people above him. In short, it should be a large organization. No wonder. No one has ever known the existence of these people. It turns out they are under supervision. Su Chen also understood why he had never heard of those people before. But there are always some supernatural events happening in the world that science cannot explain. There were probably rumors about this only after the game came out. But they were not very detailed. There are too many disputes in the city. It seems that it is necessary to leave the city and defend the resource land in advance. At the same time, look at the game to see if there are any formations that can mask the aura and try to bring it into reality. Su Chen also made new plans in his mind. Originally, he was focused on the game. But now it seems that he has to prepare in advance for reality. After the game arrives, the enemies are not just monsters from another world. On the contrary, at the beginning of the game, there were only relatively low-level monsters. What is more dangerous than those low-level monsters is actually human nature. So we have to make money. The next day, Su Chen ate the fried noodles he brought back last night. Everyone is responsible for not wasting food. Besides, Food is also a very precious resource after the game comes. After breakfast, Su Chen went straight to the game. Just after playing the game for a while, a video call came through. It turned out to be Zhou Jing. Lao Luo, then you wants to ask you if you have any strategies for the abandoned land under the sea. Zhou Jing also conveyed to Su Chen everything Feng you said yesterday intact. The special attributes of the gauntlet are pretty good. So why not use them? Su Chen couldn't help but smile after hearing this. I always feel like this is not good. Zhou Jing frowned. There's nothing wrong with this. Anyway, Feng Yu can pluck his wool as long as he can. So there's no need to be polite to him. Su Chen also expressed his thoughts directly. Zhou Jing is one of his own. While Feng Yu is an outsider. Don't let outsiders give you things for free. Okay. Then I won't be polite to pluck wool next time. Zhou Jing nodded when he heard what Su Chen said. He was originally afraid of Su Chen's random thoughts. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead. I know this, and I will find him when the time comes. Su Chen smiled. The two also hung up the call. To be honest, Su Chen had no intention of ever doing such things as selling guides. After all, the income from being able to fight by yourself is definitely higher than from selling guides. But the problem is, among other things, the minimum entry requirements for those dungeons are over 100 levels. He is still far from level 100. The explosion rate of high-level dungeons is actually the same. The highest stage is the first pass plus a period of time after the first pass. After you clear more, the explosion rate of high-level dungeons also plummets. These copies do not come with the real world. 
but are automatically generated by the game system like secret realms. The dungeon is also like a secret realm. There are only so many good things. So come early and get more. There's some junk behind it. Come on. Let's talk about selling strategies. Now Suchin can't brush these copies anyway. The good things were placed there. But other guilds took them away first. And he no longer wants to live in the city. He has been noticed by the city's supervisors. And it was a right decision to move from the city to the countryside. It would cost a lot of money to directly rent out the mountain in Su Chen's memory. Let's sell it for money this time. Su Chen made a decision. Then he made a call to Fingyu. Su. I got through. Brother Luo Chiu. Long time no see. I think the last time we met was the last time. Feng Yu had a smile on his face, and his tone was a little eager. President Feng is quite humorous. Su Chen heard that Feng Yu was not talking nonsense. But joking. It seems that Brother Luo Chiu came to me today. Does he really have information about the land abandoned by the gods under the sea? Feng Yu narrowed his eyes and looked at Su Chen. He originally didn't have high hopes for Luo Chiu. Just because there was a strategy for the previous dungeon didn't mean he had a strategy for this dungeon. From the current point of view, the difficulty of this copy is much greater than the previous copy. It's not intelligence. It's strategy. Su Chen directly corrected Feng Yu's words. Hearing this, Feng Yu fell silent. He originally thought that it would be good to have some information. Right now, everyone is still in the tentative stage of developing this dungeon. After a while, Brother Luo Chiu, please make some conditions. I will accept your lion's big mouth, but you also have to agree to one condition. If you want to sell a second copy of this guide, you have to wait at least two weeks. At the same time, I will share it with another guild because my guild may not be able to afford this first pass. After thinking about it, Feng Yu directly showed his trump card. He knew very well that this time was not a negotiation. With the foundation laid last time, Luo Chiu could definitely let other guilds bid for the competition. Chapter 89 Goddess Dream Ring A Hidden Divine Object Two weeks? It seems that Feng Yu understands quite well that two weeks has been enough to change a lot. After two weeks, other top guilds will be able to defeat it on their own. By then, the value of Su Chen's strategy will naturally be greatly reduced. This also meant that Feng Yu directly handed over the initiative in negotiations, allowing Su Chen to set a high price. President Feng is indeed a sensible person. Seeing Feng Yu having such an awareness, Su Chen felt very satisfied. Indeed, Su Chen had no intention of negotiating with anyone this time. Through the last sale of strategies, some guild executives already knew that a player named Luo Chiu was selling strategies. Last time it was difficult for people to believe in themselves. But this time, it was completely different from the last time. But for Su Chen, there is nothing wrong with buying out Fingyu. There won't be much difference in price. One is to make small profits but quick turnover. And the other is to be open for half a year. Buying out Fingyu could also save him some trouble. Then I made an offer? Su Chen looked at Feng Yu and confirmed to Feng Yu. Even though he was mentally prepared, Feng Yu still took a deep breath at this time, and then nodded and made a continued gesture to Su Chen. President Feng, there is no need to be nervous. I only designated one piece of equipment, a night goddess dream ring. If you can't get this ring within two weeks, give me three pieces of mythical equipment instead. Su Chen also said what he wanted. That ring is a piece of mythical equipment, but the real value is three pieces of mythical equipment, which is not an exaggeration at all. Just because of one thing. That piece of equipment can awaken divinity after passing a special ceremony. Although it cannot reach the level of an artifact. It is a divine item after all. The attributes of that piece of equipment were average. And after awakening, they also had mythical attributes. But Su Chen needed to use it to prove a conjecture of his. With the power of one's own god and the ability of the fetish ring to store things. Can it bring things from the game world back to reality? As for Feng Yu's lie about not fighting. Su Chen also considered it. Before this ring went through a special ceremony, it was just an ordinary piece of mythical equipment, and its panel attributes did not have any hints about its ability to evolve or awaken. The value of one piece of mythic gear versus three pieces of mythic gear, that's a good measure. If you can't get it in two weeks, will it be the three mythical equipment? Then you fell into thinking. In fact, this matter may be that Su Chen set a piece of equipment that does not exist at all. He simply wants three pieces of mythical equipment. The price can be said to have double compared to the last time. A piece of mythical blueprint is not even worth half of a piece of mythical equipment. In two weeks, there is no guarantee that the Sunset Guild will be able to produce a total of three pieces of mythical equipment. If only two pieces were obtained, 
Not only would he have to work for Suchin Bai, but he would also have to pay for a piece of mythical equipment out of his own pocket. Okay. I agreed. However, after a brief hesitation, then you agreed? The Excalibur Guild will be responsible for this matter. He only needs to pay for 1.5 mythical equipment, and it will be done. The loss will not be too much. And if the designated equipment that Su Chen mentioned was really mined, wouldn't it be a profit? Su Fei Chen really made up a non-existent item. Tell me, where are your progress now? Su Chen asked with a smile on his face. What's the progress? Normal has passed. We are currently stuck with the warrior-level self-destructing jellyfish. There were too many to deal with. And I tried to bring summoners to use mobs to detonate them. But these jellyfish were very aggressive to humans, and it didn't work. Feng Yu smiled and felt that the progress of his guild was indeed too slow. But after saying that, Feng Yu also looked at Su Chen curiously. He wanted to see how Su Chen's strategy solved these problems. The mobs in the abandoned land of the undersea god are very difficult to deal with. Even more difficult than the boss. In addition, the terrain is complex and complex. My suggestion is, do not hit. Su Chen said calmly, as if describing the facts. Feng Yu, who had been listening carefully, was suddenly embarrassed. Is this a joke? Feng Yu relieved himself from the embarrassment. No. I suggest you just don't fight them. These mobs and the mechanisms in front are too complicated, and I don't know how to deal with them. Su Chen still stated the facts in a tone of voice. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Feng Yu comforted himself in his heart, and managed to maintain his inner peace. After working on it for a long time, you didn't know that you were still negotiating terms for a long time. My suggestion is not to fight the mobs. Skip the front and fight the boss directly. At this time, Su Chen also said the second half of the sentence. He didn't lie to phone you about one thing. He really didn't know how to play the monster level in the abandoned land of the undersea god. Because it was a year later when he played. And the first posts were either deleted or invalidated because no one had accessed them because of the new guide. When he was playing, hitting this dungeon was like entering the boss level directly. In the lost sea filled with fog of war. There is an eternal island. And there is also a copy entrance to the abandoned land under the sea. Entering from that entrance will lead you directly to the boss level. Su Chen said slowly. Only then did Feng Yu realize that Su Chen had always been serious and was not joking. It's so magical. But soon, then you realize something again. The lost sea is an unknown sea and is full of dangers. How can we find the so-called eternal island in the lost sea? Feng Yu smiled helplessly. The eternal isle is not far from the safe area. And I can draw a safe navigation route for you. A hint of cunning flashed in Su Chen's eyes. But it's not easy for me to get this navigation route. If you want that route, you have to pay for it. The reason why Su Chen didn't ask for money under the initial conditions was because he was waiting here. If you ask for money, you won't be able to pay for three mythical equipment. This, thing you immediately understood that Su Chen had obviously planned to sell this route to him from the beginning. Eternal sand is everywhere on the Eternal Island. The Eternal Sand is used to make heart amulets, which can reduce the damage caused by the boss's strongest spiritual group attack. Seeing Feng Yu's hesitation, Su Chen continued to encourage him. Okay, I'll buy it. How much does it cost? Feng Yu sighed. Originally it was 5 million gold coins. But you also said that you were two guilds. So it was only 10 million gold coins. Su Chen had already prepared it. Of course, just one route cannot be sold for so much money. Even dangerous unknown waters are not worth much. But Su Chen knew that if he wanted less, he would definitely be looked down upon by the other party. After all, he had always created a mysterious image to frighten Feng Yu in his dealings with Feng Yu. One or two million gold coins is too childish. Asking for money would not suit the character he created. So ten million is about right. Chapter 81 Fallen Duke Manor What is idol upgrade? No problem. Sure enough, Feng Yu was not too entangled in the price of ten million gold coins. It's not like I struggled with the three mythical pieces of equipment for so long. Even though it's just a flight route, 10 million is no different from blackmail. But this is in line with Luo Chio's identity. If Luo Chio asked for just a few hundred thousand gold coins, he would really doubt the authenticity of the power behind Luo Chio. With Luo Chio's status, hundreds of thousands of gold coins, 1 million gold coins, etc. are not worthy of him opening this mouth. There is no doubt about 10 million gold coins. 10 million gold coins is not much. But gain gold coins are not like real currency. It will take some effort to suddenly collect a large amount of gold coins. All major guilds have the habit of stockpiling gold coins. 
it would be reasonable for the forces behind Luo Qiu to expand their gold coin reserves to 10 million. After the matter was agreed upon, Su Qin told Feng Yu some details. In fact, after skipping the most tedious and complicated previous processes, the boss itself is not too difficult. And the Eternal Sand Guard can resist the boss's ultimate move. This boss is no longer difficult. Even if they work hard on their own, they can get over it. Telling them some detailed strategies only speeds up their attack speed. A pleasure to work with. After getting the information he wanted, Feng Yu was also very happy. It seems that the substitute who chose to help Luo Chio secretly before was indeed right. Luo Chio must have investigated and found out that he was responsible for remembering him. Otherwise, would Luo Chio, the strategy seller, have thought of him immediately? In order to facilitate contact with him, he also sent someone to his guild. Then you couldn't help but give him a thumbs up for his wise decision last time. Although it was the eldest brother who proposed this matter from beginning to end, he still had hard work without credit. And without hard work, he still had fatigue. Su Chen didn't know that Feng Yu's inner world was so complicated. So he nodded casually and hung up the call. After the call ends, I received an email right away. It was from Feng Yu. 10 million gold coins. Including the 2.5 million gold coins earned last time. There are now a total of 12.5 million gold coins. It's more than enough to cover the mountain. But we still need to find some trustworthy manpower to start the project. Su Chen closed the email. There is no need to think too much about this matter now. You still have to speed up your level improvement. When you level up yourself, Chicken Brother can keep the same level as your own after signing a contract with him. This is indirectly equivalent to the level of the game being directly realized on a 1 colon 1 basis. He has not forgotten that there is just a crack between the game and reality. The strength in the game is brought to reality. And even with his divine power, it is impossible to survive. Because of Chicken Brother, being able to show up 1 colon 1 is simply like cheating. He felt that even if the players in those games were realized in reality, they would not be more outrageous than him. Of course, this doesn't mean that he can do whatever he wants in reality. Since the last time I overheard the inspection team in this city, I have learned that in the original reality, there were many superpowers hidden among them. And some of them might not be old monsters. The most important thing right now is to upgrade. Fall in Duke Manor. This is the leveling place chosen by Su Chin. This place used to be the residence of the Duke of the Empire. But the Duke lost the battle with the demon army and became a puppet manipulated by the demons. Surrounding the Duke's manor are a group of demonized patrols at level 60 or 70. This is not Su Chen's main target. The fastest way to level up is to kill monsters beyond levels. And his advantage over others is that he has three level 75 dark gold boss subordinates. It's completely different from leading a high level team. Not only will high level players share experience points but there is also a debuff. And the experience gained by high-level players will be greatly reduced. Even if you don't form a team, it's the same. Most of the damage is done by high-level players. And low-level players don't get much experience for last hitting. Su Chen's advantage is that he not only enjoys the treatment of high-level monster clearing, but also has no experience points. And it also provides an experience bonus for single-player leapfrogging. This is the reason why Su Chen's promotion is like riding a rocket. In the core area inside, there will be level 7,090 single monsters, which are very suitable for Su Chen to level up. However, before Su Chen could enter the manor, he was discovered by patrols outside. Name, Demonized Patrolman. Type, Puppet. Grade, Ordinary. Level, 65. They were just ordinary soldiers. Su Chen casually summoned Brother Chicken and became one with Brother Chicken. He drew out his sword and instantly swung out several sword shadows. The patrolman, who was five levels higher than him, was instantly killed. This is the gap between levels. The unbridgeable gap between ordinary and epic. Su Chen put away her sword. Su Chen's attacks still come with various buffs and equipment effects of the Dark Mark. After merging with Brother G, his strength has actually far exceeded the combat power of epics of the same level. Even if it is a legendary monster of the same level, Su Chen can fight with Brother Chicken after uniting his thoughts without summoning the contract spirit and skeleton soldiers. In order not to alert others, Su Chen did not summon other contract spirits for the time being. Instead, he held the sword by himself and sneaked into the manor first. The patrols outside had average experience, and Su Chen was too lazy to brush them off. Brother Ji was originally a high agility and high attack player, but now Su Chen felt that he didn't need to summon Fo Feng as a mount, as his own speed was already fast enough. The infiltration all the way was very smooth. 
although he was discovered by several demonized patrols along the way. As long as he killed them all and no one saw him. Wouldn't it mean that he had perfected his infiltration? He directly found a mechanism and opened the secret passage. The monster in the secret passage is Su Chen's target. However, when entering the secret passage, Su Chen thought for a moment and directly released the golden bosses of level 50 and 60 such as double guns, rocks, and small shields. You just farm monsters outside and pay attention to teamwork. The small shield protects the back row and the rock goes to the front to hold it. When the rock's health is low, return the health and let the small shield cover it. Su Chen also gave the order. The monsters outside the manor are basically at level 60 or 70. These contract spirits of his are of limited use against high-level monsters in the secret passage. It is better to let them form a team outside to gain experience for themselves. Although there is no advantage in level. No matter what. They are all gold-level bosses at the lowest level. There is no problem in farming ordinary and elite monsters that are about the same level or slightly higher than them. After giving the order, Su Chen also secretly made his own secret. In the secret passage, the monsters spawned were all very high level. And Su Chen soon saw the first one. Name Demon Fighter. Type Demon. Level Bronze Boss. Level 80. This is called an experience package. Su Chen waved his hand. Su Chen's three top combat forces took action. The King of Flame Knights. The Great Lizard Mage. And the King of Iron Armored Golems. Three level 75 Dark Gold Bosses. Chapter 82 Throwing with 100% Hit. A level 80 monster is indeed the highest in terms of level. But in actual combat, he is the weakest on the field. Even Su Chen, who is in a state of unity with Chicken Brother, could abuse it at will. After discovering Su Chen and the contract spirit, the demon warrior rushed towards Su Chen. But just as it ran over, the King of Knights swung his halberd and stabbed it directly. Then the King of Knights moved slightly, and flames spurted out from the halberd, roasting the demon warrior on the cross. You can farm monsters yourself here. Su Chen gave instructions to the King of Knights and then left with the others, with the strength of a level 75 dark gold boss. There is no need to worry about it, and it is not easy to keep it if the King of Knights escapes. After walking for a while, Su Chen left the armor in one place and spawned monsters on his own. Iron armor has rough skin and thick flesh, so there is no need to worry about it. In this way, coupled with the fact that there is a monster spawning group composed of low-level golden boss on the ground, Su Chen can directly upgrade his efficiency several times. It would be nice if skeleton soldiers were not divided into experience. So that the continent could be filled with skeleton soldiers to gain experience. Su Chen couldn't help but thought helplessly. This great idol upgrade plan will have to wait until Art of War is released. At the same time, Su Chen formed a team with a great mage to spawn monsters. The archmage was relatively fragile. So Su Chen let him assist him. Usually he would hang up and upgrade, which would make him bored all day long. But now, he planned to show off his skills. Soon, the day passed. The entire underground tunnel will be cleaned by Su Chen. At the same time, the ordinary monsters on the ground were also maxed out by the team of golden bosses. Just when Su Chen felt tired and was about to log off, a small grenade slowly rolled to a place not far from him. Small shield. Su Chen immediately roared. Guard loyally. Boom. There was a sudden explosion. But fortunately, there was a loyal guardian with a small shield who could teleport over to block it. Su Chen didn't lose much blood. In the state of uniting with Chicken Brother, although the speed, agility, and attack are greatly enhanced, the defense and blood volume are not increased much. Damn it. It was blocked. From the shadows, a voice emerged. Name, Explosive Expert Explosion. Variety Demon. Level, 85. HP Unknown. Level, Dark Gold OSS. Skill Unknown. A small man with a round magnifying glass and a rocket backpack like a school bag on his back emerged from the shadows. He looks like a naughty primary school student. Looking at the guy in front of him, Su Chen felt a little annoyed. What's wrong with him just wanting to level up properly? Why force him to summon an army of millions? But if you are only 10 levels higher, you can give it a try. With a thought in Su Chen's mind, all the contract spirits scattered everywhere were taken back. At the same time, Summoning it from this place is equivalent to directly causing your contracted spirit to teleport forcibly. Area bombing. Blazing flying fist. Su Chen didn't hesitate and directly chose to use the armor's ultimate move. He was in no mood to spend time with this guy. It's just a big wave of moves. If you can kill them in seconds, 
if you can't kill them in seconds. Start the evolution of the skeleton soldiers in advance. Originally, the guy named Biao didn't plan to use all his strength. But he saw several missiles flying from the sky and bombing towards it. It quickly threw bombs wildly, intercepting the missiles flying towards it. And suddenly brilliant fireworks appeared in the air. But this wasn't the end yet. A huge fist flew directly from Iron Fist. The rocket pack behind Bomb Boy activated, and he instantly dodged the punch. However, this was a locked attack, and Iron Fist was still chasing it after dodging it. Fire Spirit Erosion. The Land of Wild Flames. At this time, the Lizard Archmage also activated his two ultimate moves. The Fire Spirit has a certain automatic tracking function. But unlike the Iron Fist that can bite the opponent like crazy, the Fire Spirit is a little bit dumber. But no matter what, it will still chase. At the same time, its ground also turned into a sea of flames. This limits the scope of activities of explosives experts. Shadow Knight Charges. Bloody Fighting Spirit. Not only that, the King of Knights also immediately completed the summoning of several Phantom Knights and charged towards the Blasting Expert with them. But Demolition Experts also have their own abilities. The Demolition Expert flicked his hand and several Rocket Pigs suddenly appeared. These rocket pigs chased directly towards the pursuing Iron Fist. And some also went towards the Fire Spirit. Another collision. This time, the explosion was louder, and the aftermath was greater. Fortunately, Su Chin was prepared in advance, and found a bunker to hide. The demolition expert was also a little embarrassed by the explosion. The site was filled with smoke. With such great power. It's time to get rid of those guys. The demolition expert is still frightened when he looks at the smoke in front of him. But from the smoke, Several phantom knights appeared. And the leader was the Night King in flame armor. Reduction gear. The demolition expert also launched his own ultimate move. Suddenly some gears appeared around. Looking quite impressive. Somewhat similar to the magical skill, time stop gear. But it just looks a bit similar. If it really had this ability, it wouldn't be a dark gold boss. The effect of these gears was to slow down the King of Knights. After slowing down the King of Knights, those gears became ineffective. Explosives experts immediately placed some mines around it and protected it from these devices. At the same time, a huge bomb barrel was thrown out, targeting the direction where Su Chin and the Grand Mage were. But after the reduction gear was consumed on the King of Knights, it was gone. Looking at the bomb barrel in front of him, the fuse on it has not yet burned out. It seems that the explosion expert was a little panicked and didn't have time to respond. Su Chin looked at his wrist and saw that he was wearing the Hell Tyrant gloves. You can designate any target and launch an arbitrary item. The target cannot avoid it, cooling time, 10 hours. Without thinking too much, he directly used the hand with the Hell Tyrant glove to grab the giant explosive barrel with one hand. Now that the fuse was about to burn out, Su Chen Jing concentrated and locked the blasting expert in his heart. Retreat. After throwing the bomb barrel, Su Chen also gave instructions to the summoned spirits. The King of Knights, who was closest to the blasting expert also immediately turned his horse around. Scared off? The demolition expert looked at the king of knights turning around and running away, feeling quite proud at first. But as the shadows on the ground grew larger and larger, it raised its head curiously. Boom! A huge fire flashed from the demolition expert's place. Su Chen had already made a move to lie down on the ground. Chapter 83 Eternal Island As expected, he remembers my kindness. As the explosion ended, Su Chen also stood up, slowly walked up to the demolition expert. It has to be said that although this guy's HP is not very high, he still has a lot of anti-explosion equipment because he is a demolition expert. But as its super ultimate move, the power of this move goes without saying. Coupled with Su Chen's 100% accuracy of the throw, it was almost impossible to survive it. Although the demolition expert at this time did not die, he no longer had the ability to resist. Su Chen directly picked up Brother G's sword and completed the last hit. Ding. Player Luo Chio has upgraded. Current level, LV65. After a whole day of hard work, experience comes quickly. This time is different from the previous time when he was paddling and watching the summoning spirit. After he and Brother Chicken merged into one. With his operation. As well as his own magical skills such as Dark Mark and the bonus of equipment. He and Brother Chicken merged into one. It can be said that the strength displayed is not inferior to the three major level 75 dark gold bosses. It is inefficient for others to farm alone. And experts gain experience points and experience debuffs. Not only does he enjoy super high efficiency, there is no debuff that reduces experience. 
and he even has an experience bonus for killing monsters beyond levels. And it's still the same as the clones. There are several clones playing together everywhere. At an experience level like 6070, it would take an average player to level up by half a level in a whole day. But it would be very reasonable for him to level up by 5 levels. Especially the boss of the demolition expert in front of him is equivalent to a single level kill. And the amount of experience is even more terrifying. The three dark gold bosses under his command were basically killed by skeleton soldiers. And all their experience was divided among tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of units. But Su Chin was caught in a dilemma between enslavement and devouring. The level 85 dark gold boss is also good nourishment for Chicken Brother. But he is now level 65. And the level loss of enslavement has been further reduced. Which is equivalent to gaining the experience of an extra clone for him to upgrade monsters. More importantly, Su Chin was very interested in the giant powder keg used by the blasting expert. Because he has a 100% hit throw. And the demolition expert's delayed ultimate move is simply perfect coordination. Slavery. Thinking of this, Su Chin also raised his head. Soul giving. The demolition expert, who had already received a last hit, stood up at this time. But there was no arrogance anymore. When facing Su Chen, there was only obedience and respect. Name, Explosive Expert Explosion. Variety Demon. Level, 73. Level, Dark Gold OSS. Skills, Small Mines. Earth Mines. Grenades. Giant Cannons. Explosive Rocket Pigs. Time Blasts. Artillery Followers. Reduction Gears. Giant Explosive Barrels. Just call him Xiao Xiao. Su Chen gave it a random name. At the same time, let Xiao Ao summon the artillery follower to take a look. It turned out to be just a silver level mini boss, Only level 70. And not very useful. Come on. That's it. Su Chen also felt tired and was ready to go offline and rest. Compared to the usual times when he felt tired due to boredom. This time he was really tired. This level 5 experience was the result of his hard work all day long. Lost seas. A waiting moon hung in the sky emitting faint moonlight. However, after entering the fog of war in the Lost Sea, the moonlight became increasingly dimmer. A small to medium-sized speedboat was speeding in this sea area. It's really scary. If it were real, I would never dare to come. Sledgehammer touched his arm and already had goosebumps. There are various legendary creatures in the Lost Sea, and it is said that there are also the ghosts of ancient ghosts who will transform into ghost ships, he said coldly. Laolung. Don't talk nonsense. Sledgehammer shuddered after hearing this. This makes cold color somewhat unexpected. The usually rough and heroic Sledgehammer would be afraid of these things. Boss, how can there be the so-called eternal island in that sea area that is so invisible? I feel like you have been deceived. How about we go back now? Sledgehammer said to phone you with a trembling tone. This is just a game. What are you afraid of? The cold tone looked at Sledgehammer, shook his head and said, Who? Who is scared? When Sledgehammer heard this, he immediately said unconvinced, If you're not afraid, don't be afraid. Why are your legs shaking? Cold Hugh glanced at Sledgehammer with disdain. Sure enough, Sledgehammer's legs were trembling at this time. My legs are cold. My legs are always cold in reality. Can't the game be so realistic that it creates conditioned reflexes? Sledgehammer continued to speak harshly. Arrive. Phone you, who had been looking at the navigation chart quietly raised his head slightly, and said, Arrive? But there is a fog all around. Thingyu was also a little confused. The navigation chart given by Su Chen was here, and the surroundings were indeed foggy. Flares. Thingyu gave an order. Suddenly several things like fireworks flew into the air. After the flares glowed, everyone was stunned by the scene in front of him. It turned out that they were surrounded by mountains, and they were in a sunken part in the middle of an island. However, the flare only lasted a few seconds. And Sue? The fog of war and darkness ruled here again. It turns out that the Eternal Island really does exist. Is this route worth more than 10 million? Feng Yu was also extremely shocked. He suddenly remembered what Luo Chiu said. Luo Chiu said that he had obtained this route at a great cost. What is a big price? This standard is different for different people. Regarding the huge mysterious power behind Luo Chiu, the price he mentioned was not small and probably even the Sunset Guild would not be able to bear it. This route only cost 10 million gold coins, and it was sold to the Excalibur Guild. So he only spent 5 million gold coins. It seems that what I did before has won Luo Chiu's favor and trust. What's the difference between these 5 million and getting them for free? 
Feng Yu couldn't help but think of what his elder brother had told him to do before. Sure enough, the elder brother is right. When dealing with such a person, even if you want to make friends with him, don't do it openly. Try to do it in the dark. And you have to do some work to hide your identity. Don't let outsiders easily find out that you did it. The forces behind Luo Chio can be easily investigated. It seems that in the future, I will have to speculate on Luo Chio's needs and things that are inconvenient to do. And at the same time, it will not be known to him on the surface. Feng Yu thought in his mind. Boss, is this really the Eternal Island? Can we go directly to the boss here? Sledgehammer was shocked when he thought of Feng Yu's words before. Ahead at full speed. Keep up with the flares so as not to run aground. And prepare to land. Feng Yu rolled his eyes at Sledgehammer. Instead of answering Sledgehammer's words, he directly issued the command order. Chapter 84 The First Passage to the Land Abandoned by the Gods Under the Sea Eternal Island After arriving on the island, something magical happened. Separated by beaches, the fog of war cannot spread to the Eternal Island. And the entire Eternal Island is clear. Then you looked at the ground. It seemed that this was the Eternal Sand that Luo Chiu mentioned. This thing was indeed magical. The Shield Warrior Group and the Warrior Group are responsible for collecting the Eternal Sand on the ground in situ, while the others go to find the entrance to the copy of the Undersea God's abandoned land. Then you gave the command directly without wasting time. Soon, something went wrong. Boss, this sand is so heavy. My strength is already the highest in the team. It's hard to pick it up, let alone carry it into battle. Sledgehammer immediately reported the situation. Bag of gold placer. Then you remembered this matter. This was what Luo Chio had said in the details. Eternal sand can only be packed in sand gold bags. Although this thing was special, it wasn't very precious. So Feng Yu casually took one out. He gently packed a small bag and packed it towards the eternal sand on the ground. After installing it, Feng Yu gently picked it up. Boss, when did you become so powerful? Sledgehammer was completely stunned. Feng Yu is indeed very strong. But no matter how strong Feng Yu is, he is still a legal profession and his strength is far inferior to that of a pure strength profession like him. But looking at Feng Yu's relaxed look, it didn't look like he was struggling at all. It's really amazing. Feng Yu picked up the small bag in his hand, tied a knot, tied it with a rope and wore it on his body. If it weren't for Luo Chio's strategy, who would have thought that this heavy eternal sand could be packed so easily? At the same time, Feng Yu also threw some prepared placer gold bags and asked everyone to use the placer gold bags to pack the eternal sand. Isn't this a sand gold bag? There's something strange about the sledgehammer. Then he did as Feng Yu said. Went to pack a bag of eternal sand. And picked it up casually. Ah this. Sledgehammer finally understood why Feng Yu could pick it up so easily. This is really a priceless guide. Now I suddenly feel that all three mythical equipment are cheap. Feng Yu shook his head. And had another understanding of Luo Chio's power. Soon. Those who went to explore the entrance to the dungeon also got results. Enter the copy. Who disturbed my rest? A woman wearing a backless dress like a party woke up from a stone table and laid with pearls. There is a certain charming magic in her eyes that makes people unable to take their eyes off her once they see her. Sledgehammer already looked like a pig at this time. And tears of emotion flowed from his mouth. Like Sledgehammer. The others were not much better. And they all showed he smiles. The only ones who were still awake on the field were Lung Hu and Feng Yu. I'm not surprised by Sledgehammer's performance. Even the two guys Mamanga and Big Head can do this. Which I didn't expect. Feng Yu shook his head and said with some hatred for iron. I can't blame them. If it weren't for the eternal sand, I wouldn't have been able to recover so quickly. Cool Color said. Feng Yu looked at the eternal sand on his chest. And that was correct. At the first moment, both he and Lang Hu were affected by the charm of this group. And even after they realized it, it was difficult to get out of this state. But a cool feeling immediately came from the eternal sand instantly giving them the ability to resist this charm. However, even if there is eternal sand, one must have a strong will to escape with the help of eternal sand, like some people with extremely poor willpower. Speaking of which, Feng Yu and Lang Hu both looked at Sledgehammer with extremely disgusted looks in their eyes. Wake them up. This H, L-level boss is really powerful. Feng Yu looked at the cold color. Rain of arrows. Lang Hua used a basic skill to attack everyone. After the pain, Everyone finally reacted. They immediately realized that they were playing a dungeon. And with the help of the power of eternal sand, they quickly woke up. Only, there were already several arrows inserted into the back of the sledgehammer. 
but he still looked like a pig and slowly walked towards the sleeping beauty in front of him. Sorry. We. After Mamanga and Dada came back to their senses, they felt very guilty when they remembered their performance just now. Let's wake up the sledgehammer first. Then you shook his head. At this time, everyone noticed the sledgehammer, and everyone suddenly felt that they were not particularly embarrassed just now. Big Head directly kicked Sledgehammer to the ground. And then Mamanga rode up. One big mouth after another. What happened? Where is the beauty? Sledgehammer finally woke up. Then you held his forehead slightly. But at this time, the sleeping beauty boss also started to attack. This was not the time for a Sledgehammer fight. Next, there is the normal process of beating the boss. With the strategy provided by Luo Chiu. Nothing went wrong. This sleeping beauty's physical and magical attacks are relatively average and her strongest skill is her mental attack. Not only is there an initial group charm, but there is also group screaming fear, and even direct mental shock damage. But these skills are reduced to the minimum, with the eternal sand protecting the mind. But it's a pity that it seems to only be effective on certain monsters. Otherwise this eternal sand would be an artifact. Before entering the dungeon, Bone you had people in the team attack him with mental magic, but it had no effect. Sleeping Beauty's ultimate move is also a mental skill. With the Eternal Sand, it is really easy. After the Sleeping Beauty boss fell, everyone couldn't believe it. Isn't this a bit easy? But the next moment, world announcement, congratulations to the players for you. Cold Color, Sledgehammer, Little Flying Squirrel, and Big Head Big Head, all members of the Sunset Guild attack group, for completing the first pass of the Undersea Gods Abandoned Land Dungeon. They are the strongest warriors in the New World. Let us support them. The heroes applauded. The world announcement sounded. Compared to the excitement the first time, the Sunset Guild was a little calmer this time. I don't know when it started. Since Fingyu brought the strategy, these super dungeons that have always been conquered by top guilds have become easier. Even the top guilds don't get the first pass like drinking water. Right? The cool colors feel a bit outrageous. Woohoo! You are so cruel. My beauty. Sledgehammer looked at the fallen sleeping beauty boss and said with tears, I just don't know why. But Sledgehammer's tears always flow from his mouth. Then you walk directly past the Sledgehammer on the ground without even looking at the Sledgehammer. With a cold tone, he felt that the boss was still too good-tempered. It depends on his temper. Why don't he give this guy a kick? Is there something wrong with the explosion rate of this copy? After checking the trophies, Fongyi frowned. Only one piece of epic equipment for the first pass? Chapter 85 It seems that Luo Chio has tricked her into putting on a show. Normally, those super first line guilds would not announce the first pass explosion rate equipment. Unless they are some guilds that are extremely confident and like to hold trophies. Such as the Dragon Court Guild. Generally speaking, the information of super first line guilds is kept confidential. Then use first pass experience is not much. After all, they are only a first line guild. And most of the first passes belong to those super first line guilds. But his eldest brother Wu Jian is the president of a super first line guild although the two brothers were in a competitive relationship. After Fingyu saw his eldest brother's strength, he was convinced and planned to assist him. After such a relationship, Wu Jian will also share some information belonging to super first-line guilds, just like the first shipment of a top copy. Generally speaking, those who are close to being legendary are all legendary. Last time, the Hell Tyrant was also directly mythical. The first pass is the most valuable, but looking at the equipment in front of him that was only of epic quality, Feng Yu really doubted his life. He didn't know the situation of other top tier guilds. But as far as he knew so far, it was the first time that an epic dungeon was released for the first time. Thinking of the three pieces of mythical equipment agreed upon with Luo Chiu, Feng Yu fell into deep thought. Is there a possibility that I have been deceived? Feng Yu still didn't believe what others said. After all, who could calculate the explosion rate of the dungeon clearly? But Luo Chiu couldn't make calculations based on common sense. He even knew exactly how the Eternal Sand was installed and what its functions were. Knowing the explosion rate, it doesn't seem surprising. I suspect that this is a book with a very low explosion rate. No wonder Luo Chio gave it two weeks for delivery. Thing Yu was speechless. Only one epic was revealed in the first pass. How long will it take to get the three myths? With the current explosion rate, it is good to be able to produce one piece of mythical equipment in two weeks. It is even doubtful whether the shipment volume of this copy will be three pieces of mythical equipment. New World has been running for so long. And the mechanism of dungeons has been basically studied clearly. The shipment volume of dungeons is concentrated in the period of initial development. 
and there is an upper limit for high-end equipment. In some dungeons, once a high-end equipment is released, it will never be shipped again. It will be all scrap metal. Dungeons originally had a random shipping mechanism, but this game's fixed shipment volume can be regarded as a miracle in the history of online games. Soon, Lung Hu also came over and saw the epic equipment. The cool colors are also lost in thought. Boss, I feel like we not only have to work for Luo Chiobai for two weeks, but we also have to spend our own money to supply him with mythical equipment. Lung Se also maintained the same style of meditation as Feng Yu. Wow, are we going to fight this boss for two weeks in a row? Only Sledgehammer was particularly excited. Seeing that Sledgehammer had shed tears of emotion, Feng Yu slightly raised his forehead. Did you really establish this guild by yourself? By some water troops to build momentum. Taking advantage of this momentum, we have to attract some experts. Then you waved his hand. In short, let's take advantage of this momentum and reap the benefits first. Dragon Court Guild, be patient. I'm still collecting information, and I'll be able to figure out how to clear the level in up to five days. Tianchi had a slight smile on his face. So best, I want to declare our dominance through this copy. Fu Hailong nodded. By the way, how are you handling that Luo Chiyo? Fu Hailong suddenly remembered this incident. He knew that it was this person who ruined the first communication of their Dragon Court Guild last time. All their preparations were in vain. Ten safe. Kanchi said softly. Sorry. Teacher. I encountered some resistance when searching recently. It should be the resistance from the forces behind Luo Chiyo. Through my investigation. There should be a mysterious force behind him. And he is not some random person. Sharon walked out from behind. Shuren's words were naturally arranged by Tianji to make Fu Hailong completely stop trying to recruit Luo Chio. President, you have heard it, right? That Luo Chio's identity is not clean. And it seems that it will be difficult for us to use him to our advantage. But don't worry too much. The forces behind him probably got the strategy by chance. And they don't dare to show up and launch a sunset guild. Kianchi chuckled softly and looked at Fu Hailong. Sure enough, after hearing that Luo Chio was just an agent launched by the forces behind him. Fu Hailong's interest suddenly dropped. Just when Fu Hailong wanted to say something. World announcement. Congratulations to the players Fingyu. Cold color. Sledgehammer. Little flying squirrel. And big head big head. All members of the Sunset Guild attack group. For completing the first pass of the Undersea Gods Abandoned Land Dungeon. They are the strongest warriors in the new world. Let us support them. The heroes applauded. A world announcement sounded. The air was suddenly quiet. Is this what you're talking about? A coincidence? There was a trace of cruelty in Fu Hailong's eyes. How come? Kinji also couldn't believe it. Sunset Guild doesn't have this ability. This Luo Chio doesn't happen to be really capable. No matter what conditions are imposed on me. I will smash him. Fu Hailong was a little unhappy. Good. Kinji barely squeezed out a word. After saying these words, Fu Hailong turned around and left. Wait for Fu Hailong to walk out. What should I do? Teacher? Shuren stepped forward and asked. This dragon court is a gift I prepared for Master Qin. So Luo Chio has no intention of getting involved. Kanchi's face changed with clouds and clouds. That? Shuren asked with some uncertainty. I didn't want to deal with him so soon. But it seems I have to quickly calculate his real life position. Tianji gritted his teeth. But even if it speeds up, it won't be temporary. We have to put on a show first to make that guy Fu Hailong give up recruiting Luo Chio completely. Teacher, what do you need me to do? Shuren lowered his head and asked. Didn't Fu Hailong want to smash Luo Chio out even if he wanted to? Just pretend to go to Luo Chio with good intentions. And then I will secretly arrange for someone to attack you. It's still not trustworthy for you alone. Bring a few people from the Longting group and let them be witnesses. Kanchi thought of this and smiled proudly. Which Luo Chio are you looking for? Shuren asked with some confusion. There are currently two Luo Chio. One real Luo Chio and one fake Luo Chio. Just look for the fake Luo Chio. Anyway, the guy Fu Hailong still doesn't know it yet. Tianji suppressed his smile. Currently, the entire elite of the Longting Guild is in his hands, which was also the condition that Fu Hailong asked him to come out. I understand. Teacher, I'm going to do some work first. Tianji nodded slightly. Shuren hugged his sword and left. In the entire meeting hall, after Shuren retired, Tianji was the only one left. He walked to the window and looked in a certain direction with deep eyes, not knowing what he was thinking. Chapter 86 New Inherited Skills Vampire Guards Forum This time, Sunset Guild's first pass was even more effective than last time. 
mainly. Last time, Feng Yu focused entirely on the dungeon and did not pay attention to operations. At this time, he also had the leisure to engage in some navy operations. Not only the trolls, but also some small and influential media can also be paid to work. Another first pass in this game. The Sunset Guild may be promoted to a super first class guild. This article is obviously the kind of thing that gets paid to do things. The top post below is in the front row. And there are also many people who get paid to brag. The purpose is of course to expand the influence of the Sunset Guild and recruit some good players. Even masters. To join. But most of them are rational and neutral people. Suspected to be an insider in the game. Sunset Guild becomes the main partner? As soon as this post came out, it immediately aroused heated discussion. Indeed, judging from the last copy, you can see the shadow of game insiders. Didn't Sation reveal part of the strategy last time? There must be someone behind. It's a pity that I have a confidentiality agreement. Otherwise, I would have told the truth. No matter what, even if the Sunset Guild has boarded a big ship, you will only be sad. The Sunset Guild is recruiting new members and welcomes masters from all walks of life. No matter how the outside world slanders us, we still have a way to complete the first pass. Action is worse than a heartbeat. Some members of Sunset have really disgusting expressions. Aren't they just boarding the official ship? However, the game is so mysterious officially. Could it be that someone took advantage of some bug to help the Sunset Guild? Indeed, it is as if the official website of this game does not exist. And this forum does not even have an administrator. Sunset Guild is also now being pushed to the forefront. Some people despise the Sunset Guild. But some people think that no matter what means the Sunset Guild uses, its ability to complete the first pass is its strength. Today's Sunset Guild is indeed very famous in the game and has attracted many experts. After all, the Sunset Guild has a way. No matter what it is, if it works, he is the boss. The other side, the Yu is transmitting a document. This is the strategy prepared by Luo Chio. You can start grinding it in two days. We still owe others the mythical equipment for grinding it. Thing you said to Wu Jian at the end of the video. Although after the last experience, the relationship between him and Wu Jian has already aroused certain speculation. However, this should be done to conceal the truth from others. After all, others are only making guesses. Rather than directly confirming, Luo Chiu was contacted by Feng Yu first. So naturally he was from Sunset Guild. So Wu Jian didn't care too much about this. The clearance time of the two guilds was two or three days apart. From the outside, it was possible that the mysterious person contacted them separately. By the way, many people are now speculating that he is an official. What do you think? Feng Yu thought about what was discussed on the forum and asked Wu Jian curiously. He felt that Wu Jian knew a lot more than him. Not too possible. Wu Jian just shook his head. As for the official personnel of this game, no one knows their details. In particular, Wu Jian knows that even a broken artifact can realize some of the game's abilities into reality. The official staff of this game are simply monsters. Although Luo Chiu looks equally mysterious, he still maintains the basic behavior of the player. Make money by leveling up, defeating monsters, and selling strategies. The official of this game may not be immortal at all. How could he do these things? Well, I don't think it's possible either. But you have to hurry up and do it. With that said, then you told Wu Jian again about the ultra-low explosion rate. Not only did he get only epics in the first pass, but he played a few more later. But he didn't even see a single secret gold weapon. You know, this is the number of times you have passed the previous level of the dungeon. And it is the easiest to explode equipment. So hurry up and let Wu Jian play together, and see if you can get to the point where you can get mythical equipment without spending money out of your own pocket. I see. Wu Jian just responded lightly. He still had to comply with the necessary intervals. Recently, he and the Sunset Guild had become a little too close. For Wu Jian, the Excalibur Guild, which has a large family and a huge business, can still afford the loss. It will be more uncomfortable for the Sunset Guild. Fallen Duke Manor. Two days passed. Su Chen's life here is constantly improving every day. Different from the previous idol upgrades, Su Chen is now working really hard. Most of the time, he and Brother G are united in mind and body control to fight. I have to say that the quality of the monsters in the Fallen Duke's Manor is quite high and I have defeated three Dark Gold bosses in the past two days. But among these three Dark Gold bosses, Su Chen still chose to be devoured by Brother G. The current quantity of combat power is already sufficient. 
Su Chen feels that it is better to improve the quality first than to increase the quantity now. It is important to upgrade Chicken Brother from an epic creature to a legendary creature. This is closely related to his reality. With a light of upgrade, Su Chen finally reached level 70. Su Chen finally stopped to rest and checked his dashboard. Player, Luo Chio. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level 70. HP, 19000. MP, 17000. Strength, 905. Intelligence, 1315. Stamina, 750. Spirit, 1350. Physical Defense, 13,500. Magic Defense, 11,000. Legion Skill, Fire Enchantment. Inherited Skills, Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers. Soul Gift, Dark Mark. Dark Evolution. Unity of Mind. Vampire Bodyguard. Vampire Bodyguard. Summon a Vampire Royal to become a Bodyguard. It can exist in the form of a shadow or an ordinary person. The level is the same as the summoner. It is like a shadow. All your enhancements will increase it. Just one. Seeing this skill introduction, Su Chen fell into deep thought. These level 70 inheritance skills seem to be a little weak. Needless to say, there are millions of skeleton soldiers. Soul Grant can infinitely increase your slave army. Although the Dark Mark cannot affect skeleton soldiers, the effect is very terrifying. Even if the effect is fully stacked, it can produce such a terrifying existence as Immortal True Fire. The Unity of Thoughts directly adds one life. In comparison, this so-called vampire bodyguard seemed particularly weak. But it's better than nothing. Su Chen hasn't forgotten that once he was promoted to level 10. He really didn't get the inherited skills. Su Chen could only comfort himself in this way. Vampire bodyguard. Su Chen activated the skill in his mind. He wanted to see how weak this weak skill could be. Chapter 87 The vampire royal family is so beautiful that they cannot enter the contract space. In front of Su Chen, black energy appeared all over the sky different from the black energy formed by the skeleton soldiers. This black energy was extremely rich. Then, the black energy condensed into a black column, spinning continuously. This kind of momentum is quite good. Could it be that he is a ruthless character with a ferocious face? Su Chin couldn't help but think of the images of vampires in some anime. Moreover, this vampire seems to have been chosen from the royal family. Could this be a vampire prince with sharp fangs? A cold murderous look in his eyes and exuding huge coercion? I thought this was a weak skill. But now Su Chen was looking forward to it. The wind generated by the swirling black energy made it difficult for Su Chen to resist. But in order to maintain his majesty, Su Chen remained motionless. Come! Let me see your violent face! Su Chen began to feel excited. Boom! The black pillar collapsed suddenly. And a figure appeared from the black pillar. The exquisite body is only about 1.5 meters tall. He is holding an exquisite, and gorgeous little black umbrella. His pink and white hair is bound by a bow tie. His eyes are confused and a little weak. His fangs are short and thin, and look nothing like tiger teeth. The difference. Su Chen. Huh? Su Chen took another look at the skill description. Summoning a royal vampire. That's right. You call this the vampire royal family? Lord. Lord. After feeling Su Chen's eyes, the vampire pinched the corner of her skirt nervously and said, I... My name is Yumei. I came in response to your call. Su Chen raised his forehead slightly. Can this guy in front of me really be beaten? Isn't he a loser who only knows how to cook but not fight? With suspicion, Su Chen clicked on her information. Name Yumei. Variety Vampire. Level, 70, changes with the summoner's level. Level, Legendary Boss. The next level will automatically evolve to Mythical Level at level 100. Skills, Scarlet Claws. Blood Sucking. Rapid self-healing. Dark affinity. Charm. Strong invisibility. Magic mist protection. Blood perception. Shadow possession. Blood domain. Immortal body. Weapon. Holy grail. Legendary level. Can automatically grow to mythical level at level 100. Bring me your holy grail. Kong Kong. This was the first time Su Chen saw weapons introduced on the panel. For example, Chicken Brother also comes with his own weapons but his weapons are so powerful that there is no introduction at all. Yes, my lord. Seeing Su Chen's greedy eyes, Yumei timidly took out the Holy Grail, feeling so wrong that she almost cried, especially when he saw several large rubies inlaid on the smooth Holy Grail. Su Chen's expression became even more unrestrained, but Su Chen suddenly felt that he looked a little ugly, especially when Brother Chicken and the King of Knights and other contract spirits were looking at him. 
although they did not dare to speak their minds. Their slightly contemptuous eyes still betrayed their inner thoughts. He acted like he was a greedy person. Even greedy for the weapons of his subordinates. I'm just curious. Am I like that kind of person? Su Chen saw the eyes of those contract spirits. And there was a sense of awe-inspiring righteousness in his tone. Okay. Take it back. In order to show his innocence. Su Chen asked Yu Mei to take the Holy Grail back. At the same time. Su Chen inadvertently touched his mythical gloves. A bunch of guys who have never seen the world. But overall, Su Chen is still very fond of this inherited skill. Don't tell me. He looks small. But he is quite powerful. Even if he and Brother G merge together, they may not be able to defeat her. In particular, not only can she evolve, but the evolution conditions do not consume resources like Brother Chicken. Instead, as the level increases, it will be automatically upgraded. This reminded Su Chen of the settings of some mythical beasts, where you don't have to work hard at anything. Just eat and sleep. Then when he becomes an adult, he will have the fighting power of a mythical beast. This kind of improvement was more convenient. And Su had nothing to be picky about. Okay. Su Chen waved his hand and told everyone who should get out to get out. He had been extremely tired these past two days. And now it was evening. So it was time to go offline and rest. In reality, Su Chen came out of the game cabin. After washing, he felt a little hungry and ordered a takeaway. Su Chen, who was scrolling through his cell phone on the sofa, felt a little thirsty. I want to drink water, but I don't want to move. Su Chen was really tired, especially on the soft sofa. It was so comfortable that he didn't want to move at all. Lord, water. A timid voice came from Su Chen's ear. Hold the grass. This silence made Su Chen frightened. Taking a closer look, it turned out to be Yume. And the strange thing is that Yome's little wings are flapping. But she can't feel the sound. I didn't summon you. How did you come out? Su Chen looked at Yume and asked in confusion. My lord, Yume can cling to your shadow. So that you can protect my lord at all times. Yume mustered up the courage to speak out about her responsibilities. Su Chen then remembered that one of Yume's skills was called shadow possession. Fortunately, I didn't take a shower just now. Can't you go back? Su Chen said to Yume. You may. I can't enter your space. I can only stay by your side. Yome's little wings flapped. After Su Chen obtained the inheritance skill, he automatically obtained a private space that both skeleton soldiers and contracted spirits could enter. With a thought in mind, Su Chen tried to let Yume enter the space. But the result was that she couldn't enter as Yume said. What would you do if someone discovered you like this? Su Chen looked at Yume speechlessly. Lord, please rest assured that Yume will not be discovered by others in your shadow. As soon as she talked about her skills, Yume spoke fluently again. Stop flying now and sit down. Su Chen asked Yume to stop. The fussing was affecting his thinking. After Yume sat down, Su Chen also curiously pinched the little devil's wings on Yume's back. Lord, Yume pinched the corner of her skirt with her little hands. But she didn't dare to resist. Su Chen also let her go. Next, Su Chen thought of a very practical problem. Yume possessed his shadow like this. What about when he is sleeping or taking a shower? Aren't you at a disadvantage? Listen, you usually stay at home like this. When I want to go out, you will possess me again. Su Chen also issued a warning to her. You may didn't understand either and could only nod. After a while, the takeaway arrived. Su Chen originally ordered his own portion. But when he was eating, you may looked at him eagerly. Guru. At the same time, Yumi's stomach grumbled inappropriately. Su Chen suddenly remembered that Yume was a vampire. So wouldn't she want to suck blood? But we can't just let her go out to find food on her own. Those people from the supervisory committee will definitely catch her. There is a vegetable market downstairs. Why don't you go buy some chicken blood? Pig blood? Duck blood or something for her tomorrow? Chapter 88 Feeding the Little Vampire and Working as a Sunset Person What flavor of blood do you like to drink? Su Chen also looked at Yume. We couldn't let this little guy starve. Lord, you may only needs to eat through the Holy Grail to maintain daily energy. You may carefully held the Holy Grail with her two little hands. Eating through the Holy Grail? Su Chen glanced at the takeaway he ordered. He ordered hand-beaten beef balls. Then pour all the beef balls into the chalice. Then use chopsticks to pick up a beef ball. Is that so? Su Chen thought about it. And when he saw Yume holding the Holy Grail in both hands, he put the beef balls to Yume's mouth and fed her. I have to say that this store is quite down to earth and the beef balls are relatively large. Even an adult man like Su Chen could barely eat one at a time. 
Naturally, your beautiful little cherry mouth cannot eat it in one bite. Opening his white teeth and red lips, he took a small bite, only about one-fifth of the beef balls. Su Chin was not in a hurry, and just watched Yue eating in small bites. Yue lowered her head while chewing, her face showing a delicate blush, feeling very embarrassed. But the Lord personally feeds the food. This is a supreme honor. How can I say that it is not the least bit wrong? Su Chin was also very patient. After finishing one beef ball, he immediately fed the next one. The main thing is, haven't you ever seen a vampire eating? Looking at it this way. This little vampire is quite cute. Especially when eating. Yomei's little face pouts and looks fleshy. Su Chin couldn't help but poke it. This made Xiao Yumei even more shy. And the little wings that had been folded behind her back popped out and started to flap. But he had to keep his head down. Holding the holy grail in both hands. Kneeling on the sofa and being fed by Su Chin. Su Chin stopped teasing Yumei. Picked up the phone and ordered two more takeaways. He hasn't even eaten yet. But I have to say that Yumei is quite easy to take care of. And she was full after eating a portion of beef balls. As for why there are two servings. Is it because of brother chicken? Chicken. Come out. Su Chin also released brother G. Anyway. Now that Yumei is at home. Brother G really misses the food he ate last time in the real world. And Su Chin is appropriately satisfied. At that time. It might take some effort to defeat those three people at level 60. But now that you are at level 70. Your abilities have been further improved. Su Chen also estimated his current combat effectiveness. In addition, there is the existence of the legendary boss Yume. Not to mention it. As for the skeleton soldiers, Su Chen didn't know how many he could summon. Su Chen estimated that there should be thousands. But Su Chen didn't know the exact amount. Because I don't dare to let go and test it at all. If skeleton soldiers appeared in a modern city, they would definitely be treated as demons. Unless it is a last resort. When the skeleton soldiers are released, they must be sure to keep the opponent. Even if his current strength is exposed, it will only cause a little trouble at most. Even though he didn't know the rules of the superpower circle in reality, he also knew that demonic ways would cause public outrage. After he and Brother G merged, they showed their strength in swordsmanship. There is definitely no problem with this. As long as he didn't do anything harmful, he didn't think anyone would go out of his way to deal with him. But this also strengthened Su Chen's decision to occupy the resource area in advance. If he occupied one side first, he would not suffer too much either now or in the future. Goo goo. Soon, Brother Chicken also had a delicious meal. Okay, I'm going to take a rest. You all can step aside. Su Chen also waved his hand. Although I am not afraid of being discovered now, I still want to reduce unnecessary trouble. You may came into Su Chen's shadow. And Brother G also returned to the contract spirit space. Let's continue leveling tomorrow. For Su Chen, his level is still too low now, and he needs to continue to level up. A night of silence. A week passed. The abandoned place under the sea. Sunset Guild. The cold toned man drew his bow mechanically. Aimed. And shot. Then you didn't have much passion. And he repeated mechanical instructions. The same goes for other members of the Sunset Guild. Everyone went about their work with dull faces. The whole process was like an assembly line in a factory. Mind-numbing. They have been playing this copy for seven days. Everyday life consists of going online. Working on notebooks. Resting for 10-20 minutes. Continuing to work on notebooks. And then resting and working on notebooks again. At the beginning, everyone was quite enthusiastic about making money. But after repeating it for a week, and facing the same boss every time, the moves are pretty much the same. It's really a torture. No way. They haven't even been able to get a piece of mythical equipment in this week. The most you can do is to get a piece of legendary equipment. This has to make people wonder. Is this really a top level copy? With the explosion rate, it should have a week before the first pass? And so far, only two guilds are farming this dungeon. The Sunset Guild and the Excalibur Guild. Thing Yu is also aware of the situation on his eldest brother's side. The situation was similar to theirs. And the only legendary equipment they had exploded was because the Excalibur Guild was stronger than them. There are two more pieces of epic equipment. But that doesn't matter at all. What they owe is three pieces of mythical equipment. What is the concept of mythical equipment of this level? Further up are the artifacts and holy artifacts. And currently Wu Jian has obtained a damaged artifact. And after Wu Jian knew that even broken artifacts had the ability to travel through reality, he vigorously searched for the artifacts. But the news about the artifacts seemed to not exist in a new world. 
This is because the people who obtained the artifact, after discovering this feature, did not dare to reveal that they had the artifact and hid it well. As for what a sacred weapon is, there is no way of knowing. If there are only a few sporadic and unreliable rumors about the artifact, then the sacred artifact is like a blank, and even the existence of the sacred artifact cannot be verified. The mythical level is already considered a transcendent level resource in the current, new world. However, they owe Luo Chio three pieces of mythical equipment. If they can't get it within two weeks, even if it is shared between the two guilds, this will be quite painful for them. It would be great if I could directly find what Luo Chio wants. The Night Goddess Dream Ring. Thing Yu shook his head. How can it be so easy to brush? At this time, the sledgehammer in front was shouting. But no one paid attention to the sledgehammer. If there is one person who does not object to these seven days of mechanically brushing copies, it is Sledgehammer. Every time he sees the Sleeping Beauty boss, Sledgehammer gets extremely excited. Chapter 89, Night Goddess Dream Ring. Is this a useless ring? Everyone is accustomed to this sledgehammer, but they have to admire it. This sledgehammer is really good at physical strength. If it weren't for his good experience in farming and the explosive equipment, Foam you would have given up. I often wonder why this game can't block chat. The cold-toned eyes with thick dark circles looked in the direction of the sledgehammer. If it is a cool color, it will also impress everyone. I was already very tired and the sledgehammer word every time I brushed the book, which made me as annoying as a mosquito. No matter how beautiful the Sleeping Beauty boss is, if you fight it for a week, you will get tired of it. Right? I really don't know why Sledgehammer is so obsessed with it. Thing you once suspected that Sledgehammer was seduced by the whole body. Even during the 1020 minute rest period, Sledgehammer did not rest with the team. He just stayed in the dungeon next to the Sleeping Beauty boss and did not come out. This is outrageous. Let's take a longer break this time. Let's rest for 30 minutes before writing. Even Thing Yu felt very tired. After hearing this, everyone became a little more energetic. One by one the capital was withdrawn. Ha uh huh. We revealed the night goddess dream ring. Sledgehammer took out a ring from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, if you want to be in the copy, just be in the copy. Thing Yu responded to Sledgehammer mechanically. At the same time, no one else cared about Sledgehammer and continued to withdraw their capital. Eternal Island. Outside the entrance to the instance, everyone dragged their tired bodies and laid down on the ground. Two minutes passed. Thing Yu suddenly felt something was wrong. Did Sledgehammer just say something like exploding? Thing Yu suddenly came to his senses. He habitually withdraws his capital and always leaves it to the energetic Sledgehammer to get the spoils. After being disappointed many times, Feng Yu has become accustomed to not shipping. So does the rest. What kind of girl is that? But it's like a sledgehammer. The big head next to him answered with some accent. She must be the night goddess. Cold Hugh said after reminiscing. At this time, Feng Yu was shocked. Night goddess dream ring. Isn't this what Luo Chiu wants? As long as this designated item is spawned, it will be equivalent to three pieces of mythical equipment. Finally, they no longer have to be tortured by this copy. And with the equipment they have spawned in the past week, there is still money to be made. Fame is earned for nothing. Sledgehammer. Great sledgehammer. Come out quickly. Thing Yu said loudly to the team channel. The veins on Fong Yu's forehead appeared, which shocked Ling Hu and others next to him. They had never seen the president be so gloomy. Thing Yu has always been calm and calm about everything. He usually has a slightly squinted smile and looks approachable. Soon, the sledgehammer came out of the copy. After sledgehammer came out, Thing Yu even used the acceleration rush skill to instantly appear in front of sledgehammer. Where's that ring? Feng Yu grabbed Sledgehammer's shoulders with both hands and said with a glare, Boss, your expression is so scary. The baby is scared. At this critical moment, the Sledgehammer returned the favor. After hearing Sledgehammer's words, Feng Yu grabbed Sledgehammer's hand, and flames appeared in one hand and thunder appeared in the other. There is no doubt that if Sledgehammer dares to be naughty again, he will inevitably get a beating. Just kidding. Boss, don't be so serious. Sledgehammer was really frightened by Feng Yu's expression. He quickly took out the Night Goddess Dream Ring. This is not to blame for Feng Yu losing his composure. In fact, these seven days have been nothing short of torture. Not to mention Feng Yu. Everyone else who was also tortured also had the same expression. Cool colors are even trending now. Picking up the ring, Feng Yu's hands were even trembling. After being tortured for a week, I finally don't have to be tortured anymore. Dream Ring of the Night Goddess. Type, Ring. Level requirement, level 160. 
Inner Demon Test. Awaken the target's inner demon and force it into the dream space for a duel. The remaining number of uses is zero. Boss. Let's see if it's a piece of junk. I thought about it for two minutes. But I didn't understand the purpose of this thing. Sledgehammer saw Feng Yu checking. Spread his hands and said. After reading it. Feng Yu also fell into silence. There is no doubt that this ring is actually very powerful if the number of skill uses is not only zero. This is used to attack the super boss. You don't expect the inner demon to be defeated directly. But it can directly consume a wave of the opponent's health. This has exceeded the strength that mythical equipment should have. But just because the number of uses is zero. There is no prompt on how to increase the number. And nothing is displayed. This ring is a completely useless ring. I wonder if Luo Chio knows the current condition of this ring. If he does, he may know how to repair it. Thing you was thinking in his mind. If this ring can really be repaired multiple times, it will definitely be the strongest among mythical equipment. Especially for a guild like them. Never mind. After thinking about it carefully, Thing you still didn't let the beast in his heart dominate. If you want to keep this ring, you have to pay for three pieces of mythical equipment. And you also have to risk offending Luo Chio to trick him into not revealing it. Didn't he do so many things just to make good friends with Luo Chio? Besides, after so much work, it would be a big loss if the ring couldn't be repaired. Everyone has been working hard recently. So I have a day off today. But I hope that you will not lose too much in terms of experience during the rest. At the same time, everyone present received 10,000 contribution points. Feng Yu also waved his hand and said proudly. Suddenly, everyone who was exhausted before started cheering. It's finally time to rest. Do you want to fight again? Just leave me alone in the copy. Sledgehammer said weakly at this time. Hack you to the stars. The cool tone man next to him finally couldn't bear it anymore and kicked him directly. Looking at the noisy crowd, Feng Yu also smiled softly and then went back to the city and ignored them. Fallen Duke Manor. Su Chen looked tired. Compared with level 60 to level 70. The experience gained from level 70 to level 80 is super doubled. After level 80. The experience at each level increases exponentially. And the pace of the game begins to slow down after level 80. Su Chen had a bunch of leveling core. And he was able to reach level 79. Which was still a little away from level 80. But what makes Su Chen happy. Is that Yume's fighting ability is really strong. Looking at Yume with a weak face. She is extremely ferocious when facing monsters. She has simply turned on the state of a violent woman. Especially that big scarlet mouth. With its fangs that have grown several times longer. It doesn't look like the shy nibbler it was that day when it was eating beef balls. But after the monster fight is over, the ferocious expression disappears immediately and becomes soft and weak again. Of course, the most important thing is, Yume, like ordinary contract spirits, does not differentiate between experiences. Chapter 9100 Big Ships The Plan of Naval Battle Just when Su Chen was about to continue fighting monsters, the communicator rang. At first glance, it turned out to be Feng Yu. Oh! Did that ring really come out? It seems that President Feng is going well. Su Chen smiled. Don't mention it. But I don't know if there is something wrong with the ring. Please check it for acceptance. If you have any questions, please contact me. Feng Yu looked very tired and his words always had some ending sounds. After saying that, he also hung up the call. Is there a problem? Su Chen was somewhat prepared. Feng Yu sent the ring directly via email. Is the number of remaining uses zero? After reading the properties of Night Goddess's dream ring, Su Chen felt a little calm. However, it is normal for this ring to be a useless ring before awakening to divinity. Otherwise, it would not have been obtained through Taobao. Just going to see is a bit troublesome. Su Chen did know where the ring would awaken. In the Lost Sea, in addition to the Eternal Island, there is also an Island of Freedom. There was a huge pirate group entrenched on Liberty Island. As long as the Night Goddess Dream Ring is placed on the Night Goddess statue on Liberty Island and a tribute is placed, the ring can be given a certain degree of divinity. It cannot transform into an artifact. But it will gain some divine power at the mythical level. The pirates on the island are actually not bad. But the Lost Seas is too dangerous and Liberty Island is too far away and not as close as the Eternal Island. This is also what Su Chen is worried about. The Lost Sea is still an unknown sea. Even if Su Chen has a rough memory of the route, he can avoid those ancient sea monsters. But there is something special about the Lost Sea. It's a ghost ship. The ghosts on the ghost ship are all ghosts wandering in the Lost Sea. They were absorbed by the ghost ship and became sailors. These ghost ships are generally around level 100. 
if you encounter a ghost ship above the epic level, the level will be higher. They are an unavoidable presence in the Lost Sea because they drift randomly. A safe route can only avoid the lairs of those giant sea monsters. But there is no way to avoid ghost ships. The longer the route, the greater the probability of encountering a ghost ship. With the distance from Liberty Island, it is almost certain that they will encounter a ghost ship. It is very difficult to avoid the ghost ship's pursuit on the sea. If it were on land, Su Chin wouldn't be afraid of this. Two million skeleton soldiers who have reached level 80 can still kill level 100 monsters without any problem. But the problem is that it is the sea area. Fighting on the sea is not what the skeleton soldiers are good at. Considering that the skeleton soldiers don't seem to be able to swim, this is equivalent to letting them do it for nothing. After using skeleton soldiers for so long, Suchin also noticed. Skeleton soldiers can be given away, but they cannot be given away in vain. They must be given away in a planned and reasonable manner. This way you won't lose faith points. But this is the first piece of equipment that can have divinity. Su Chen didn't want to give up. I thought about it for a while. Su Chen made a call. After a while, a woman with long hair shawl appeared on the other end of the video call. You actually took the initiative to find me. It seems that it is a matter of strategy. At the other end of the video is Tea Dream. It is indeed a guide. I plan to give it to you in a week. And I can promise you that I will not give it to other guilds after I sell it to you. Su Chen said straight to the point. Oh! The price is definitely not cheap. The tea dream is sobering. Provide me with a hundred large ships. With adequate basic defense. And no other facilities. No accessories. No matter how much junk. Su Chen directly offered the price. It is quite time consuming to buy a hundred large ships in the market. Guanlan Guild is a first class guild. And their base is close to the sea. The first class guild near the sea has complete facilities such as shipyards. So if you ask them to get a hundred large ships. Their cost will not be high. And the efficiency is guaranteed. It means it can move. Has a little bit of defense. And the other accessories are all rubbish. Right? After hearing this, Cha Meng was a little confused. The really expensive parts of a big ship are the sails. Enchanted bow. Detectors. Thrusters. And the level of gunfire equipped on the ship. A full-body dark gold level warship costs tens of millions of gold coins. And a full-body epic level warship is even more expensive. But it's just a basic boat structure. With some reinforced wood and a random junk sail. And it can move. The cost is quite low. The key is that the quantity is relatively large. And it still takes a while to buy it on the market. However, the Guanlan Guild usually stores some discarded ship frames. But there is no time to dismantle the materials and throw them into the warehouse as scrap. It's just a requirement to be able to carry some defense. These scrap ship frames can be used with a little repair. For them, it's not that difficult. That's right. It can move. And it won't fall apart with a casual attack. Su Chen's request was so simple and unpretentious. If that's the case, I can make the decision and give it to you tomorrow. Cha dreamed about it and said, Okay, I will give you the guide next week. And I won't sell it to anyone else at the same time. Su Chen nodded and said, All right. Cha Ming originally wanted to ask if the guide was reliable. But then she thought about it. Wasn't the Sunset Guild working with Luo Chio? Without asking any further questions. She went to prepare for the 100 ships after hanging up the call. Those ship frames were originally scraps piled in the warehouse. And she could mobilize them with her authority. Then she would just say H, Lo to Luo Luo and say, That's it. In this way, it can be regarded as having the capital to fight the ghost ship. Su Chen thought in his mind. His plan is also simple, which is to turn the land skeleton soldiers into crew skeleton soldiers. There are 100 large ships. Part of the ship is occupied by purely long-range troops. And part of the ship is occupied by purely melee troops. The ships of the long-range arms are used for guerrilla warfare and compete with the ghost ships for consumption. The ship at the melee station would just approach it and engage in a simple and unpretentious boarding battle with the cover of long-range warships. As long as a ship can get close to the ghost ship, Su Chen will have a constant supply of skeletons to engage in boarding battles with the opponent. After all, although the ghost ship itself has a certain degree of consciousness, its main combat effectiveness is still controlled by the ghost sailors on the ship. As long as we kill those wandering sailors, it will be easy to destroy the ghost ship. This is why Su Chen does not need to carry any combat equipment on the ship. His skeleton soldiers are the combat effectiveness on his ship. Avoiding those ancient sea monsters and dealing with some small sea monsters and ghost ships should be enough. Su Chen thought this in his heart. 
But now is not the time to summon the skeleton soldier. He is only level 79 now, which is still far from level 80. Anyway, the ship won't be delivered until tomorrow. Let's quickly upgrade to level 80 today. After Suchin made a plan, it is also heading towards the depths of the Fallen Duke's Manor. While upgrading, it would be good to catch a remote boss. Chapter 91 The Demonized Duke's Butler You may's violent strength. Of course, it depends on the specific situation. Deep in the tunnel is a basement. Boom! When Su Chen just stepped in, a mechanism was activated. Su Chen had always been in a state of unity with Brother G. So he quickly moved out of the way. A figure slowly descended. Name, Demonized Duke Butler. Variety Demon. Level, 95. HP, Unknown. Level, Epic Boss. Skill, Unknown. I actually encountered an Epic Boss. Su Chen's eyes lit up. He is now level 79, which is not much different from the level 95 Duke's butler. But now the Night King, Grand Magister, etc. no longer have that much effect. They are only level 75 Dark Gold bosses. And now they can only provide cover. They used to be the strongest fighting force under Su Chen. But now they are far away from Brother G. Just because Brother G and Su Chen chose to accept the flower of contract. You can give it a try. Su Chen also asked Yumei to appear from the shadows. Although the level gap at level 16 is still quite large. His own special skills combined with Brother Chicken, who is also at the epic level, can greatly increase his strength after combining his thoughts. In addition, Yumei of the same level is a legendary boss, which can more or less make up for some level gaps. The King of Knights and others play support. And this configuration is also good. If such a configuration cannot deal with a level 95 epic boss, then it can only be said, Superior, Su Chen gave the order and took the lead, raising his sword and heading towards the duke's housekeeper. The duke's butler looked at Su Chen who rushed over first and raised his hand slightly. Suddenly a beam of red light shot towards Su Chen. However, Su Chen rushed over first, but he was already preparing to dodge in advance with a faint attack. With a sword return, he not only completed the dodge but also cut out a sword energy. At this time, Kiejia directly started area bombing. The Grand Mage also used his ultimate move Wild Flame Land. The two terrain covered ultimate attacks allowed the Duke's butler to temporarily avoid the edge. After all, that place was full of flames and bombs. So it couldn't just stand there and act like a stake. The moment it escaped, Yume, who used her dark affinity to sneak into the past, suddenly used her scarlet claws. The claws on her entire arm were several times thicker and sharper, and she also attacked the Duke's butler. This attack was so fast that the duke's butler did not even react. Vampire. After controlling the duke's butler with one claw, you may open her mouth wide enough to swallow a chicken and bit the duke's butler's neck with sharp teeth like blades. The duke's butler's blood volume suddenly dropped sharply. The duke's butler gathered energy with both hands and smashed directly at Yume. Boom. Only then did Yume separate from its neck. This attack left Yume covered with scars. But Yume didn't react at all. Quick self-healing. Soon. The scars on Yume's body disappeared. The scarlet eyes stared at the Duke's butler, making the already demonized Duke's butler wonder, Who is the devil? Forced to hide. Soon, Yume disappeared in front of it again. Swift wind sword. Su Chen rushed forward and attacked. He knew that Yume was looking for an opportunity. And Su Chen naturally wanted to create opportunities for Yume. However, facing Su Chen's impact, the Duke's butler did not react at all and raised his hand slightly. Suddenly, a mark appeared under Su Chen's feet. The mark is in the shape of a tulip, slowly blooming. The tulips bloom faster as they get closer to the duke's butler. What a hassle. Su Chen quickly backed away. At the moment when the tulip mark bloomed, he used a jumping slash in an attempt to dodge the attack. After blooming, a solid tulip bloomed, followed by an explosion. Even though Speed had deliberately avoided it, he was still hurt. You really can't hold back. Su Chen gritted his teeth and directly chose to open the door. Peerless Sword Chicken. Suddenly, Su Chen's attributes were greatly improved. He knew very well that the main force that could really cause harm to the Duke's butler was Yume. He wants to create opportunities for Yume. Wan Jian returns to his clan. Su Chen also activated another big move without hesitation. Immediately, countless sword shadows attacked the Duke's butler. Multiple shadows. At this time, the Duke's butler also realized that this attack was difficult to deal with, and also activated his ultimate move. Suddenly more than 10 Duke butlers appeared on the scene. A disc appeared in the hands of each Duke's butler. 
Boom! The sword shadow and the disc collided fiercely, causing an explosion. But at this moment, a figure of you may appear behind a duke's butler. Through blood perception, you may discover the true identity of the duke's butler. Poof! The holy grail pierced the duke's butler directly. The duke's butler wanted to struggle, but a blood energy locked it. The realm of blood. Not just one, but one after another of blood energy, forming a dense net. The duke's butler was completely locked inside. At the same time, you may also bid directly. Unable to resist, Su Chen also controlled the remaining sword shadow and blasted towards the duke's butler. Shadow double. At the critical moment, the duke's butler still used a big move to escape. But after he escaped from the realm of blood energy, he was also very weak. At this time, Xiao Yao took out a giant explosive barrel. Su Chen also picked it up and activated the 100% hit effect of the Hell Tyrant gloves. When the explosive fuse was almost burning, Su Chen threw it directly towards the Duke's butler. The Duke's butler wanted to escape this time, but found that the surrounding space seemed to be locked, and he could not avoid the giant explosive barrel. Boom! The Duke's butler, who was already weak, could no longer withstand the damage from this giant explosive barrel, fell to the ground. At the same time, a white light also rose up on Su Chen. Finally reached level 80. A level 95 epic boss. Indeed rich in experience. Especially since he was in a single player state. He could gain all these experiences by himself. As well as the experience bonus brought by skipping levels. Just fighting this boss is worth fighting monsters for a whole day. But should this duke's butler be enslaved or devoured? Su Chen looked at the duke's butler on the ground. Lost in thought. Originally. Su Chen wanted to capture a remote boss. After all, he was going to fight a naval battle soon. Having a remote boss would increase his firepower a lot. But this duke's butler can only be regarded as half-ranged. He is half-melee and half-ranged. Not purely ranged. This made Su Chen a little confused. Forget it. Let's increase our strength. Su Chen thought about it and gave up slavery. Speeding up Brother Chicken's evolution to the legendary level will be of great help to him. Both in the game and in reality. Chapter 92, New Inheritance Breathtaking At the same time, Su Chen also released the state of unity of mind and allowed Brother Ji to come out. Go ahead and devour it. Su Chen said softly. Brother Chicken walked up to the Duke's butler. And the pale blue light of the contract flower enveloped the Duke's butler. Slowly, the Duke's butler was transformed by the light blue light and turned into a star point. These light spots enveloped Brother Chicken's whole body. With a rooster's crow, Brother Chicken completely absorbed this energy. Still no evolution? Su Chen did not receive any prompt. At the same time, Brother Chicken's body does not have the same evolutionary light as last time. It's normal when you think about it. The last time Brother Chicken was able to evolve directly. It was an epic boss that he devoured at the Dark Gold level. If the epic level boss swallows the epic level, it should require more quantity. Goo goo. But at this time, Brother G showed off his muscles indicating that he still had changes. Su Chen also clicked on Brother G's panel out of curiosity. Name, Swift Chicken King. Variety, Half Poultry. Level 80. Level Epic Boss. Skills, Gale Sword. Back Jump Slash. Phantom Sword Chi. Wind Sword. Sword Return. Tulip Sword Flower. 10,000 Swords Returning to the Set. Peerless Sword Chicken. Tulip Sword Flower. Su Chen couldn't help but think of the Tulip Mark of the Duke's Butler. Could it be that during the process of devouring, Brother Chicken learned new moves directly from this energy? The reason why it is said to be comprehension is because the Duke's butler does not have the skill of Tulip Sword Flower at all. So this is what Brother G himself comprehended. Can you release it? Su Chin took it to the tunnel and found a random monster. Brother G obviously couldn't bear it. So he used Tulip Sword Flower directly on the monster. Brother Chicken did not attack the monster directly, but drew a shape with his sword in midair. This is exactly a tulip condensed by sword energy. Is this a remote skill? Su Chen looked at this meaning. As if he were drawing a tulip sword flower and launching it directly. But it's not that simple. After the tulip was painted, it was fixed on Brother Chicken's back. Every time Brother G uses his sword, there will be a sword energy attached to it. As long as this sword energy is not too crooked, it will leave a mark on the target's head. As Brother Chicken's attack speed increased, the sword energy on the top of the monster's head slowly condensed into a tulip. After completely condensing into tulips. Boom! Those tulips emitted exploding sword energy. Locking the attack directly on the head of the target monster. It was basically difficult to dodge. 
This set of damage also directly killed the mob in seconds. This is worse than the tulip mark. Su Chen was also a little surprised. It's just a bit cumbersome. It's equivalent to adding a continuous buff to yourself and stacking a continuous debuff to the opponent. But he's quite handsome. Su Chen looked at it and felt that Brother G was becoming more and more like a sword master. Brother G's becoming stronger is the most helpful to him among all the contract spirits. Because Brother G's skills are his Su Chen's skills. But Su Chen didn't forget to look at his own dashboard. Player, Luo Chio. Occupation, God of the Dead. Level, 80. HP, 28000. MP, 25000. Strength, 1300. Intelligence, 1900. Stamina, 1110. Spirit, 2000. Physical Defense, 16,500. Magic Defense, 15,000. Legion Skill, Fire Enchantment. Inherited Skills, Summon Ordinary Skeleton Soldiers. Soul Grant. Dark Mark. Dark Evolution. Unity of Mind. Vampire Bodyguard. Breathtaking. Breaking. You gain a special ability that can be used on humans. When you look directly at the other person, there is a certain probability that you can control the other person. After one success, the other person will not be able to violate your will again even if they regain their sanity. Note, please use this special ability with caution. When using this ability, please make sure that the opponent's mental power is lower than yours. The weaker the opponent, the weaker the opponent's mental power will be. Breathtaking? Is this a skill similar to I technique? Su Chen thought. This is currently the first skill that can only be used against humans. It is strange. Why does the god of the undead have an inherited skill that can be used against humans. Su Chen felt that this skill was a bit average. After all, his main task now is to become stronger. This mind-blowing thing can only be used to control people's hearts. What is the most critical point? It is clearly marked for use with caution and must be used on people with lower mental strength than yourself. This guy, who is somewhat valuable, is over a hundred levels. How can he still want to control other people's souls when he is level 80? What's going on? although the opponent's mental strength will decrease when he is weak. There is a limit. Besides, the game has not yet been integrated with reality. The game cabin has a certain effect on reducing mental damage to players. How can players of more than 100 levels control it? Unless this skill can be used in reality. It is a useless skill. Su Chen didn't think much about it and just regarded it as a matter of skill. It was getting late. So Su Chen planned to go offline and take a rest. Su Chen came out of the game cabin. After the light hit the shadow, Yume also appeared with her little wings flapping. Su Chen yawned. This whole day is really tiring. Su Chen ordered takeout every day and laid down on the sofa at the same time. Xiao Yume sat on Su Chen's back and pressed Su Chen's shoulders with her little hands. Ding dong. Just when I was feeling comfortable, the delivery man arrived to deliver the food. The portion is for three people. So I called Brother Chicken out to eat. Brother Chicken has been working hard recently. After eating, Su Chen took Brother Chicken back again. Okay. You are tired too. Take a rest. Su Chen smiled and touched Xiao Yume's head. Xiao Yume lowered her head, narrowed her eyes slightly, and shrank back, like a kitten. But Su Chen still remembered Xiao Yume's fierce appearance when fighting monsters. Yume, who had been eating in small bites just now, opened her mouth to suck blood during the battle, almost swallowing it. Su Chen went to the bathroom to wash up. Su Chen slapped a handful of cold water on his face and looked at himself in the mirror. Still so pretty. However, there seems to be something different. Su Chen found that his eyes had become deeper and more ripple-free. It's like there is some special attraction that makes it impossible to take your eyes away from the mirror. Something's wrong. Su Chen immediately realized something was wrong. Immediately turned on the shower switch and poured cold water on his face. A few minutes later, what was that just now? Su Chen didn't dare to look at himself in the mirror anymore. Masaka. Su Chen thought of a possibility. Could it be that the inherited skill of captivating people has become a reality? Chapter 93 2 million. Special evolution of arms. If this skill is said to be realized in reality. If you say this, Su Chen won't feel sleepy anymore. From the last time, he listened to the monitoring trio. Su Chen discovered that even the hidden super world is not that powerful. At least the threesome with Su Chen's level 60 strength at the time, could compete with him. While chatting, they talked about some topics about their usual tasks. Although it was just some ordinary sounding chats. For Su Chen, a person who knew nothing about the super world, he was able to extract a lot of information. 
it can be seen that in the hidden world of superpowers, not everyone is a superpower. The elite echelons in New World are all over 100 levels. It stands to reason that if they can realize their game abilities into reality, they should be much better than themselves. But among the information currently obtained, given the strength of that inspection team, it can have a certain foothold. So Su Chen guessed that either those people were too stubborn, or their improvement was not as much as he imagined. At least it's not on the same level as myself, because he and Brother Chicken can be combined together. The level of Brother Chicken is directly reflected at a ratio of 1 to 1 in reality. That is to say, in reality, the skill of captivating people still has its uses. Especially, for that mysterious super circle, if it can control a person, that will be very helpful for you to understand this super circle. As for the candidates, Su Chen thought of the three supervisors who were chasing him. That day I was able to fight the three of them at level 60. And now I am at level 80. And there is also a level 80 legendary guard you may. On the premise of not using skeleton soldiers in reality, Su Chen judged that he should be able to defeat them. Forget it if you don't bother me anymore. If you bother me again, Su Chen snorted coldly. Su Chen also found it quite annoying to be pursued all the time. He wanted to surround himself even though he had made no mistake. Does this still make sense? Last time he chose to endure it because he didn't have a good way to deal with it. Su Chen still didn't know the power behind the supervisory committee. How to deal with the three people after defeating them was a problem. Now, there is a way to deal with it. The next day, the noise in the vegetable market woke Su Chen up early. Su Chen stood up slowly with dark circles under his eyes. I really want to move now. My home is too close to the vegetable market. I didn't realize it before. Or even got used to it. But now Su Chen feels annoyed. I didn't feel sleepy yesterday when I remembered how to use it. I really don't feel sleepy anymore. After tossing and turning, I was woken up by a vegetable vendor in the market after not sleeping for a while. After breakfast, Su Chen didn't go back to sleep anymore. There were still planned things to do today. Online. Early on, Cha Ming had already delivered the hundred ships. Su Chen also teleported to the port closest to the Lost Sea. Coral South Coastline. Harbor. He was not in a hurry to go to sea immediately. 100 large ships have been completed. But Su Chen also plans to get a speedboat. The reason why Julian didn't ask for a speedboat was because, after all, it was sailing and a good boat was needed. We have already asked for 100 large ships. And it would be a bit excessive to ask for another ship with high configuration. There are many ship dealers here in the South Coast port. There are aboriginal ship dealers. And more often than not, Players rent or buy shops here to do ship business. Whether it is a sailing adventure, a shipping business, or fishing in the sea, a good boat is essential. Su Chen used to drive a fishing boat out for fishing. But because the fishing boat's accessories were so poor, it was often robbed by pirates. You can't outrun a pirate's ship. And you'll basically get nothing if you see a pirate. So I gave up. Generally, a powerful shipping caravan or fishing team is capable of fighting pirates. Pirates are not stupid either. They try not to provoke large caravans or fishing convoys when they encounter them. Retail investors are their main targets. Some of the pirates are pirates from the original era, while others are pirates who have been transformed into pirates after players found aboriginal pirates. If you change your job to become a pirate, you can acquire many pirate skills, and you will be much better at sea combat than ordinary players. Of course, the price is the wanted status, and there will be endless rewards directly upon landing. Being a pirate means spending most of your time watering the sea. A good pirate player can join the pirate force on Free Island. Pirate players who are unable to join Free Island can only occupy some uninhabited islands and create their own bases. But buying a good boat isn't cheap either. Although Su Chen now has more than 10 million gold coins. If he wants to build it according to the high end, it is simply not enough to spend. Regarding this point, Su Chen actually had a very simple idea. He kept the more than 10 million gold coins for the actual purchase base. So naturally, he couldn't spend too much money on it. If you don't need to spend so much money and still want to build a high-end ship, there is only one way left. That's zero gold coins to purchase. Of course, Su Chen is not a bad person. Monsters attack the city at every turn and steal other people's ships. Is this something Su Chen can do? Su Chen felt that the right way was to have a good talk with the person first and conquer them with his unique personality charm. Ten minutes later. A boat shop. Boss, can you lend me this epic sail first? If you don't want to borrow it, get out. Su Chen was kicked out. Well, the negotiations broke down. Su Chen walked towards the wild. 
Su Chen opened the panel. Summon heavy skeleton soldiers. Initial summon of 2 million heavy skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level, which can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume all 2 million skeleton soldiers. And 3 million skeleton soldiers can be selected for the next level. Soldiers, or 2 million random skeleton soldiers. 3 million ordinary heavily armored skeleton soldiers. Or 2 million to get some random units? Su Chen fell into thinking. After thinking about it, Su Chen still thought that he should get some random troops. The added troops should be permanently fixed in the lineup. Just like those skeleton snipers, Su Chen thought in his mind. At the same time, 2 million skeleton soldiers were selected and random soldiers were obtained. Start evolution. Su Chen waved his hand and started evolution directly. Select template, exorcist Muppets. At the same time, he did not forget to take out the golden template from the template. Exorcist Muppets, after using this template, the skeleton core is immune to 12% of damage caused by the light series. With a ding, the skeleton evolution is completed. It seems that this is a passive skill, and the legion skill has not been increased. Su Chin took a look at his legion skills, and still only had one fire enchantment. Chapter 94 Special Troops Appear The Army of Darkness Take a look at the current skill status. Summon heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The initial summon is 2 million heavily armored skeleton soldiers. The level is the same as the summoner's current level. It can be consumed and upgraded. The upgrade condition is to consume all 2 million skeleton soldiers. And the proportion of elite troops will be increased at the next level. Kindness? The 3 million option is missing? Su Chen frowned. It seems that in the future, we can only increase the quality, but not the quantity. But for Su Chen, it's okay. The quantity of 2 million is already large enough. It would also be good to increase the proportion of elite units to improve their quality. Su Chen waved his hand and summoned 10,000 skeleton soldiers. This time, I didn't recite the lines for the second grade. Su Chen directly skipped the ordinary skeleton soldiers and looked for special soldiers. Name, Heavy Skeleton Werewolf. Level, Level 80. Limit Life Limit, 13,000. Maximum Strength, 200. Strength, 780. Agility, 550. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 300. Movement speed, 500. Attack attack speed, 300. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, bite. Pounce. Become mad. Night affinity. Sudden impact. Transform into moon wolf. Name, heavy skeleton knight. Level, level 80. Limit life limit, 11,000. Maximum strength, 200. Strength, 700. Agility, 300. Spirit, 100. Endurance, 300. Movement speed, 600. Attack attack speed, 200. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, night charge. Mounted slash. Javelin throwing. Dark spear. Shadow form. Name, skeleton scout. Level, level 80. Limit life limit, 7000. Maximum strength, 300. Strength, 550. Agility, 500. Spirit, 300. Endurance, 500. Movement speed, 900. Attack attack speed, 500. Passive, immune to 12% of damage caused by light series. Skills, alert. Detection. Pumpkin grenade. Blue ice bullets. Explosive flame bullets. Ice and fire tempered blade. Wind shadow escape. These are the three special professions that have appeared. Compared with the sniper last time. It is much richer. Su Chen casually tested their abilities and found that their strength had reached the bronze boss level. In terms of quantity, it is based on the ratio of the current appearance of 10,000 skeleton soldiers. I estimate that it's pretty much the same. And we can still form a team of 1 to 200 people. The skeleton werewolf's transformation into a moon wolf can really transform into a monster moon wolf instead of a simple skeleton. It's cross species. The skeleton knight's words made Su Chen a little disappointed. I originally thought he was a dark knight. But now, he seems to be an ordinary knight. What troubled Su Chen the most was the skeleton scout. Their speed has exceeded the limit of ordinary skeleton soldiers. They hold a small gun in one hand, and a small dagger in the other. It is very flexible. And Su Chen uses trusteeship to allow them to attack freely without giving any orders. They can even kite and pull monsters. When the distance is far, use explosive bullets for output. When the distance is close, Switch to blue ice bullets to slow down. And pull out a safe output. If the target has the rush skill. 
It can also temper its dagger with ice or fire to fight. And it can also use the vibration effect of the pumpkin grenade to distance itself. It's so strong that he can even use his ultimate move. Wind Shadow Escape. To escape. Making it difficult for the opponent to catch up. It's hard to imagine that it's the skeleton soldiers who can act so well. The skeleton werewolf and the skeleton knight are both bronze level bosses. Su Chen. The skeleton scout. Estimates that they are already at the silver boss level. Not bad. Together with the original snipers. Su Chen can now form a special operations team with almost a thousand units. But we can't go to the towns on the Coral Coast yet. The Coral Coast is an important line of defense for the Crescent Empire. To be honest, Su Chen wouldn't want to cause trouble here if it weren't for the lack of a good ship. Only two million skeleton soldiers cannot break through this place. Of course, he can start evolution again and continue fighting. However, the southern coast of the Coral Coast cannot be broken so quickly. It is not only an important line of defense, but also one of the most important trade ports of the Crescent Empire. Once he breaks through the defense line of Coral Coast, he will receive great attention from the Crescent Empire. However, you can make a fuss about the Army of Darkness. Su Chen thought in his mind. It just so happens that the Army of Darkness itself is mainly composed of dark creatures. And skeleton soldiers are also one of them. The reason why Coral Coast is an important line of defense is to prevent the invasion of the Army of Darkness. All he had to do was enslave a small leader of the Dark Legion. And then launch a small-scale sneak attack in the name of the Dark Legion. This matter will be blamed on the Legion of Darkness. Of course, without destroying this line of defense. Su Chen did not expect the Army of Darkness to successfully invade so quickly. The successful invasion of the Army of Darkness may speed up the game's arrival into reality. Which is not what Su Chen wants to see so soon. As for the Army of Darkness, it's not hard to find them. Su Chen walked directly towards the distance outside the defense line. Army of Darkness Camp. This area is the camp where the vanguard of the Dark Legion is temporarily stationed. The Dark Legion is not something to be afraid of until their king completely lifts the seal. But for players, even big guilds don't really want to come to this place. Usually, they would choose to attack the Army of Darkness depending on what mission they accepted. This in itself is a thankless task. The Army of Darkness doesn't know how to explode anything. And its experience is not very high. But the combat effectiveness is very strong. This is obviously a loss-making deal for those big guilds. You may. Su Chen summoned you may. Before using the skeleton soldiers, Su Chen decided to kill the sentinels of the Army of Darkness first. Otherwise it would be difficult to warn them in advance and call for help in advance. You may also understood what Su Chen meant. Just as a group of black robe humanoid monsters were patrolling over, you may just forced herself over. While they were walking, suddenly one of the two people at the back was pierced by Yume's scarlet claws. One person was directly bitten on the neck by Yume's eagle fleeing mouth. These black robe monsters are ordinary monsters of the Army of Darkness. But some have just reached level 100. Reaching the watershed. But Yume's powerful attack killed these two level 100 ordinary monsters instantly. The leader of the patrol was about to blow his whistle. One sword. Just smashed that whistle to pieces. With this time, you may also attack other targets again. The same was true for Su Chen. But he was looking for those who were ready to sound the alarm. Yue was the main offensive force, and he was the support. Chapter 95 Is this a friendly force? Quick fight. In just 20 or 30 seconds, the patrolling black robe team was completely wiped out. We can break camp directly. This can be regarded as a balance between the Void Legion and the Kingdom of Darkness. Su Chen smiled softly and walked towards the Dark Legion camp. The Crescent Kingdom and the Army of Darkness each consume one million skeleton soldiers, which means nothing will happen to everyone and will not have an impact on the current stalemate between the two sides. At the same time, there should be a template for the Army of Darkness. How wonderful. Su Chen quietly observed that there were many dark creatures in this camp. They also have skeleton soldiers as well as ghosts, ghost eaters, wizards, dark knights, vampires and many other types of soldiers. In comparison, Su Chen's troops are not that rich. His is a low-profile skeleton knight compared to other people's dark knights. He is an authentic necromancer. And his is a low-profile skeleton wizard. There are no ghosts or anything like that. I have to say that there is a high inversion, which is a vampire. But there is only one Yume. So this can't be considered a unit. Right? Unacceptable. Seeing that they had so many types of soldiers, Su Chen became angry. As soon as he raised his hand, two million skeleton soldiers suddenly appeared. 
Such a large group of skeleton soldiers immediately attracted the attention of the Dark Corps. However, they did not immediately alert. Because these skeleton soldiers look like they are our own people. The leader of this camp also flew into the air, observing the sea of skeletons. At the same time, Su Chen also saw the information about the monster in midair. Name, Night Messenger. Variety, Undead. Level, 115. HP, Unknown. Level, Legendary Boss. Skill, Unknown. The Night Messenger floating in midair was surrounded by a black fog, and the hat with a black robe blocked half of his face. Could this be reinforcements sent by the king? But why are they just the skeleton soldiers at the bottom? The night messenger was suspended in midair, looking at the skeleton soldiers below and thinking. The skeleton soldiers did not attack, and neither did the army of darkness. Su Chen's skeleton soldiers walked step by step towards the dark core camp. At this time, most of the long-range skeleton soldiers stopped, while the melee skeleton soldiers were still advancing towards the dark core. This is a bit strange. Stop! The night messenger also discovered something was wrong and made a hoarse sound. But how could Su Chen's skeleton soldiers ignore its orders? If you don't stop, I will attack. The night messenger was still afraid of accidentally injuring friendly forces. So he warned again. However, the skeleton soldiers were already approaching the camp. Boom! A bolt of void flame directly burned away a group of skeleton soldiers. After the Nightbringer launched the attack, the skeleton sea finally began to fight back. The Nightbringer who couldn't hit the sky in melee combat. Just concentrated fire from a distance. Even if the Night Messenger is a level 105 legendary boss, it cannot withstand the attacks of nearly a million long-range skeleton soldiers at this time. It is a pure target in the sky. Attack. Don't let them in. The Night Messenger finally understood that these were not friendly forces at all. These skeleton soldiers appeared from nowhere, and the attack just now caused considerable damage to it. However, since the skeleton soldiers had been kept close just now, the skeleton soldiers sprinted faster at this time, and there were already skeleton soldiers rushing in before the door closed. Suddenly, the undead creatures of the Dark Legion and the skeleton soldiers formed a melee. There were 80,000 troops in the army of Darkness's camp, and there were 30,000 skirmishers outside. At this time, they were all summoned back. The skeletons at level 80 are not at all inferior when facing the legions of Darkness at levels 90 and 110. After all, it's 2 million versus 110,000, and the level is not absolute crushing. The skeleton soldier's ability to break through defenses is terrifying. It is also supported by the powerful output of the Dark Knight Messenger. Otherwise, the camp of the Army of Darkness will be washed away in just such a moment. The Knight Messenger was destroying a large number of skeleton soldiers wherever he went at this time. But Su Chen also focused on it. Under Su Chen's command, a wave of skeleton soldiers was directly dispatched to encircle and suppress the night messenger. At the same time, the special team formed by Su Chen also began to take action. Skeleton scouts are directly dispersed among ordinary skeleton soldiers, stealing gun damage from the night messenger. The skeleton werewolf and skeleton knight looked for opportunities to form a charge. Of course, this kind of charge will basically be killed by the night messenger in seconds after charging once. But it would be nice to be able to steal damage. Su Chen didn't expect them to be of much importance. The main output is hundreds of skeleton snipers scattered in the distance. The night messenger, who was originally very comfortable, was constantly being attacked in an organized and regular manner in such chaotic battles, and was suddenly a little overwhelmed. These level 80 skeletons can break through its defense, which is the most incredible thing for it. It also wants to go over and deal with those annoying long-range elites first. But Su Chen had already dispersed them in every corner and in the crowd which made it impossible for the Night Messenger to carry out targeted attacks. The other side, without the support of the Night Messenger, the defense line composed of vampires and ghosts was directly broken. As for those Dark Knights, they are really fierce. Rushing into the sea of skeletons, the gun in his hand formed an energy thorn, directly breaking through the skeleton soldiers along the way. This combat power is at least the boss combat power of gold or dark gold level or above. But after the momentum was exhausted, it became a little embarrassing. Especially the skeleton shield has a new shield wall skill, which generates an energy guard on the shield. Although turning on the shield wall skill will kill the Dark Knight instantly. It also consumes a lot of the Dark Knight's momentum. The skeleton soldiers were not afraid. One large shield fell down, and countless large shields blocked it directly. However, the undead creatures on the Army of Darkness side were also unafraid. And the two sides just offset their consumption, without falling too far behind in level. 
with sheer numerical superiority. The Skeleton Sea is encircling and cannibalizing the Army of Darkness. And with the fall of the Dark Legion, the pressure faced by the Dark Knight Messenger is also increasing. The Cave of Darkness. At this time, the Dark Knight Messenger also launched his ultimate move. A disc is generated in the Skeleton Soldier, followed by violent movement. Once the Skeleton Soldier is sucked in, it will be instantly destroyed. This move caused a hundred thousand losses to the Skeleton Soldiers. But despite such losses, the Skeleton Soldiers still attacked the Night Messenger without fear. The Darkest Cloud. The Night Messenger fired another big move, and the Skeleton Soldiers entering the cloud began to lose blood. However, because this move is the darkest, it may cause great damage to other creatures. But it is only average to Skeleton Soldiers. Chapter 96 Enslaving the Dark Knight Messenger The Shock of the Dark Knight Countless Skeleton Soldiers rushed out from the Dark Clouds, and many of them bypassed them. The entire Legion of Darkness has been revealed. The Night Messenger doesn't seem to want to continue the stalemate here. After reluctantly releasing another large-scale skill, the Night Messenger had oiled his feet and was ready to run away. Ordinary undead creatures are fearless, but the Nightbringer is one of the generals, and it will consider more. It's not that it's afraid. It just feels that it's better to take this news back than to be wasted here. At the same time, it can also maintain the overall high-end combat effectiveness of the Army of Darkness. It was Su Chin's target on this trip. How could it be possible for it to escape so easily? Su Chin had already laid an ambush along the Dark Knight Messenger's escape route. Suddenly, thousands of skeleton assassins who had been hiding appeared directly from the Black Mist and attacked the Night Messenger fearlessly. Nightbringer prefers long-range combat and is not particularly good at melee combat, but it is still possible to deal with these skeleton soldiers. A close-range Goe skill directly cleans up these skeleton assassins. However, these thousands of skeleton assassins still played a role. They directly blocked the escape route of the Night Messenger, and some of them attacked the Night Messenger. After the Night Messenger was successfully blocked, the skeleton scout and the special team also fired frost bullets at the Night Messenger with a small gun. With such a restriction, many skeleton swordsmen, skeleton swordsmen, skeleton axe warriors, etc. also rushed over to attack the Night Messenger. At the same time, the Skull Shield also surrounded the Night Messenger. The Night Messenger used one skill after another, as if he was not wasting his energy, causing huge damage to the Skeleton Army. But the price for such a heavy damage to the Skeleton Army is that the Night Messenger's blood volume is also declining rapidly. This battle damage was greater than expected, but it was a level 115 legendary boss after all. Su Chen was also watching from behind. Slowly, the Dark Night Messenger, with huge losses, was about to open another breakthrough. It's our turn. Su Chen glanced at Yumei. Yumei nodded and just forced herself over. The Night Messenger is very tired at this time. His health has dropped below 10%, and his mana consumption is also huge. Various major skills have also entered the cooldown. It can be said that this is the most vacuum time. However, after forcibly opening a breakthrough path, the Dark Knight Messenger also forcibly cheered up. But just when it was about to rush out from this breakthrough route, several blood energy chains were placed directly around it. The Realm of Blood. Yume emerges and floats in midair. Originally, the Night Messenger had skills to defeat this. But those skills were on cooldown and could not be used continuously. Peerless Sword Chicken. Wan Jian returns to his clan. Tulip Sword Flower. These three skills can be activated at the same time. The transformation state of the Peerless Sword Chicken is activated first. Even the power of 10,000 Swords Guizong and Yujin Sword Flower is greatly increased. Taking advantage of the Dark Knight Messenger's current weak state, Su Chen was not polite and directly launched a series of attacks. Because of the blood energy chains, it is difficult for the Knight Messenger to dodge without breaking these chains. For these attacks, the Knight Messenger used a Dark Bone Shield to withstand most of the damage. But there is still a small part that hurts it. With Su Chen's current level, he couldn't do much damage to it. But Su Chen didn't intend to do much damage, but relied on the Dark Mark. Burn 10 layers, Pyroblast. Damage deepened by 10 layers, damage doubled. In addition, the Quenching Poison has almost reached the 10th level. And there are also many layers of other various states. Pyroblast is an immortal fire. And the Night Messenger cannot extinguish it at this time. Yumei. Su Chin saw the special effect of aggravating damage and immediately said to Yumei. Yumei was not idle when Su Chin attacked, but used the power of the Holy Grail in her hand to transform into an energy silver gun. After hearing Su Chin's instructions, 
You may also through the dark night messenger vigorously. At the same time, Su Chen retreated and jumped back, commanding the remote skeleton to carry out a concentrated fire attack. Boom! The night messenger was hit by the energy silver gun. And at the same time, a large number of skeleton soldiers attacked it directly and overwhelmingly. With the damage super intensified, the night messenger's defense was directly stripped away. The chains of blood and energy are unlocked. I really don't understand why you have such strong dark power. Before the dark knight messenger could finish speaking, he fell to the ground. Finally got it done. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief. Originally, I thought that there would be two million skeleton soldiers and one million troops would be allocated to each of the Dark Legion and the town. But this Dark Knight messenger is indeed a legendary boss. The final explosion destroyed hundreds of thousands of skeleton soldiers, plus the battle losses of the Dark Legion in front. Su Chen now has more than 800,000 skeleton soldiers left. Soul giving. Name, Knight Messenger. Variety, Undead. Level, 100. Level, Legendary Boss. Skills, Poison. Hard Hungry Darkness. Summon Dark Demon. Mark Master. Soul Torment. Evil Spirit Shackles. Strengthen Hard Hungry Darkness. Corrupted Mind. Dark Bone Shield. Strengthen Marking. Dark Cave. Undertide. Darkest Cloud. Dark Energy Zone. Do you understand now? Seeing the night messenger stand up, Su Chen looked at it with a half smile. The power of the Lord cannot be imagined by the subordinates. At this time, the dark night messenger already looked obedient and said to Su Chen with a slight salute, when it first sensed this power, it resisted. Its soul carries the mark given by the Lord of Darkness. It cooperates with the mark left by the Lord of Darkness and wants to resist. But that power directly shatters the mark of the Lord of Darkness. It's like killing a mosquito. Effortlessly, it is even more unable to resist. Moreover, for it, it got rid of the Lord of Darkness. And now that it has the chance to be resurrected, it is just a new monarch. Moreover, judging from how easily the other party erased the mark of the Lord of Darkness, this new monarch obviously has a bright future. And it seems good to follow such a monarch. It is that it can feel an invisible shackles. Yes, its strength cannot be improved. Which is a problem. At this time, Su Chen also released the state of unity with Brother Ji. At the same time, with Su Chen's permission, Brother Ji went to the Army of Darkness to find some mini-boss levels to absorb energy. The Night Messenger could clearly feel that the other party was in a similar enslaved state to it. But the other party seemed to be getting stronger. This is? The Dark Knight Messenger couldn't help but sigh when he saw that Brother Chicken had become significantly stronger after devouring it. Chapter 97 The Dark Knight Returns The Decision of the Lord of Darkness in fact, it was Su Chen's intention to let the chicken out to devour it. When he saw the row of skill columns of Dark Messenger, Su Chen was already interested and wanted to develop it. A legendary boss. If you can surrender to him and sign the flower of contract. So for Su Chen, whether in reality or not, he can get more offensive methods. Although Chicken Brother has now reached the epic level boss, his offensive methods are still relatively poor. This is probably because his foundation was not very good when he became the Dark Gold Boss. Therefore, letting the Dark Knight Messenger see that Chicken Brother can evolve is also an attraction for the Dark Knight Messenger. When the Dark Knight Messenger couldn't help but ask those words, Su Chen had already snickered in his heart. Sign a contract with me to gain the power of growth and break through your original class restrictions. He was already snickering in his heart. But on the surface, Su Chen had a calm expression. Break through the original class restrictions? When he heard this, the Dark Knight Messenger was extremely shocked. Further up is the mythical level, which was originally an insurmountable gap for it. Under the Lord of Darkness, even if it has made great achievements, it will be difficult for the Lord of Darkness to help it rise to the mythical level. But this new king can have such great power. As for the strength of that chicken, Dark Knight Messenger already felt that it was a weak chicken with little strength. But just in this way, he can get the new king's important use. So many resources are still consumed by it alone. It looks like it's almost deceptive. I think you are pretty good. If you perform well, you will have such a chance. From now on, your name is Dark Knight. Su Chen said inscrutably. Thank you Lord for bestowing your name. And I am willing to do your best for the Lord. And you would be lying if he said he wasn't moved. Unexpectedly, it could actually get such an opportunity. R. Okay. I fooled it. And it still said thank you to myself. Originally, Su Chen was still wondering what to do when the second contract flower appeared. After all, if no contract spirit was willing to sign the contract, 
it would wither in vain. It's great to have Dark Knight's home now. Moreover, Dark Knight itself is a legendary boss. There is no need to slowly raise it from a dark gold boss like Brother Chicken, which directly saves effort. Dark Knight, now is your time to show off. Su Chen looked at Dark Knight and said, at the same time, he told Anyi about his opportunity to let Anyi take the skeleton soldiers and pretend to be the Dark Core. The subordinates must do this for the Lord. Dark Knight is also very exciting. Unexpectedly, as soon as he joined the Lord's camp, he would have the opportunity to make meritorious deeds. And what surprised him most was that there was no need to consider battle losses in this attack. It wasn't that he didn't consider the battle losses. Su Chen asked him to consume all the skeleton soldiers, which he didn't expect. This is much more comfortable than working under the Lord of Darkness. After it wipes out the troops in this camp, even if it returns to the Dark Lord camp, it will be severely punished. Not only was there no heavy penalty now, but the task was so easy. Before, this would have been unbelievable. Be prepared. Su Chen asked Anyi to step back and get ready. Dark Knight was about to retreat, but it seemed to remember something and returned again. Lord, although I did not go back to report the news, the destruction of the camp will be felt at the palace. The other side won't know what happened specifically. They only know that the camp was destroyed. And the mark the Lord of Darkness placed on me has just been erased. And he also told the new king what he knew. Don't worry. I know this well. Su Chen waved his hand. Su Chen dared to come here to camp. So he knew very well that this matter could not be hidden. However, Su Chen planned to fight quickly. And the headquarters of the Lord of Darkness was still far away from here. This is far more than simply a distance of kilometers. The Lord of Darkness's headquarters is in another world. And even teleportation requires a certain amount of preparation time. In addition, even if they arrive, it will take some time to assemble the main force. Seeing Su Chen's strategizing expression, and he felt more admiration in his heart. It seemed that the Lord had settled everything early. And he is preparing to adapt to the characteristics of this skeleton army first. After all, for a while, Although the master is secretly controlling the show, it will act as the superficial commander. You still have to do a good job in superficiality. Don't be too greedy. Chicks, just devour the high-end ones and don't need anything else. Su Chen didn't intend to continue to grind here, even though it may take a while for the main force of the Lord of Darkness to arrive. There still shouldn't be too much delay. Dark Palace, sitting on the Supreme Throne, is an image of a skeleton king, wearing a crown and scepter. It is the king of darkness. King, what is your order for us? Below the palace, several strange-looking guys came. There are images of lizards, pythons, and gargoyles. However, from the aura exuded by these guys, it can be seen that these are not easy to mess with. And each of them is very terrifying. One of our camps on the southern coastline of the coral was wiped out by the entire army. And the mark on the Lord Nightbringer was also shattered. The voice of the Lord of Darkness echoed in the hall. It must be a surprise attack launched by the Crescent Empire. King, please allow me to lead the army to destroy them. A lizard stood up and said fiercely, but the King of Darkness had no response to this opinion. I am also willing to go. Please give me a flying brigade and I will plunder and attack the resource points of the Crescent Empire. The gargoyle also asked for a fight at this time. Just like lizard just now, the King of Darkness sat firmly on the throne without making any movement. At this time, the giant python transformed into a human woman in order to facilitate speech. The Crescent Empire has always been under attack from both front and back. They have always cowered away from our attacks. And it is not their style to take the initiative. Moreover, as far as my subordinates know, the Crescent Royal Family has been in turmoil recently, and they will not take the initiative to attack without resolving the internal strife. The Snake Girl put forward a different opinion. Okay, this matter is yours to handle. You lead an elite team to investigate this matter. The Lord of Darkness made his decision. The subordinates understand. The snake girl smiled and agreed to the matter. After deciding this matter, the Lord of Darkness also teleported and left the palace. I don't know why one always likes this snake girl. According to my personality, I have already disliked those humans. Leave it to me to destroy them all. The lizard was obviously very unconvinced and muttered after the Lord of Darkness left. The voice was said to be mumbling. But with its volume, the snake girl could still hear it. Idiot. However, the snake girl obviously ignored its meaning and turned around. Chapter 98 Millions of Skeleton Soldiers Looting the South Coast Coral Coastline South Shore South Coast Port Since this is a prosperous trade area and is often attacked by the Dark Legion, 
A defensive town was also built here. As a player adventurer, Su Chen easily walked through the town from the main entrance. Normally, Su Chen would summon him from a distance, creating the aura of an army overwhelming the enemy, mainly to consume the skeleton soldiers and give the opponent time to prepare. Although Su Chen now wanted to consume the skeleton soldiers, his more important purpose was to loot the ports on the south coast. In addition, the south coast is an important defensive town with many large-scale equipment against undead creatures. This million-strong army will not really capture this place. So Su Chen didn't plan to equip it this time, and just suddenly summoned a million troops from inside. The reason why it is said to be an army of one million is because just now, he heard that An Yi still had a military order from the Lord of Darkness in his hand. This military order can directly recruit more than 100,000 undead creatures. But the level is much lower, which is about the same as the skeleton soldiers at level 70 or 80. Moreover, this kind of military order is very precious. And Anyi doesn't dare to use it easily. Originally, if he escaped without authorization, he would be severely punished and then use the military order. In addition to the original army of more than 800,000, this is almost a million troops. Moreover, in ancient times, people usually exaggerated the number of their soldiers before going to war. After all, more people embolden them. False reporting several times or several times is a routine operation. At the same time, the original troops of the Dark Legion joined, which allowed Su Chen to pretend to be more real. Su Chen didn't rush to summon the skeleton army, but visited the spot in advance to see what targeted guns he would need later. I passed that store again. The shop owner saw Su Chen coming in again. If you can't afford it, get out of here. Poor guy. Believe it or not, I'll ask someone to beat you up. The owner of this store is the one Su Chen negotiated with just now. Su Chen heard the shop owner's words and walked silently from the door of the shop. He took a look at the sign and remembered the location. Boss, who is that person? A player who was helping in the store asked curiously. The store owner is also a player. A stupid bird. He just asked me if I wanted to lend him the epic sale. Do you think he is a stupid bird? The shop owner sneered. That is indeed an idiot. Does the boss want me to take someone out and beat him up? The store clerk chuckled. Forget it this time. If he dares to come for the third time, you will find someone to kill that stupid bird a few times. The shop owner also waved his hand. Okay, and went to work. The store clerk smiled, saying that he could make extra money by helping the boss with such a thing. A few minutes later, it's still this store. The shop owner saw a man and a woman coming in. His eyes lit up when he saw their faces. Mr. Yun, what do you want to buy? The shop owner recognized the identity of the visitor and immediately nodded and bowed. Mr. Yun is a standard second generation rich man, the kind who is stupid and has too much money. When he buys things, he only buys expensive ones and not the right ones. Well, my luxury cruise ship still needs a bow. Bring your tallest one. As soon as he opened his mouth, Mr. Yun didn't ask about the performance and directly quoted the price. However, when he felt the adoring eyes of the female companion next to him, Mr. Yun felt elated and felt that everything was worth it. How about this epic bow? The store owner chuckled and asked the store clerk to take out an epic ship's bow from the display cabinet next to it. It's epic level again. Why do the five companies only have epic level? Mr. Yun was a little dissatisfied. Other parts can be epic. But as the bow is the face of a ship, Mr. Yun obviously cannot accept it. After saying that, Master Yun took his female companion away again. There are legendary ones. Originally this one was ordered by someone else. But he hasn't come to pick it up yet. So I might as well ship it to you first. In fact, it's not that others didn't come to pick up the goods. It's that the agreed time hasn't arrived yet. But the Mr. Yun in front of me is obviously a fool with too much money. If you sell it to him, you can obviously get more money. Kindness? This one is not bad. After reading it, Mr. Yun finally showed a satisfied smile. Just when the store owner was about to negotiate a satisfactory price, suddenly Mr. Yun's female companion screamed. Brother Yun, someone touched me. Master Yun's female companion suddenly said, Who? Eat the bear's heart and the leopard's courage. Mr. Yun immediately shouted angrily. But when several of them turned around, they found a skeleton soldier holding a spear, which was obviously the one who had just met Mr. Yun's female companion. How did this get in? Everyone was stunned when they saw this skeleton soldier. Aren't there guards outside? Why are you standing there in a daze? Get rid of it quickly. The shop owner said to several shop assistants. The level of these store clerks is pretty good. 
and it is quite easy to deal with a level 80 skeleton soldier. Immediately beat the skeleton soldier to pieces. Sorry, Mr. Yun. I was frightened. The shop owner rubbed his hands and said with a smile. But the next moment, world announcement, the southern coast of Coral is attacked by the Army of Darkness. Players please pay attention. It turns out to be the Army of Darkness, which is a daily occurrence here on the south coast. This time, everyone also solved the mystery in their hearts. But the world announcements didn't stop. World announcement, the Coral South Coast was attacked by the Army of the Undead, triggering a special event to guard the Coral South Coast. The Coral South Coast entered a state of combat. Players in this town cannot go offline, the player's offline character is still in the game, and cannot leave through the teleportation array. Please work hard to guard the southern coast of the Coral. And if you fail, you will get the debuff Gaze of the Dead God. Gaze of the Undead God, your damage to the undead is reduced by 30%, and the undead's damage to you is increased by 30% duration until you defeat the undead god. Everyone. Sorry boss. Our store is surrounded by skeleton soldiers, and they are about to invade. A shop assistant outside hurriedly ran in and said, just when the store owner wanted to say something. Boom. A wall was blown open. Skeleton snipers have focused their fire on him. Before the shop owner even opened his mouth. He was immediately killed by a series of injuries. The other store clerks were also stunned. They were not good at fighting. If they were good at fighting, would they come to work as clerks in the store? The skeleton soldiers came in and killed them all. That Mr. Yun was just a rich second generation. Although his equipment was good, his skills were poor. He usually loves picking up girls. Although he also practices skills, they are not fighting skills. Soon, Mr. Yun managed to resist for a while with the advantage of his equipment before being surrounded by skeleton soldiers and chopped down to the ground. His female companion had no fighting ability, and the skeleton soldier soon sent her to meet her brother Yun. Chapter 99, Legend of the Bao. God attacks the city again. After the entire store was cleared of players, a man came in from the store entrance with a little girl holding the Holy Grail. Originally I just wanted to borrow it. How sorry I am. The person coming was none other than Su Chen. Su Chen picked up the epic sail that he had taken a fancy to before. However, a statue of a ship's bow caught Su Chen's attention. Storm Leviathan Bow. Type Bow. Level Requirement, None. Basic Ship Speed plus 200. Bonus Attribute, Wind Resistance plus 1000. Attach Skill, Storm Impact. Special Effect, Calming Wind. Storm Impact. A strong wind is ejected from the bow statue, attacking other targets and accelerating the equipped warship at the same time. Calm down the wind, can calm a storm. There is such a good thing. Looking at the bow statue, Su Chen felt a little surprised. There are many dangerous factors when sailing on the sea, and storms are one of them. Installing this statue not only greatly increases the wind resistance, but also can use the storm as its own power or weapon. Su Chen was also unceremonious and took it all together. After taking over the shop, Su Chen didn't stay too long. There were still many shops waiting for him to take over. The same scene goes on in one shop after another. The skeleton soldiers were looting wantonly. And in order for the store owner to collect the goods and run away as quickly as possible, many snipers and assassins were arranged to quickly snipe the store owner. But even though Su Chen had made such an arrangement, some store owners still took back the most valuable items in the shortest possible time. Su Chen looted a lot and never encountered legendary items like this one lying around again. However, with the epic build and the legendary bow, it can be considered usable if you make do. Su Chen is not picky about food either. Su Chen didn't even let go of the gold level components and looted them all. Whether it's a player's shop or an NPC's shop, they are all treated equally. Su Chen is a fair-minded person. We can't just say that if we just loot players, we won't loot NPCs. Isn't this a form of discrimination? Or this player was robbed, but that player was not robbed. And then the player who was not robbed felt that he looked down on him. Is this reasonable? This is unreasonable. Su Chen must rob every house and not treat them differently. Su Chen's hand movements did not slow down, but even sped up because he knew the garrison on the south coast will take action immediately on the world channel. What's going on? I thought it was just a daily attack by the army of darkness. Why did the god of the undead get involved? Could it be said that the army of darkness belongs to the god of the dead? Impossible. If the army of darkness belongs to the god of the undead, then the world announcement will directly indicate that the god of the undead will not announce a separate army of darkness. Yes, 
the Legion of Darkness, and the Coral Coast have been in a stalemate for a long time. They have always followed the announcements issued by the Legion of Darkness. The God of the Undead suddenly got involved. Is the situation on the Coral Coast going to change? Holding the grass? I don't dare to go easily after saying this. The God of the Dead has a permanent debuff after conquering the port town. Isn't this God boring? Why attack the city when there's nothing wrong? After a while, there was another world announcement. World announcement. Players can go to the port on the south coast of the Coral Coast for support. Join the battlefield and win the reward settlement. Currently the number of people who can join. 0 slash 1000. It's just that not many people are interested in this world announcement. The last time Hijia Town was defeated is still vivid in my mind. Currently, many people have been put on the solid debuff of the God of the Undead. And the status is truly permanent. After all, they can't find the God of the Dead now. And even if they find it, they can't defeat it. But after all, the player base is large. So there is always someone to go. Suifeng is one of them. He has now become a live broadcast specialist for the Siege of the Undead God. And he doesn't care about his level at all. As for the solidification of the Undead God, that punishment was even more of a joke to Suifeng. He was already given this debuff last time in Haijia Town. So it doesn't matter. Just let it go. Live broadcast, Coral Coast. Two legions gather. After Suifeng took this title, he quietly became a live broadcast tool. He was trolled as soon as he spoke. Anyway, there was traffic and some people were sending gifts. He just quietly acted as a camera. He would look wherever the barrage directed him to look. Sway Feng's live broadcast was very popular. And many people who were afraid of being debuffed also went to the live broadcast room to watch it. Live broadcast room screen. The Dark Knight messenger flies in the sky. Dispatching and commanding the army of millions of undead. Most of these million strong armies are composed of skeleton soldiers. But there are also other undead creatures such as ghosts and vampires. However, I couldn't take pictures of the inside of the town because it was surrounded by dense skeleton soldiers. Still can't see the figure of the god of the dead. The person commanding it must be from the army of darkness. With so many troops, it felt like the port was about to be breached. It's hard to say. But this is an important trade port for the empire. And support should be coming soon. Already here. It's Paladin Pato. At Damaku's request. Sway Fong also went to take pictures of the reinforcements, who came to support them. A group of light paladins came quickly on their mounts. The night messenger, who was commanding in the sky, also discovered the great holy knight, who came to support. It turned out to be that guy. It seemed like he had to notify the lord immediately. As a territorial leader of the Dark Legion, he also had an impression of the Pato Paladin. Even when he was still at level 115, he was no match for the Pato Paladin, let alone that he was only at level 100 now. However, the Lord said that these skeleton soldiers can be consumed at will. So naturally, he will not fight Pato personally. The Dark Knight messenger descended from the sky. Before, he was in the sky to let people see his identity as the Legion of Darkness in a high-profile manner. Now that the other party has discovered him, he can no longer be a target in the sky. The tide of skeleton soldiers attacked Pato's paladins, who came to support them. He is the night messenger of the army of darkness. Is it just him? Pato, who came to support him, frowned after seeing the opponent's leader. He couldn't understand why the army of darkness used millions of troops to let a guy of dark night messenger's level take command. Obviously, it is not qualified. However, facing the tide of skeleton soldiers, Pato did not dare to be too big. The holy array is activated. Pato said to his paladins. Suddenly, the other paladins used the devices in their hands to combine together, forming a square array shrouded in holy light. Chapter 100 triggers a hidden plot. Players are anxious. Evil is driven out. As Pato shouted angrily, suddenly, a white and sacred giant magic sword appeared in the paladin camp. Under the control of all the paladins, the holy light sword waved lightly, and a large number of skeleton soldiers and a small number of other undead creatures were immediately eliminated. However, this sword still consumes a lot of energy. You must take a break if you cannot swing it continuously. This scene was also broadcast live. If the god of the undead succeeds in attacking the city and resisting it, he will get an extra level. I bet. I'm going to the coral coastline. Indeed. The siege of the god of the undead has only been successful once so far. And that was against the player city. This port on the coral coast is an important trading point. And it is not unreasonable for it to be able to resist the dark army for so long. I also took a gamble. And the experience of leveling up now is too scary. 
you are still brave. I don't dare to bet on level 1 and permanent debuffs. I'm afraid of a hammer. I usually don't play undead monsters very much. After seeing the brave performance of the Pato Holy Knights, people began to teleport to the Coral Coastline one after another. As people continue to teleport to the Coral Coastline, world announcements are also triggered. World announcement. The number of support people in the port on the south coast of the Coral Coast has reached the upper limit. Currently the number of people who can join. 1000 slash 1000. A hidden plot will be triggered. The mission victory reward will be doubled. And the failure will trigger the mark of the undead god. Mark of the undead god. Your damage to the undead is reduced by 50%. And the undead's damage to you is increased by 50%. And the undead god can lock your position at any time, duration, until you defeat the undead god. Hold the grass. This debuff also comes with an upgrade? He is the god of the dead, and can be positioned at any time. This is too outrageous. I don't want this level of reward. Let me out. Brother god of the undead. I was wrong. Following the trend of dogs is harmful. Now that I'm convinced. I'll buy something here. Just a debuff. And a group of happy people will join in the fun. And now a hidden plot upgrade will be triggered. This announcement immediately caused dissatisfaction among a large number of players. The reward is doubled. Which is just two levels up. But if you fail, you will face the risk of being imprinted by the god of the undead. Is this fair? This is not fair at all. The players who came here this time are basically players with more than 100 levels. Because the level 1 experience is quite tempting to them. Just like some players said, if you fail, you won't be able to farm undead monsters. That's all. But now it seems that it is not just a matter of having the damage dealt to undead monsters but also increasing the damage taken by half. Instead, they were marked by the god of the undead. Maybe if the god of the undead causes trouble next time, he will directly send the undead to hunt down those who have the mark. People from big guilds rarely come to visit. And even if they do, they are non-staff members. For example, in attack groups, you will occasionally have to open up some undead dungeons. If you fail to get this experience once, you will miss those dungeons. Of course, there are also some big guilds who are waiting and watching. It is possible for them to directly bring elite groups to defend. But now that I saw the hidden plot triggered by overcrowding, I suddenly lost interest in this cake. The price is too high. The advantage of directly upgrading to level 2 is not small. But if you fail, you will be resented by the god of the undead. By then, facing the endless pursuit of the undead army, the attack group will probably be abolished. Now every attack group in the big guild represents a huge investment of financial resources and energy. And it also has the most precious one year of development time after the server is launched. Risking the possibility of destroying a group just for level 2 is too much of a loss. But for the players who have now arrived at the port, they have no choice. At this time, the Holy Light Sword of the Pato Holy Knights was again fully charged. Another wave. Suddenly, another large group of skeleton soldiers was shattered. And even the skeleton soldiers, who were not swept away, were all harmed by the holy light. But what makes Pato a little strange is that these skeleton soldiers are obviously not strong, just because they are large in number. It stands to reason that the residual power of the holy light sword is enough to kill many skeleton soldiers in seconds. But after two sword strikes, in addition to the skeleton soldiers that were swept away, those who were attacked by the residual power of the holy light fell instantly, except for some who were too close and were injured. Those who were further away were only slightly injured or even fine. Why do these skeleton soldiers feel a little strange? Holy Light doesn't seem to have that significant effect on them. Pato frowned. It was as if these skeleton soldiers were resistant to the Holy Light. But the undead are naturally afraid of the Holy Light. This is an eternal truth. Maybe the Holy Light's device is a bit old? Pato touched his chin and thought. Holy Knights are awesome. Brothers fight hard. Just work hard. Don't even think about paddling. If you win, it will be two levels. But I don't know if it's an illusion. But I feel like these skeleton soldiers aren't that afraid of the holy light. I feel like the holy light is not bright enough. Maybe it's a problem of insufficient wattage? R. Not enough wattage but still okay. The performance of the holy knights also gave the players here confidence. And they were all filled with blood. Although there are some who doubt that the holy light is not powerful enough. No one thinks about it that much at this time. They all have the courage to burn everything. If you fail, you will be wanted by the god of the undead. If you succeed, you can get two levels. These players are all over a hundred levels. Plus the players who were originally stranded in the town. After the willpower is gathered, the combat effectiveness is very powerful. However, 
Sometimes courage is not invincible. Skeleton soldiers are not fools. They were hit in vain when they were targets. Under the intensive firepower of hundreds of thousands of skeleton soldiers. Soon, the two to three hundred players rushing in front were killed on the spot. Only then did they remember that the skeleton army of the god of the undead had its own defense-breaking ability. Even if their level is much higher than that of the skeleton soldiers, they still have to be beaten, protected by the holy light. Adventurers, come here. At this time, Pato opened a huge holy light energy shield, enough to protect those players. Pato didn't know why these normally selfish adventurers suddenly became so united. But since everyone has the same goal, and these adventurers are relatively powerful, Pato also chose to fight with these free adventurers. With Pato's protection, the players finally recovered. Everyone became orderly. Remote players throw skills at the skeleton army, especially legal players. One throw of a big skill is enough to take away a large area. Melee players, on the other hand, deal with the besieging melee skeleton soldiers around the holy light shield. The more attacks, the greater the consumption of Pato.